All right, here we go. All right, we're here. We're here with Mario Party Superstars on Nintendo Switch. Thanks so much for coming, everyone. It's Abdallah here. Hi, hello, how are you? Oh my gosh, this game is here, and I'm so excited because a lot of these mini games were mini games from the original Mario Party, uh, the ones that I grew up on Nintendo 64. Anyway, it's going to be a blast. Today, we're going to showcase everything there is about Mario Party Superstar so that you guys can make an informed decision on whether or not you want to purchase the game. There's a link in the description below that you guys can purchase it on Amazon, and that'll definitely help me out, of course, so do that. And uh, yeah, shout out to all of you guys for coming. Hey, hey. All right. So two things we have to cover before we actually jump into today's live stream. Uh, for starters, uh, make sure that you guys are all subscribed to the channel, right? We've got three, actually, no, no, we got two videos that I want to share with you guys, and they're absolutely amazing. If you guys want to see what all the mini games are in Mario Party Superstars, there's about a hundred of them, head on over here, click on this video right here, and then as you do so, uh, I want you to leave me a little emoji, like a little party emoji, and I'll go through later on today and I'll favorite every single one of those, because that shows that uh, you guys watched it, and it's actually... No, don't talk to me. Uh, you guys watched it, and you guys are all ready to go with that. Another fun video that we just made um, was Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing. It's a really fun trend in every Mario Party game, and once you uh, once you see it, it's just hilarious. Luigi just stands there and he does anything, but he wins the mini games. So fun! So watch those two videos. Drop some emotes on those uh, in the comment section of those, and then we'll get started. But yeah, really excited for it. So we're here. Let's jump in. Let's see what this game's all about. And then uh, look forward to when we actually play this game with some members, viewers like yourselves, actually playing on the online functionality of Mario Party Superstars. It's going to be really fun. So thanks for being here. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Mario Party Superstars, huh? Tell me about this game. There's a pizza cutting game. Uh, here's offline play, local play, or online play. Connect to the internet to play with people far away. But all right, for now, we're going to do offline play. For our future episodes, we're going to show you guys exactly what online play is all about. And of course, if you guys become a member, we'll, uh, we'll give you the ways of adding my friend code. So it should be really fun. So consider doing that. All right, here we go. How many people will play? You got uh, me? Cool. Welcome to Mario Party. Good morning. Yeah, I know. It's it's late, isn't it? it looks familiar, doesn't it? Uh, it all started with this green pipe, the journey to become the super star. Maybe you even forgot all about it. That's okay. It's been such a long time after all. Travel through this pipe and that journey begins again. The boo bell? <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> I'm excited for that. Uh, finally, I made it. I guess it's all up to me. Uh, where is everybody? It's almost time. It's been such a long time that it seems the Koopa Troopa is a little nervous. The Koopa Troopa? Okay. Whoa, everyone out of the woodworks. Look, Rosalina's even here. First, I want to say thank you for all, uh, thank you all for assembling here. Using this pipe, we can set off on an adventure. Let's decide who will be the superstar. I think we'll be able to go to places you remember, places we haven't been in a long time. Wow, look at that. They're aware of it. They're like self aware that we're going like back in time. There's no time to waste. Let's get going to the world of Mario Party, old and new. There we go. Oh, we better get an alternate starting screen because this screen is 90% trees. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Hey, what a great start. I love Mario Party. Let's go. Oh, look at this place. Wow. Brian, what's happening? Warm welcomes to Brian. View memories from past adventures or check your records at the data house. View memories from past adventures? Yes, please. Uh, what a surprise seeing you here. Uh, you're new around here. Let me show you something interesting. This is a Mario Party card. It's a mystical card that tracks your adventures. You can customize it to your liking right here. Go ahead and give it a personal touch. What? If you connect to the internet, your Mario Party card will be visible to players around the world. Oh, interesting. How many hours you played the game? Um, your level? Oh, look at this. Yo, Mario Party 3, Mario Party 2, Mario... Wow. I love this. Uh, yeah, choose your favorite game in the series. Oh, there's all of them. 
Yes, dude, you loved Mario Party 9 where everyone grouped up on the same car. That was your favorite Mario Party. Uh, Mario Party 10, what about all the spin-offs, man? Do those not count as Mario Party games? What if I like Mario Party Island Tour, or Mario Party Star Rush, or Mario Party the top whatever the heck it was on 3DS? Okay, I mean, the best one, arguably, dude, I don't even remember these. What was the one with the microphone on GameCube? <laughs> I love that one. It's like, orange, banana, grape, and you'd like not press it sometimes. Oh, so good. Uh, anyway, let's, let's do this. Uh, I'm just going to say Mario Party 1 because uh, you guys are OG Mario Party fans. If you remember having that Nintendo 64 controller and you went like this to play the minigames and you'd like rotate it, it would be like rotating minigames like that with your hand and your entire palms would be shredded, blistered, bloody. Yeah, Mario Party 1. I remember that. I still have scars on my hand from that. Like, I'm not going to let my friends win. I'm going to like... Destroy my hands for that. Choose your favorite board. Ah, oh, um, I mean, I don't know. It's five board. Uh, let's go horror land. Uh, tropical island. Yeah, let's go. Uh, favorite mini game. I don't know. Whatever. They're all good. Mushroom mix up. Sure. Choose your favorite mini game. Snowball summit. Oh, you're choosing your favorite ones. Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, I'll have to play them again. And I'll redo this. Oh, dude, I love Coney Island. Are you kidding me? Do you even know about Coney Island? Yo, give me some good ones, man. I freaking love Coney Actual Island. Where's Bumper Balls, dude? Is that even in this game? Hmm, hide and sneak. Uh, I mean, I like pizza, so eat some pizza. Let's go. There we go. And choose your favorite character. Where are all the good characters at, man? All right, go Mario. All right, so there we go. That's my that's my little car. Now I'm a rookie, and now you guys can see. Uh, everything that you need to see about this. So we're going to confirm. I see. Alrighty then. Don't forget that you can change it here at any time. That's fun. That's really fun. Encyclopedia. Uh, you can buy more pages to fill out each section of the encyclopedia from Toad's shop. Oh, that's that's wonderful. Tips. Cool, cool. Uh, game records, music, and then there's going to be one more little thing over here. I'm excited to see what it is. This is one of the things that I really wanted. I really wanted in the game. I wanted it to go back to its roots and give us some sort of achievement system. Maybe when we beat the game and get some stars, It'll allow us to like hold on to stars as a currency. That, that was the, the most fun thing about Mario Party. Board game, seven or more star uh, to turn on an event. Oh, look at these. In one game, win all mini games. Okay. Wow. Play Mario Party mode 50 times. My goodness. Collect a total of, wow. Look at all these. Okay, okay. So now I'm really excited because there, haven't, there hasn't been an achievement system in Mario Party games in a while. So I love this. I love all of this. You can see. And then what happens when you get all five of these things, right? Winning all mini games, dude, I'm I'm living for this right now. All kinds of data recorded here. Uh, pick up a book to relieve the memories. Okay, thank you, Kamek. That's cool. I, I love that. I'm genuinely giving a compliment to this game. I was very skeptical at first. Dude, I don't want to talk to you. Stop. This is really cool. All right, anyway, uh, Mount Minigames Mario Party. What's this? The, um, the Option House? Let's go take a look at the Option House. Come on in. This is the Option House. All right, you can tweak a variety of settings here. All right. Ooh, sticker settings. I don't know what that is. Sticker selection? Display or hide? Uh, display them. Sticker collection? Oh, cool. Look. <laughs> Hi, yes, and what? Look at all these. Look at Wario. Oh, my gosh. Daisy. So everyone has like, hi, yes, and what? Uh, sorry. There's a sorry one. That's funny. So you can maybe put out a sticker. And then there's some other ones that you can um, <laughs> you can also put out. So yeah, we can unlock more stickers. That's fun. No idea how to unlock them, but that's really fun. Text, uh, CPU movement speed. We're going to go fast, man. Tch. Text speed, I guess normal is okay. But yeah, we want those, we want those CPUs to move quick. All right, this is great. I love this. I love like exploring this game. All right, here we go. Next up, uh, we have a friend house. We have Toad's Shop. Spend the coins you collected on your adventures from Mount Minigames and from Mount Minigames. Okay, so that's great. I want to see what you can buy. It's Yoad. It's Yellow Toad. Welcome. We carry stickers, music, encyclopedia, pages, and Mario Kart designs. Okay, you can earn coins by playing board games and on Mount Minigames. Go ahead and take a look around. Browse to your heart's content. <gasps> Cool! Look at these stickers! Blah, ha, ha. So like when you're trolling someone, you can just flash the Bowser sticker. Cut it out with a Goomba. You got this? Retro Digital Mario's page. That's a lot of pages, folks. That's a lot of pages. Wow. Okay, someone do the quick math. 
count exactly all of these. How many coins do I have to collect in order to unlock everything here? The music from Mario Party 3 and Mario Party 2 is 420. 510 from Mount Minigames music? Are you crazy? Dude, that's a lot of coins. Stickers, uh, card designs, pages, music. That's fun. You know, that's, that's the replayability. That's amazing. So good job. Actual good job. Friend house, let's take a look at this and then we're gonna get started. Uh, looks like no one's here right now. Maybe you need to go online first. Oh, I want to mess around with that. Remind me to do that a little bit later. Um, we've got Mount Minigames. I'm pretty sure that's just going to be where you're playing minigames, uh, and messing around with them. But yeah, what do you guys think? Should we start a party? Give me some party emotes in the chat and we'll, uh, we'll start a Mario party. Mario party, yes, yes, Mario party. Alright, let's go. I am so good. It's a me, Mario. Oh, we're falling in the pipe, like it was in, like, the very first Mario Party. The adventure to decide the superstar is about to begin. Okay. Alright, now let's get things ready. Do you know how to play? <laughs> yeah, I know how to play. Oh my god, dude. Do I know how to play Mario Party? You don't want to play Mario Party with me. Like, at all, ever. Who's going on the adventure? Let's go, Mario! Uh, okay, who do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see bros versus princesses? Do you guys want to see uh, bros versus evil bros, uh, Wario and Waluigi? Do you guys want to see uh, Rosalina in action because he's the most popular Mario character and the most powerful out of all of them? Uh, or do we want to see the animals go at it? Uh, Yoshi, DK, Birdo. Who do we want to see today? You guys let me know. <laughs> yeah, get your Ethernet adapter so you know how to play. <laughs> what do you want to play? All right. Uh, Royal Masterpiece wants Peach. Raid Pirate wants Yoshi. Uh, and uh, Star Lord wants Bido. We got we got you with some Bido. Here we go. Mario Peach, Yoshi Birdo. It's like couples. We're playing uh, Double Date Night. Okay, set the difficulty. Yeah, normal's fine. Whatever. Oh, one board, two, three, four, five, five boards, dude. That's Mm, I don't know about that, man. I do not know about that, comma, man. Five boards? Dude, Mario Party like 3 had way more boards, didn't it? And that game's like 30 years old? <laughs> oh gosh, help me. Alright, we're going to Yoshi's Tropical Island, here we go. 15 turns? 10 turns. Oh, we'll go 10 turns. Just to mess around with it. We'll show you guys what these games are. So, uh, five boards. We can mess around. We can honestly mess around with ten turn rounds. And then beat every single one of them. Bonus stars on. Minigame help on. Handicap off. I recommend 15 turns if you're playing on Yoshi's Tropical Island. Don't talk to me. I'm not going to do 15. That's 45 minutes, man. That's going to be a five hour live stream. Don't talk to me. <laughs> okay, bonus stars can really turn the tide. Alright, this is good. We'll see the instructions. Everyone will start. Lastly, pick a minigame. Each pack holds a different selection of minigames. Oh, cool! Assembled classic minigames they debuted on N64, GameCube minigames. Skill, oh, you want to show off your skills, and this pack has minigames I chose just for that. Eliminating all the luck minigames. I would love to play this. That's actually really good. That's a nice quality of life. Because, like, when it comes down to it, whenever I play Mario Party, the only games I lose at are the ones with luck involved. So, I like that you can just, hey, you know what? You want to play me a Mario Party? Alright, eliminating all luck. 100% skill. I love it. But we're going to go all. Okay, it looks like we're all set. Ready to begin? I am ready to begin. Let's go. Okay, here we go. What's going on? Welcome to Mario Party Superstars. We're gonna jump in to a level called Yoshi's Tropical Island. We've got Mario, Peach, Yoshi, and Birdo. It's gonna be a fun time. I don't know what's gonna happen, uh, but this is a remake of an older level in like the original Mario Party, and it should be really fun. Long ago, a passing superstar met some Yoshis stranded on these very islands. The superstar stepped up and saved these Yoshis. What a hero. Look at their <laughs> look at those graphics, man. That aged very well. The kindness of the superstar meant a lot to the Yoshis. It meant so much that they stayed here, hoping for another superstar to appear. 
They've been waiting a very long time, but today's their lucky day. Okay. Uh, it's time to find out who's the next superstar. Let's get to it. Uh, but now that we're here, I've got some business to take care of. I'll see you later. Toad's in charge from here on out. You got it. All right. Uh, what business does he have? Oh, he's doing like a check mark thing? Okay. I guess it's up to me to be your guide. Is this the first time playing on the board? It is! In, in like years. So please, give me the give me the rundown, Toddy. Great, then let me explain. Ooh, look at this fruit. Those melons from Yoshi's Story. Yeah, yeah, my favorite game on N64. Uh, this is Cantaloupe Island. Oh, it's a tropical paradise just bursting with fruit. <gasps> Bowser's here. What's he doing? Just standing still. This is Watermelon Island. Look over there. Bowser's catching some rays. Crush. Crush. Ooh, two bridges connect the islands. Pay the thwomp's fee and you can cross. Okay, there are Yoshis everywhere. They seem to be keeping an eye on us. First, we'll decide the turn order. Okay, give me a nine, baby. Yo, beginner's luck. <laughs> yeah, Mario's first. Uh, Yoshi's second. Uh, Peach is third. Birdo is fourth. Uh, now that the turn order is decided, here are some coins to get you all started. Okay, ten coins you start off with. That's great. Thank you. All right, now where's the star? Oh, there's Toadette going to be the star person. Star salesperson. Hey, here's the star. Be sure to collect coins as you make your way over here. Okay, easy. All right, you should be all set, so let's get started. Okay, everyone, give your give it your best shot out there. Good luck and have fun. Good luck, have fun. That's pretty good. I like that. Okay, here we go. Turn one. Uh, your turn, Mario. And look, we can do stickers right off the bat. Uh, dice block or item. Let's actually take a look at the board. Where's this going? Uh, okay, so I'm here. Oh, wow, cool. So it's just a, uh, like a little counterclockwise motion. You can cross over if you really wanted to, and you get the star within a couple turns, but I don't really know what the toll is. So it's only eight away. So let's do a dice block. Maybe we'll get a nine or a 10 or, you know what? There's an eight. I'm going to go. We're going to risk it. 11 to the star, dude. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I'm going, man. It looks like the coin toll is going to increase with each player who passes. The good news is that you're the first one who wants to pass. So, uh, yeah, one coin to pass. Pfft, yeah, no brainer. How many coins do you want to give the Thwomp? Ooh, I'm only going to give him one. Because, honestly, I'm going to land on a red space and it's going to minus some more. And I got to somehow win 20 coins in this minigame. The Thwomp agrees to let you pass. All right, so this is very risky for me because typically the minigames only give you 10 coins and I need 20 coins in order to get to the star and buy it. So I have to guarantee myself winning this minigame, which I'm going to be at a disadvantage anyway because I'm at a red space. Dude landed on this luck space and got seven coins. Come on, man. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go, here we go. Yo, you coming over, Peach? That's so funny if I just paid 10 coins right off the bat and, like, blocked them all. That would be really insane, man. Okay, so we're on the same thing. I could throw out a sticker. Hi. That's kind of fun. So, yeah, yeah, I like that. Lucky you. And you could, like, talk to people. This is really fun. Congrats. So you can, oh, I love that. Okay, so now we're not in advantage. This is gonna be a 2v2. We're gonna do a, a two versus two minigame. It's gonna be Cake Factory. Peach and I are gonna win because we have to do work as a pair and make cakes. One player makes cakes, and the other strawberries. So you have to go cake first, then strawberry. <laughs> oh, and you can practice while you're watching. That's so cool. Like you don't have to go into a practice mode. You just literally have to practice while you're doing it. That's so fun. This is from Mario Party 2. I love this. So intuitive. Come on, cake. Hey now. Hey now. Easy. Easy, Birdo. There's like a little bit of timing that you have to do, and you can't you can't miss the timing. Timing window's very strict. Oof. Oh, we're destroying these two. Mario, don't have to be so sad. Go put it. Oh, come on, Peach. <laughs> All right, not too bad. Not too bad. That was actually kind of fun. 
Wow, Birdo and Yoshi just crying it out. We knew we were going to win, but I need some coins. I need more than this. So I need to roll really low, but higher than Peach, because Peach is right on my tail. Uh, so, yeah, taking a look at this right now, I'm not in a good spot. If I look at board, uh, we'll be able to count. I'm 10 to the star. So if I get 8, 7, 6. 8, 7, 6 will, will allow me to win. So I've got like a 50-50 shot of this. So here we go. Great! Boo! <laughs> That's terrible, man! Uh, you don't have enough coins, but keep it up. You'll be a superstar in no time. That's terrible. The one coin amount that I, I want, that I didn't want. I did not want a 10. But anyway, that's Mario Party for you. It's luck based, so good job. All right, so he's going with, uh, he's going, he's, he's paying that toll, man. Wow. All right, so Peach is doing her thing. She's probably gonna land on a spot. Yeah, seven, there you go. Now she lands on this and she's gonna get that star. So good job. GG's computer. I don't know how I'm gonna win, man. 10 coins? Come on. No, you can't be handing out coins. Back in my day, back in my day, there weren't these spaces that handed out so many coins. It was either you won three or you lost three. What are you buying? A golden block? Roll whatever you want from 1 to 10? That's so strong. Yeah, okay, here we go. Coney, baby. Bounce and trounce. We. Oh my gosh, and you can do like 360s during a big jump. You do a big jump. And then how do you... Oh, you press B? Oh, you can destroy these guys. Yeah, we. Oh, get out of here. You're going to do big jump? How do you do big jump? See you later, clown. All right, that's it. Mario Party 3. This one's good. This one, I'm, I'm going to try to win. I got to get rid of Peach. Go out of here. Oh, my gosh. I'm going for you, girlfriend. Get drilled! Oh my gosh, help! No! <laughs> oh no! It's really hard to tell! Yo, I got destroyed! I should have been playing defensive. Alright, so that minigame, you can either play offensive or defensive. And I was going way too offensive. Not good. Very, very bad showing here. But hey, you know what? Oh, I get some coins for getting second place? What is this game? You're giving pity coins out? Oh man, that's lame. I mean, I guess I'll take passive coins. How do I go backwards? It doesn't even matter, man. Let me get out of here. A boo! Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, I'll steal. Let me steal from Peach. How much you got, Peach? How much you got, Peach? 35, dude, come on. I needed that. That was really clutch that I lost that one. I hope I can win 16 coins from her. Nine? Wow. Nine coins is good, like that's fine. I, I need to keep on going. This is my area. Item space, cool. Whoa, what is this? How, how do I pop a balloon? Uh, let's do... Oh my gosh! I need them all lined up in a row! Please! No, <laughs> two dice? I thought I was gonna get all of them, no. I, I've never seen that, so... Okay, I'll take two dice, whatever. Let's go. Double dice, roll two dice, then move the total amount. It's a free item, whatever. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yoshi does not have enough for the star, but Peach will, unless you get a two, and then... Dang it. Alright, whatever. I gotta pay 50 coins to steal that from her. Okay, I'm losing. But that's okay, it's only three turns. We're only on turn three right now. Like, I could have won. <laughs> could I have won? I don't know, man. <laughs> See, like, you can be the best at Mario Party, but there's still luck involved with, like, rolls, so... I guess it's fine. Should be good. So, Birdo was smart as to not go our way. 
Here's an event space. Cheap chomps trick. What? <gasps> what just happened? Well, would you look at that? Bowser and the star switch places. Wait. Wait, what? Hold on. So after you get a star, Toadette doesn't randomly go to another spot? That's interesting. All right, so we move in, we press the button. Oh, this is kind of cute. Yeah, I like this one. Ouch, okay, that's great. So this is this is very interesting. I thought I was gonna be like rolling in that one area the entire time, but now it's switched spots. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna blow this up. Out of the way, Yoshi, I got these three. You take the other ones. You take the other ones, man. I got these three. You need help down there? I'll come over. I got you, buddy. Oh, destroyed. Wow. See you later. Okay, so we're on our way to the minigame star. Things are looking up right now. I'm enjoying this. It's really good. No change. Hey, way to go, Peach! <laughs> I was not expecting Toadette to swap places. My strategy was going to be going in a circle the entire time over here. Uh, so I'm going to use an item. I'm going to use my double dice since I just got that. And I'm going to try to boost my way over there. Double dice! Six! Let me get another six. Oh, that's actually a really good roll. Thirteen. Let me get out of here. How many to the star? Eleven to the star. I have to. <gasps> no! Hold on. Oh my gosh. 11 over here? I'm gonna land on this. I'm gonna land- I'm gonna swap the- I'm gonna swap the stars again. So this is not good. I don't need to go that way. Wow. I mean, I'm gonna have to land on a lucky space and then see Bowser? This is a rock and a hard place. So what do I do? Yoshi's gonna get a star. I I have to go to Bowser. Because look, look, look. If I go over here, I'm gonna land on the same space that Birdo did. And then if Birdo switches the... Or if I switch the star spots, Yoshi's gonna get a star. And then I'm gonna, like, get stuck with Bowser. This is actually a very, very bad roll. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the Lucky. I'm gonna go to the Lucky right now because that's that's the only thing that I can do. And I'm going to have to see Bowser either way. Unless I warp. No. Wow. There's a mushroom. Okay, Yoshi, sorry, dude. He got a 10? What does Bowser do in this game? Floating free in the ocean is so relaxing. You should give it a... Take this Bowser tube, the highest quality flotation device money can buy. You heard me say money can buy, right? Fork over 11 coins. <laughs> Is like, yo, dude, give me that money. What does that floaty do? Ooh, okay. It popped already. Don't look at me. Buyer beware. No returns. Oh, gosh. Oh, dude, not me. Come on. Why me? What did I do to you? <laughs> oh. At least there's a meter that shows you how how well you're doing. So if you max out the meter, then you're set. Dude, that's so funny. I pressed the R button and then it made like the what sticker come up, which is kind of cool. Dude, you're joking. Oh no, this is good. This is actually good. Yo, he landed on that and now Toadette's right in front of me. Oh, go Mario Party. This is so good. Well, would you look at that Bowser and the other thing switched. So you know what? Can you imagine that? And you land it, you better lose that star, girlfriend. Just saying. Welcome. So you landed on my space. You have no clue what's in store for you, do you? Star, star. None of them are stars. Bowser minigame. Saddle up, chumps. It's time for one of my minigames. What is this? Lose and I'll take your coins. <laughs> okay, Bowser minigame. Here we go. A uh, Bowser is lurking in the darkness. Avoid him and his fire-breathing attack. So we're just running, and we're staying away from him. So we have to pay attention. So you can play defensive, and you can kind of, like, nudge your opponents into Bowser. But you can also fall off, it looks like. So here we go. Where is he? 
Oh gosh, he's over there. Yeah, get owned. Oh, dude, Birdo got rocked. I'm gonna push you off. Push you off right now. Okay, not me, not me. Where? where? Oh gosh, here he is, here he is. Push, push, push. Go, 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 go. Push her in there. Push in the fire. Push in the fire. Oh, oh, come on! Oh, no! I'm sorry. Dude, again, I'm always playing offensive, man. I'm that guy that plays that way in Mario Party, man. Wow. Wow, dude. Like a little bit of afterburner. A little, a little bit of smoke hit me. I got rocked. How much? 10? I have 21 coins. I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm okay. You know, we do it for the excitement, right? You don't have a single coin. <laughs> Get out of here. You're wasting my time. <gasps> oh, no. An event space? This is terrible. I thought I was gonna get a star. This is, I don't like this board, man. This is too much swapping, yuck. Bowser and the star switch places and I'm gonna go next and go right into Bowser. This is perfect. Boo, <laughs> tug of war, all right, let's go. All right, let's go, Squid Game. Here we go, uh, solo side, use your super strength. Wow, this is from the original Mario Party. Use your super strength to pull. Uh, oh my god, you are gonna be rotating this. This is not good. This is not good. You know why this is not good? Because all of us OG Mario Party players are gonna go like this. And we're gonna trash our palms. Why would they? Okay, it says do not play using the palm of your hand or other areas with sensitive skin. <laughs> you think that's gonna protect you? Wow. Okay, I mean, that's fine. I'm gonna use my nose. No. Not using my palm. I'm gonna use my. <laughs> oh my god. Don't use your palm. The game explicitly says don't use your palm. That's so funny to me. Woo, <laughs> memories, man. Some of you guys don't even know. Some of you guys don't even know what that's all about. So, like I said earlier, in Mario Party 1, there were mini games where you did that with the rough N64 controller. I need to roll a 2, man. I need to roll a 2. A 10! Come on, every time I'm right here. Dude, I don't need a 10. Okay, okay. Uh, here's an artifact that's been passed down generation after generation. I'll let it go for just 16 coins. At that price, you're practically robbing me. Do I have a choice? That's half of my coins. A die that can only roll a number one through three. You know, that's a, that's not bad. I know, I know, it's just three coins in the shop, so what? Whatever, dude, I'll take it when I need to, oh shoot, come on. Double Bowser? I'm having the worst luck. You guys have heard of beginner's luck before. Yeah, this is like, terrible. That's really a joke. I have zero coins now. I am completely broke. I'm more broke than what I started with five turns ago. And I don't have a single star to my name. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome to Mario Party. Oh man. This is some garbanzo beans over here. Wow, dude. This is so... I couldn't even... You know what? At least I'm gonna go to Boo. I'm gonna go to Boo and steal some stuff. I was planning on stealing a star and saving up 50 coins because I'm doing decent in the mini games. Don't you dare, dude, you, you're stealing, you're stealing from Yoshi 15 coins. Okay, that's great, congratulations. Peach is destroying all of us. Wow. This feel, this is like feels bad, man. Now I know how my friends feel when I played them growing up because I would completely rob them all the time. It's karma, it's karma coming back. I would rob- Oh, look! Bonus minigame with double the coins? Oh, you better believe! I'm gonna get 20 coins back. River Raiders, please! Ah, oh, dang. River Raiders, you would get a, a potential of more than, um, uh, more than just 10 coins. You can get, like, 20 coins. And if I got River Raiders, uh, with that, it would have been doubled. It would have been so good. Anyway, we're gonna be playing Boulder Game right over here, and I'm gonna be dropping these boulders. It's kind of like playing, um... This game, where you destroy two with one. 
Oh my gosh, ladies and gents, stop! One down. <gasps> Extreme corner! One! Yoshi! Birdo! Please, I don't have any more time for this. Oh my gosh, Yoshi. Birdo. No, no! Okay, good. Yes, I got a twofer with that one. Yes! Oh my gosh, I got so lucky. I need those coins. <laughs> oh my god, Birdo was like sneaking over, man. Get out of here. I have the worst luck. 20 coins. Look at me boosting up from last to second to last. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, five turns. This is it. We're down to the last five turns. Let's take a look at the current standings. Dude, I should have been last, man. Because then Toad gives you like a pity item, right? All right, third place belongs to Mario, uh, and fourth is Yoshi. Everyone's get really excited to give it their all, but who will win? Let's hear predictions. All right, predictions, those of you guys watching, will I pull through and win today? This time, let's hear from the spiky character. Um, <laughs> blub, blub, okay, who cares? Hmm, circumstances being what they are, victory for Yoshi is assured. You heard that, right? Come on out, Yoshi. What? That would have been me! Our predicted winner will receive a bonus. Oh, dude, come on! I had to work for 20 coins. And now we're in the home stretch. I had to work so hard for 20 coins, and Yoshi, just because he is in last place, he gets 20 coins. Oh, I love this game. I love Mario Party. All right, all right, we gotta get out of here, man. Hold on, hold on, go back, go back. Let's look at this board. What do I gotta do to get out of here? I can go boo. I can go potentially landing on a space. I mean, things are okay. 18 to the star. Well, if I get a 10 and a 10, I can win. And I can go... No, I couldn't. Even then. Dude, I cannot. I absolutely cannot. I couldn't even get 15 right now. It just adds... The max is 15. Oh, look at that... Oh, okay, great. All right, who's near the star? Let me look at the board. Who's near the star? Uh, Yoshi is, and I better steal more than 9 from him. So that's what that's who we're going for. And Yoshi robbed me of some coins, too. Goodbye, Yoshi. That's what you get. Fifteen, please. Oh, good. Twelve. Good, good, good. This is great. He better roll past that star. Wow, my rolls are very bad. Here we go. Let's move on. Oh, we're gonna duel? Can I duel a star? No, I can't put up a star. Dang it. Choose how many coins to wager based on the total each of you have. How much does Peach have? Okay, Mario, how many coins will you wager? I'm going all in, man. I wish I had a star. I would have dueled for a star, man. Okay, we're going big. I'm going 18 coins, man. Peach, you're mine. 36 coins if I win. A total of 36 were collected. If I get 36, I'll be able to have enough to steal a star. But I'll have to pass Bowser again. And I don't, I don't have enough. Oh, cool. We. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hold on, let me practice. We. All right, this is easy. Look at how easy this is. Are you kidding me? This is so simple. So simple. All right, I, this is the easiest 36 coins I've ever made. Watch. I did it. Huh. Oh. Don't do it, Peach. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is, this is harder. Come on, man. Huh! Okay, I'm doing some work. Huh! What happens? Okay, good. Okay, don't do that. Okay, good, good, good. So, you know, there is a little bit of uh, a strategy on this one. Like, waiting is a strategy. And, like, actually jumping really high up is a strategy, too, so that you can kind of get the, the vine a little bit easier. Yahoo! <laughs> get robbed. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Get robbed. I'm a Luigi number one. Wait, 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 I'm Mario. Okay, 36 coins, baby! All right, I, I gotta do something with them. I have 50 right now. I could go to Bowser. 56 is good. I could go to Bowser. I could go through Bowser and steal a star. Or I can try to get... Oh, seven to the star? Oh, yes, yes, yes! Yes! Oh, <laughs> wait. 
Knowing Birdo, Birdo's gonna land on another event space. This is kinda weird. Well, would you look at that? Bowser and the Star switch places. Alright, come on, man. Like, I gotta go. I got six turns, man. Where are you going? 17 to the star? What are you doing? Don't do it, Birdo. I need, like, two more turns, and I can maybe win. You got a golden? What are you doing with that? Uh-huh, uh-huh. How many you want to give the... Th that's, you know, that's going to be really cool. That's a cool concept, where if someone's tailing you, and the star's, like, right around the corner, and you have more coins, you just block them. I love that idea. But Birdo's going for the star. I'm going too, man. It's unfortunate that I just passed it, though. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. Puddle Paddle, please. Sky Pilots. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Alright, so front player is Steer. The rear player flapped the wings. Wee! Look at Wee! What do we go through? The rings? The rainbow rings? Wee! Do a barrel roll. Wow, this is so much fun. Alright, Birdo, you better be good. You better start flapping, Birdo. This is funny to me. Yahoo! Alright, here we go. We're going, we're going. Check this out. We're going to cut the corners, man. That's the best part. Oh, gosh. No, you gotta align. You gotta align yourself. Like that. See, like, do a barrel roll. Double barrel roll. Yeah, you gotta cut corners big time. Oh my gosh! Oh, wow, we almost got shot out of the air! I don't think so, man. You wish. Keep going, Birdo. Get a double barrel roll. Oh, so close! We were not properly aligned for that. Look at these Bowser balloons. What are they doing here? Oh my gosh, good job. And another cannon, nice try. Alright, we gotta get this big, big turn. Watch this turn, watch this turn. There we go, there we go, double. Mm-hmm. Okay, so doing wide... Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Imagine if it was a one-hit KO and you lost. Right at the line, imagine that. That would've been bad. Alright, Birdo, you know what? You're a good flapper. I'll just put that out there. You're, you're a pretty decent flapper. That was absolutely a fun minigame. Alright, doing the double barrel rolls, man. That's how you do it. Alright, I gotta go. I gotta go. Uh, 17 to the star, that's probably three turns, and then maybe I'll make it, but honestly... Fudge. I'm gonna go to a switch space? I don't know what that means, but I'm kind of excited for it. I can go blue over here, four spaces, or I could just do the switch space. You know what? We're gonna go switch. I hope I can switch with someone good. <laughs> I need a star, man. Oh, goodness. Stars and coins will move to the player exactly shown. I need a star to Mario. Let's see. A star? A st swap stars is gonna be good. Okay, so it's after the 30? No, 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 it goes... I have to look at this. What's the order? It goes... Swap Star is after the 30 to that way? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we go. Oh, no! That's lame! I'm so bad at this. I should have spent a little bit more time studying that. I don't know, I felt rushed. I felt rushed. Usually, like, in Mario Party, you can study the role. And then, like, do the timing of it. That would have been so clutch, but I was off. Next time. Next time I'll master it. Give me some more practice with that. Oh, great. 69 coins. What am I doing with that? <laughs> Dude, he got, the no he got another floaty? How much? 14. Dude, 13 coins? All but one? Great. So that would be the strategy. And trust me, I would do that all the time as a kid. Be like, all right, I'm pretty good at timing. And I would like say out loud, it would be like three, two, one, and press it and then get it. But then like, honestly, the other, the other little roulettes spin faster. So there's no way that you can feasibly do the timing of that. So anyway, so we got a custom dice block. That's actually really good. That's very powerful in this game. Uh, Peach over here going to get a second star, most likely or not. Come on, Peach. Whoa, no, don't do... Are you kidding me? Ugh, why they put that in this game? 
Why, man? Back in my day, there was no such thing as pity blocks like that where you just randomly land on one. Great! Dude, I'm out here earning coins, and all and everyone else is getting pity. This is bad. We need to win, man. We need to... I don't know how I'm going to pull this out. If I get 70, 70 coins by this time, I can get one star and then potentially steal one. That's my strategy. I just got to roll high. And there's only a couple more rounds. So if I don't roll high, then it's over. It's the final countdown. Da -na -na -na. Ooh, I got punch? Ooh! Get over here. And you can jump kick? Dude, it's always about the jump kick, man. Jump kick is so OP. All right, should I... Wait, okay, so it's counting down. Yeah, it's counting down. Oh, I need to. I need to play offensive. And I need to hit Peach. She's the worst. You ready, girl? Come here! Oh my gosh, help! Ugh! Oh my gosh, stop! Leave! Dude, I just slipped off? These controllers are weird! Oh, nasty! Dude, I gotta get used to these controls, man. Mario, you're acting like Luigi with how slippery you are. How do how does one slip off? I needed those 10 coins! <laughs> Great! Three turns left, man, and knowing these clowns are gonna swap the star on me. So bad. So bad. Two! I need a golden. Give me a golden, man. I'm so bad at this game. I'm taking the go Boo Bell is going to be real good. I can just steal something right off the bat. Or I could go golden. What is this? I don't even know how to do this one. Give me it! Oh! <laughs> yes! Okay, that's really good, man. Give me it! Wow, dude. I'm taking that Boo Bell. 50 coins. You know what? In case I don't roll all the way to the Boo, this steals a star. And I'm gonna win. Wow, man. I'm gonna win now. Things are looking good. Don't you dare- Oh, you- Who are you gonna duel? Oh, duel me! You have a star? No, you don't have a star. I was gonna say, Peach, stop, man. You got too many stars. Get out of here. Roll- Roll a one. Gross! Does she have 50 coins? I don't even- I gotta look at- I gotta look at behind me over here. What are you doing? What's a three do? Yes, good. Good, take away Birdo's coins. So Birdo can't do anything. Wow, though, man. Wow, though. All right, here we go. Bow better not lose one star? That's really bad. I kind of don't want to win. I kind of don't want to win right now because then if I win, then Birdo gets more coins and then Birdo's right by the boo and Birdo can steal a star potentially. But Birdo just lost one. Shift wait, mash A to accelerate. Oh, this is going to be kind of cool. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's go 200 miles per hour. Gotta lean. Lean into it, girl. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. This is this is interesting. Lean, 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 lean. Max MP. It's like, it's too impossible to count how fast you're going. My question is, if you're just constantly mashing and you're both leaning correctly... Is that, um, is that possible to just not ever break? So this is the science that I have to find out. New record! All right, they didn't say it like they all used to say it, so. That was okay. 41 coins for Birdo was probably a bad idea. This was not good. Uh, I don't know how far Bird Birdo's right next to this, so I think I just have to win. Yeah, let's go use an item. We're gonna go Boo Bell. Yeah, I just, I might as well. Like, I'm just gonna do it, because I have to steal from Peach. Come on, boo! Alright, we are gonna steal, pay 50 coins for a star. I'm gonna steal from Peach. And this was my strategy the entire time, because I had the worst luck. Give me that star, thank you very much. I had the worst luck with, like, how the star was switching places and all that stuff. I would've had, like, three stars by now. But anyway, we got A star. What? Yes. 
All right, let's go. Uh, I got, yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. Let's go. Wait, 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 dice block. Should I? No, 11 to the start. I can get a 10. I'm good at rolling low numbers. Please give me an item block. I need a mushroom. Receive a mushroom. No. Oh, I hit cursed dice. Dude, it's actually... Oh, that's frustrating. So the timing of that is 100% the timing that you press the A button on. I tried to hit mushroom block, but I was a little late with it. So I got cursed mushroom. And that is potentially going to cost me the game. What's he buying with 11 coins? Updated the inventory because it's the last five turns. You bought a mushroom. You bought a double block. You have your you your dual glove, man. You could duel for like five coins. <laughs> Don't give him anything! Can you get a star from this? No. Warp block would be real cool. Uh, you got two dueling gloves. And there's only one more turn left. Peach, man, don't get a star. You got a six? Oh, gosh, help me. Stop it. Peach is doing so well. How well is Peach doing? I don't even know, man. Wow, this is, uh, this is quite interesting. Your turn, Birdo. Oh, no. Oh, oh, 41. No, what are you doing? Yes. <laughs> Why did I say yes? Oh. I hate you, Birdo. We were just on a team together, you clown. How dare you? Eight coins. How dare you? Versus everyone? What happens? Battle it out in a minigame where everyone's coins are on the line. You'll get coins depending on your ranking. All right, to start, three coins will be given. Okay, cool, congrats. I need to win this. Decide how many coins to wager. All of them. Seven? Come on. That's not fun. But I'm taking them. Thank you. All right, give me... It better not be Big Blast. Crazy Cutters. Whoa, Squid Game again. All right, cut along the lines and dig up the fossilized figures. I'm good at this. Wee. Look at that. I gotta go over to the eyebrows, right? I gotta do like some eyebrow action over here, right? And then I gotta get the eye. Look, I gotta get the eye just like that. And then I gotta go do the, the mouth, right? That's what I'm doing. That's how to win. Secret, you didn't even know. That's a secret you didn't even know. If you get the eyebrows correctly, that perfect shape. Yo, that's like a 90% right there. I'm so good. Yahoo, look at that arm on Yoshi. <laughs> the arm is just like completely off. Oh, come on. I thought that was 90. Get out of here. That was so good. And how does a boo come out of the ground? How how does that work? Please, someone enlighten me. It's Mario Party, whatever. All right, let's go. All right, so I got some of my money back that I got robbed from Birdo, but I don't know if I'm actually going to make it. I got some pretty bad dies. Like these dice roll are, are not good. All right, do I River Raiders? Goal with with eight O's. Oh yeah, here we go. We're gonna do a solo slide. What is this? Oh no, I'm gonna shoot. Hold A for a power shot. Boom. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Why does it go high? Oh, because if you hold the power shot too long, it's a, it's a rim shot. Yeah, you don't wanna do that. So you can hold until it's like just about there and then you can fire. Okay, that's, that's decent. Little bit of tricks over here. That's how to win. Yeah, yeah, do not, do not go full charge or else you're going to hit it into the rim. I'm out here scoring all the points, man. Come on, guys, step it up. Look at these red balls. Done, dude. Get owned. <laughs> I need those coins. I better get the minigame star. That's all I'm saying, man. If I don't get the minigame star, it's over. It is over 41. I'm, look at that. Look at that victory. 
One star, the final turn. Please give me enough. Please, please, please. I need a seven out of 10, man. Don't rob me of this. Huh? Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. Let's actual go. <laughs> give me that, Toddette. Give me that by one. By by one, I would have lost. Seven out of 10, dude, so clutch. So Don't even talk to me. Don't talk to me right now. I'm so, so happy. See, that's a little bit of luck coming back at me, man. Don't talk to me, Yoshi and Peach and Birdo stealing my stuff. Dude, seven? How do you get a seven out of 10 on that specific instance? No way, man. Don't you- yeah, you could steal from me all you want. You could take eight coins, I don't care. I got- you don't even have enough to take a star. So I'm good. Yeah, I'm done, man. Get out of here. Take my eight. Oh, man. <clears throat> wow, that was good. Take eight, whatever. Oh, an event space? Too bad. Not gonna help, because I've already passed it. But, uh, and Birdo's passed it too, so this is good. Well, would you look at that? Oh, your turn, Birdo. Seven? What are you doing? Why would you go there? What's on the other side in like five spaces? Uh, please, enlighten me as to why you're gonna be doing that. Oh, so you can duel for four coins? I mean, that sounds very smart. You're just wasting my time over here. I don't want to watch this. <laughs> You're gonna rob Yoshi of all of his money to really taunt him at the end. Yes! Uh, I'm gonna say... Bring it on! Okay, we have a winner. Yoshi wins. Oh, I didn't have to watch the minigame. That's kind of cute. That's good. So Birdo went over there to try to take Yoshi of all of his coins and ended up losing. So that's pretty embarrassing. All right, bring it on. Bring it on, clowns. River Raiders, please. Okay, fine. Title toss? Oh, I got a ground pound. Whoa! You got quick ground pounds? You got big ground pounds. Oh, that's really fun. Yeah, yeah, let's go. So you got big ground pounds, full-fledged, full and then you have the little ones. So you got to mix it up a little bit. See ya! Uh, I'm just ground pounding this water. Why? What is what is Mario's problem? What is why is he doing this? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Who's gonna win? Let us know right now. Who's gonna win? Is it gonna be Peach? Is it gonna be Birdo? Yoshi with all the stars? Alright, and then remember there's bonus stars. So don't think that you're gonna win right now. Alright, who will win it all? First, let's go over the bonuses. Minigame star, please. Item. For the resourceful player who used the most... I didn't use the most items, but I used a lot of them. I Maybe twice? Me! Me! Yes! Yeah! That's right. Okay, so moral of the story is when you have items, use them. Don't hold on to them, man. Second bonus is minigame star. Eventful? Gross. A lively player land on the most event space is nasty. Yoshi, dude. Nast and two? Oh no. That's fine. They only have one star. They're not gonna catch up. Give me the minigame star. Or the coin star. Final announcement. Come on, let's go, let's go. And the winner is. Wait, only two bonuses? Wait, I thought there were three. Oh man, Mario's praying like this. Mario wins! Yo, guess who's the superstar? Who made it back after the terrible luck in the first half? Yo, ooh, what's this? Mario comes in first, truly a spectacular performance. Whoa. If I had to guess, your winning strategy involved coming out on top in minigames. Birdo takes second place, not quite first, but still a great showing. You must have been up for a challenge based on all those versus spaces you landed on. Peach comes in third, great work all the way to the end. 
You found more hidden blocks than anyone else. You rank first in luck. That's cool. There's like a little, um, ending. Fourth place goes to Yoshi. You stuck it through to the very end. You couldn't stay off the lucky spaces. Seems you were the luckiest of all. That's great. What an amazing competition. Without further ado, let's check the final results. Hey, okay. So three stars and 29 coins. Really good. Boo Bell was pretty clutch. If I didn't have the Boo Bell... Yeah, if I didn't have the Boo Bell, it would have been a little bit closer between Peach and I. So that that was very clutch. Details. Uh, so taking a look at this. Oh, number of coins collected, 194. You better believe I did. Uh, Minigame coins, 95. So I would have won that. Hidden blocks, that's kind of cheap. I don't like that. That's luck based. Um, buying items, interesting. Number of items used, three. Uh, spaces moved. Yeah, so these are all the potential things that you can get, like, maybe bonus stars for. Like, how many times you landed on this, that, or the other. So, kind of cool. And then the number of stickers used. <laughs> what if that's a bonus star? Oh, gosh. Then everyone's going to spam. I, I mean, anyway, we'll, we'll figure that out. So, that's the final result. It's pretty good. Yay! We got one of these. I like this. I'm going to take a picture of it. Cool. Fun. Mario Party is fun. And look at this. We got... Oh, wow! Wow, 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 wow! Look at all these coins! 838 just for playing? Whoa! Look at that! At level 5, you get new stickers. Wow! 838. At level 10, you get new card designs. The encyclopedia board for Yoshi's Tropical Island, along with music and card, are added to Toad Shop. New stickers were added. I got some other things over here. I got some, like, achievements. This is really good. This is like extra development time that they didn't have to develop, but they put it in there to make you want to play more. It's genius. Good job. Really, really good job. All right. <laughs> Tell me your favorite part of that last battle. What was good about it, right? We went in, guns ablaze, and we knew we were going to destroy them, right? So, so fun. Anyway, so yeah, that's going to be it for that specific board. What do you guys say? Should we do another one? It should be good. Should we do another one? Dang, that was so much fun. All right, let's do another one. Let's do another one. All right, yeah, this is the best. I love unlocking things. Although I don't like that all the mini games are, I don't like it that all the mini games are unlocked right off the bat. I really like landing on them and then having them there. You know what I mean? But. Something new got added. Here we go. Uh, what got sticker settings, maybe? Oh, maybe we got a new sticker collection? I don't know. Something new got added. I don't know what is new. Is there like a little new icon? What's new? Background music. Oh, background music seems to be new. Yoshi's Tropical Island mod classic music? Oh, so cool. That's kind of great. Yeah, yeah. Taking a little page from like Smash Bros. Really, really embracing the music of the game. That's fun. All right, Toad's shop. Spend the coins you earn. All right, let's jump into another one. That was good, man. All right, let's do another board, shall we? I think it's going to be a fun time. We're, I'm getting excited for this game. That was actually really, really fun. And I have not played a, um, a Mario Party game like that in a while. Where the odds were against me, but perseverance and hard work. All right, you guys choose the characters this time. What <laughs> what characters do you want to see? That's all up to you. We can go random. We could throw in Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing. We could do Donkey Kong. We do Rosa, the most powerful character in existence. What do you guys want to do? Talk to me. Oh, this is going to be real fun. I love this game. I'm liking it a lot so far. It's pretty underwhelming with the amount of boards. Like, I will admit that straight out. There should be at least 10 boards. In a game that's on Nintendo Switch for 60 bucks, and you only have five boards, that's very lame. And don't give me the holdout for the DLC added content. Don't give me that. I think that's very bad. But, whatever, it's fun. Okay, who are we doing? Rosa? Okay, cool. Um, uh, yeah, Rachi wants Rosa. Austin wants Rosa. Um, a lot of you guys saying Walu. We can do Walu. Uh, and then who else? Rosa, Walu. We can do, a lot of you guys like Luigi. Yeah, let's do Luigi. Okay, this is cool. We're ready to go. Okay, we'll do normal difficulty. 
Okay, so Tropical Island, Spaceland. Oh, we're just gonna build up. Yeah, yeah, we can build up in difficulty. Wow. Okay, here we go. Yoshi's Tropical Island. Here's Spaceland. Uh, this is what we're gonna be jumping into, so I'm ready. Uh, 15 turns? No, we're gonna go 10 turns. 10 turns. Every single one of these 10 turn boards is about an hour. So, yeah, there's that. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, so this is the pack that has everything in it, uh, and yeah, we're ready to go. Bonus stars, minigame help on, yeah, it looks great. I'm excited. You guys pick the characters. <clears throat> wow. Alright, well, welcome back. It's Abdallah here, with even more Mario Party. Thanks for coming. We've got... Spaceland, the second board. It's difficulty two out of five. We got Rosalina, Waluigi, and Luigi as computer players. Who will end up winning in Spaceland? I don't know. I haven't played this board since the original. With this laser beam that fires all the way across and like drains you of everything. I don't remember what happens, but it was pretty scary back in the day. A while ago on this space station, which is kind of far away, a battle commenced. Mario Party 2. A brave superstar vanquished an evil king and restored peace to the galaxy. Ah, look at that. Through the gal Though the galaxy is at peace, uh, signs of trouble lurk just over the horizon. That's why, now more than ever, the people of this galaxy need a savior. Will you step up and become the superstar that people need? Excellent. I can see you're just the person for the job. But now that we're here, we got some business to take care of. I'll see you later. Toad's in charge from here on out. You got it. I'm the best. I guess it's up to me to be your guide. Is this your first time playing on the board? Yeah, it is. Tell me all about it, please. Great. Then let me explain. There's a timer here that counts down when you pass by. What's that about? Ooh. What do you mean, what's that about? Bowser's shaped satellite hovers over the board. Better watch out. Oh, the sniff it. They, they kind of push you through. The sniff it patrol operates out of two locations. Are they here to fight crime? There seems to be a lot going on up here, so don't let your guard down for a second. First, we'll decide the turn order. Come on. Second. Boo. Rosa, you're so powerful. Mario, second. Luigi is third. Waluigi. All right, let's go. What? <laughs> Ten coins. Yes! So you can do what with uh, R, ZR, you can do yes with uh, ZL, and then if you press X, or one of the other ones, hold on, whenever you're there. I think it does the other, your third emote. Kind of fun. Alright, here's a star. Alright, Toadette, I'm coming for you. We gotta win. I gotta keep this win streak up. Are we gonna win all the minigames today? You should be all set, so let's get started. Uh, okay, everyone, give it your best shot out there. Good luck and have fun. Wow. Turn one. Let's go. Let's go. Wow, one, two, three. Ooh, look at you, Lucky, right off the bat. Dang. A skeleton key? To go through a shortcut? Wow! Oh my goodness, that's so fun. Looks nothing like a skeleton, though, so good job. Give me that big niner, niner! I'm out of here, losers. Give me something good. Oh, I need the golden. I'm, I'm gonna watch the golden. Focus on the golden. All right, all right, don't blink, don't blink. I got it, I got it, I got it, got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's the golden, where's the golden, where's the golden? Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six in the comments, go. Attack, attack! That's not the golden! I thought it was! <laughs> no. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, where was it? Too fast. But hey, you know what, it's fine. It's a dice block. One and three, in case I need to roll that. Let's go for it. Dang it. <laughs> One through six. Dude, I thought it was six, man. Oof. So hard. Too late, man. Too late. All right, Waluigi is going to get a skeleton key. What? 
I did not get it. It was really hard, honestly. I thought I had it in like the first 75% of that, but then it was just like, it went really, really fast. Give me cash a bolt. It's a pizza. I love this mini game. Yeah, let's go. Pair up. You gotta, you gotta mash the A button to eat. Yo, you eat the pepperonis, man. I'm just gonna go like left and right. We're just gonna plow through. You can't just go diagonally. No, man. You have to do it correctly. All right, here we go. Watch. Yo, eat that crust. Some of you guys at home don't even eat your pizza crust. It's true. What kind of what kind of person does not eat pizza crust on a pizza? How dare you? How disrespectful for pizza. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Where's my turbo controller? Ah! Rosalina, you're leaving crust behind. What are you doing? I can't. I'm not a garbage disposal. Eat your dang crust, girl. Oh, perfect. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh. Holy moly, man. Dang. That's draining. Yo, that's my, like... <laughs> That's my machine gun. Yo, what you know about that, man? Yo, who doesn't eat pizza crust? You're just like, nah, man, I can't have that bread. I can't have that bread. I don't need the extra carbs, dude. Then why are you eating pizza? <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to give it a try. What do I need? One through three, four. One. I can get a coin space or an event space. But, like, honestly, I don't even know where to go. I'm gonna go over here, and then over here, a junction, and then I'm gonna go get the star. So no, I'm not going to, so I'm just gonna roll, man. Let's go, give me a big eight. These are some big numbers here, big boy numbers. Welcome to the Koopa Bank, I'm sorry, but I must ask for a deposit of three coins. Excuse me? Why? Thanks for your deposit. Oh, yeah, 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 so this is good. So I can use the potential space to land on that and get all my money. Uh, 10 to the star, I have to. I lost six coins on that, but I'm going to win the next mini game, so I'm all set. Dude, turbo controllers, the sales of Nintendo Switch turbo controllers are going to go through the roof right now. Can you imagine that if... <laughs> oh no! Uh, oh good, 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 I'm out of here. Yo, the thwomp just like pushed them all back to the start. But what does Sniff It do? I'm sorry, what are you doing? Understood, we'll chase them down the farthest reaches of space. Oh, that's me on the main. Don't you worry, I'll ca Oh, he's going all the way back. Wait, what happened? A boo bell? What are you doing? Great. He's gonna. He's gonna steal from me. He's gonna steal from me. And then it's gonna be eight coins away from my. 20 that I need. Oh, yeah. Yo, let's play Fall Guys over here. Nah, man. Mario Party is the original Fall Guys. Don't even talk to me. Dude, this is hard. Like, this is legit hard. You have to jump real early. Yeah, there's like, there's a little bit of delay on the startup of your jump. Dead. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna try. Oh my gosh. Okay, good. I'm gonna try. We'll see. Come on, don't, don't. Not right off the bat, like in practice, man. So you need like some forward leap and then some back action on that. Because it gives you a lot more uh, room to move. And now you stop. Okay. That's actually really hard. That's hard. 24, man. I'm gonna lose my 8 from Waluigi unless I, unless I get, unless I roll a 10 and get my star. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Unless I roll an 8, man. I'm, I'm robbed right now. I don't, I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, it looks like the Sniffets are out on patrol. Okay, so what do they do? Exactly. I don't remember, man. Your turn, Mario. I gotta go. I'm like 7 away to the star. Come on, let's get another 7 like in the previous round. Go! Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes. Wow. Just saying, 
The luck is on my side today. Just saying. Wow. Dang, look at that later, Toddette. Todd Eddie. Dude, that was so good. Let me get a seven. Did you see that? See, like, that's how it works, man. You gotta close your eyes and then roll. Give me something good, man. I need to start using these items, too. Oh, uh, Bowser Jr., no thanks. I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. One, 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 one. Finish. Gross. I mean, okay. Yes, I could have. I could have pressed it a little bit earlier to get the golden, but uh, I guess mushrooms good. Plus five. Okay, so that one is exactly where you press the press the A button. It's exactly as that. So what I like to do is I like to talk out loud and like whenever it goes over the one that I want, I like say like one, one, one. So I get like a rhythm going. And then once I have the rhythm going, then I press the A button. Um, so yeah, I just needed a little bit more uh, early on that one. So anyway, kind of cool. But yeah, if you're good, if you're good at Mario Party, in which this is what's going to happen, you can stop those roulettes exactly where you need. So that is a skill minigame for sure. Okay, so I've already got my star, man. This is smooth sailing on turn three. I got really lucky with my rolls. Don't even. Good. Walu, man. Uh, the mushroom adds plus five to your rolls. It's just generic. So you add five to whatever. You're going to max a 15. Lowest is six. Six to 15. That's not bad. Oh, storm chasers. Cool. Yay. We get to go over here and like and get some rain. That's fun. Here we go. I'm going to grow my baby. Oh, get out of here, man. Oh, come on, man. Out of my way. That's oh, fine, Monty Mole. Oh, man, I'm getting all that rain. I'm getting so much rain. Look at this cloud. Look at this cloud right now. Are you seeing this cloud? Yeah, dude. Mine's going to be so gigantic. The biggest you've ever seen. Gigantic. <laughs> Way to go, Mario. You did it. Luigi's twiddling his thumbs over here. I will gladly take 10. Thank you. No change. Okay, next up. Here we go. Don't even. No! That, you know, that's just luck, man. That just appeared right in front of you. I don't like that. I had to work my way over to a star. Rosalina. And you got a skeleton key? I gotta start using these items, man. I gotta roll. Next star location is... Dun, 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 right next to me. Is it? I... Ooh, I can go there. Yeah, I can make my way over there with a plus five on a roll. Let's go. Okay, so I need a good, like, 15 to get it. Oh, did you actually land on that? No, you didn't, I was gonna say. And what does the event space do? The event space pushes everyone across. But, since the patrol is here, it stops it, right? Or it pushes them all the way even further. That's really good for them. Or is it? I don't, I gotta look at this board, man. This board is weird. So they're all the way in the corner, but they're forced to go that way. Yeah, they can't. That's actually really bad for them. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, what's up? Hey, Molly, thank you. And shout outs to William. Hey, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. All right, yeah, let's go. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my star or my, my little item block. So let's go mushroom and let's hope for a 15. Here we go. Four, nine, boo. Hey, Toad. Uh, would I like to buy something? I need my coins, man. Ooh, actually, I can I can afford. I can afford five. If I get ten right now, I'll be missing something. Can I can I view the board? 
How many more do I have left? I have... How many more... How many more in my roll, man? How do I know? What's my roll? Dude, the game should say how much I have rolled left. Alright. I mean... I'll be fine. How do I... I think I need a skeleton key. Just based on this... Like, look, I'm gonna go skeleton key. We're gonna jump over here, get Boo. I'll earn some more stuff. Go towards the middle... Uh, go this way, up and around. Or, I could just go all the way straight across. Boo would probably be better. I think that's how it's going to work. Alright, I'm going to buy a skeleton key. Yo, what's up, Melissa? Good to see ya. Thanks so much for hanging out. Alright, here we go. Open a gate. Can be used uh, when you're doing there. A five? Oh, uh, great. Okay. We'll chase down speeders for just five. I'm going to land on the event space. I don't know where that's going to go. Where is that going to drop me off? I just don't have anything. So it appears that the speeders are going to probably bring me back to my spot right over here. So I'm just going to leave them because I don't really want to go. I'm going to let them go. All right. So these speeders are going to come right all the way across. I'm going to get pushed back like two spaces, I presume. Yeah, so that's fine. Honestly, not a big deal. If I decided to chase him down, I would have gone all the way to the very bottom. So, no, we don't need that. And having this key is actually really powerful. Because you can just take a shortcut and cut the amount of um, spaces. Don't do it! Good. I only have 11, man. Wow, only have 11. Hmm. Oh, no, Waluigi. All right, here it comes, here it comes. Ooh, Waluigi and I. That's good. I will partner up with him. Winner for dinner. Winner or dinner. <laughs> a winner for dinner, yes. Okay, here we go. Break down the boulders block in the road and be the first team to the goal. Ooh, you can... I love this one. Yes. Jump and punch. Hold on, hold on, dude. I gotta, I gotta learn this, man. I think, like, jump kick was worth two damage, and a regular punch was worth one. But don't punch your partner. Wow. Oh, Luigi just got kicked by Rosa. You can do two jump kicks in midair, which is kind of interesting. Wow, cool. Yep, yep, we're not doing anything. I'm just gonna punch, dude. Doing a short hop? Doing a short hop jump kick is really hard. I'm just gonna press A and B at the same time and see if it works. Yeah, no, short short hop jump kick. <laughs> oh my gosh! I mean, I don't think it's worth... I don't think a jump kick is worth more DPS. I would have to do the science. If a boulder has 5 HP, what's the... Um... Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I don't honestly think that there's a difference between jumping and doing two jump kicks or just standing still and punching. It looks cool, right? Do a rising jump kick and then a, a falling jump kick and you're done. It looks great, but I think you could just stand still and punch and it'll be a lot faster. With, like, less margin for error. From... A pro gamer over here, a pro Mario Party player. You gotta min max this stuff and you gotta know. Because if you're playing against like three other people that know how to play that minigame, you better believe you, you need as much strategy as possible. So, anyway, there's that. We'll just bring it in the lab and we'll see what's up. Dude, not me. Come on! I need mine! Eight coins? Turtle controller! Initiate! Oh! Ten? Why? Why ten? Was I not going fast enough? Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Oh, that's what you get. That's what you get. Alright, here we go. So you landed on my space and you have no clue. Oh my gosh. Half your coins. 50. Bowser Revolution? Come on. 
Maybe you'll understand if you're all equal. The same number of coins. That's terrible. How much did I lose in this? I only had 11. Oh, Waluigi has 45? How much did... Wow. That was bad for Waluigi. I mean, I just... I earned some more. But if I was Walu and he had his Boo Bell, he was ready to steal my star. So, Rosalina, I thank you. That was amazing. You are such a kind and generous person. 18 to the star. Can I- can I go? Can I get out of this place? I'm just- I'm going in circles. But, I'm getting event spaces, and if that's the bonus star at the end, then I win. So I guess there's that. Oh, uh, no, we want to be able to move forward. That's really it. You want to be able to move forward. You don't really want to stick around the same spot, man. But don't, not me. Good. Yeah. All right, all right. Come on, Waluigi. Uh, ooh. All right, a mini game. Ooh, yeah, yeah, let's go. I like this one. Three coins from Luigi. Yep, great. And we're all, how much you... Dude, do 18. Oh. <laughs> I do need some coins. And we do need to rob Waluigi of all of his coins because he's got that boo belt and I'm very afraid. Slot car. Oh! Is this the one where. Yeah, I remember this! Wee! Speed up, but you don't want to, uh, you don't want to, like. You don't want to go out of control on the turn, so you kind of let go of it. Yes, I love this game! This one was interesting because in the older games, it was just a car, and you had your big character head on top. And it looked so cute. This is a lot more modern, but it's fun. Three, two, one, oh, come on! Slow start. See ya! I'm out of here! Mm -mm. Oh, 360! Come on, go, go, go! Oh my gosh, I cannot afford that. How many laps? Four laps. See ya, uh, that's me up front. Mm, I'm about to lap this kid. Oof! <gasps> that ramp, I was not expecting it. Slow and steady wins the race, man. Slow and actual steady wins the race. Dude, wider? I don't need, I don't need to speed through. I'm not going for a new record. I just need to win. New record! All right, let's go. Oh, I'm winning, man. Look at, take a victory lap. <laughs> no new record sound effect. Okay. The developers obviously didn't play the first Mario Party to remember that, right? That's so iconic. Alright, anyway. What happened to him? What was that? Oh, okay, yeah. He just teleported back to his spot. Okay, he's getting a two. Yikes, man. Good luck. Oh, that's actually good for him. A mushroom, cool, congrats, dude. I mean, none of us are really using our items. I mean, I've, oh, bonus minigame, this is cool. I need the money, thank you. Waluigi, better not. Picking panic. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, what is this? Grab cherries, give me that cherry, oh my gosh. Yeah, this is cool. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me the cherries, man. <laughs> Dude, imagine. How are you How are you hanging upside down? Can you imagine the athleticism? The sheer athleticism. The sheer athleticism of you being able to hold your own body weight upside down and continuously swing with the momentum. This is phenomenal. You see how fit these guys are? Don't even think that their shoes are glued to this. And what is this tree? Yo, this is a perfect score, man. Don't even talk to me. <laughs> Don't even talk to me, man. This is great. If I was teamed up with Luigi, I would have lost the minigame. On purpose. Because Waluigi is such a threat to me. That the moment that he gets 50 coins, it's over. So I need to be very aware of that. Because if you're holding on to that boo bell, man, that is such a threat. You guys don't even know. Waluigi you better not be last, too. It's bad. Don't be last. Oh, no. He's going to get 20 coins, and he's going to have 37. Speaking of predictions, all right, you guys predict right now. Those of you guys watching, predict. 
what is going to happen. Sounds like the Whomp is predicting. You heard that, right? Come on out, Luigi. Our predicted winner, Waluigi, will receive... Oh, great. Steal an item from the opponent of your choice? What? He's going to toss his mushroom, and he has a, an item steal? Okay, well, I guess that's cool. I mean, he, I, I, he can take a key from me. Big deal. But that's rough. Yeah, you better use your double dice, because Waluigi's about to steal it. Okay, landing on the six. I don't think we're going to see the Bowser Beam today. But I need to get out of here, please. May I? Ten! Lucky space or what? Oh, I'm going to Boo. 47, no one- Oh, yeah, 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 I'm good, I'm good. Let's go to Boo. And then I can steal a star. This is great. This is actually great. And I'm gonna go right here to the lucky space. I just need to win the next minigame, and then we got ourselves another star. The cost of your star is cut in half, receive double dice. Uh, I'll go double dice. Or I got my key back, great. I mean, Waluigi's key. I wanted coins? I, n I need to win this next minigame. Like, all the stakes are high for this minigame here. I have to win it. Here's a duel. Uh, Luigi has what? Maybe like 20 coins? He's gonna wager 20 coins. They're gonna go over here. They're gonna play the mini game. It's going to cut exactly to it. One of these two is gonna win 40 coins. Uh, and begin. We don't get to watch it, which is kind of fun. And then Luigi wins it. That's kind of great. It, 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 it speeds up the process. You don't have to watch computers go at it. I guess maybe there should be an option if you wanted to see that. Like, press, like, plus to skip. I would have done something like that. Okay, so now he's stealing Rosalina's key. That's kind of cool. Oh, interesting. And the star is, like, literally right there. Skeleton key. Wow, okay. We're we're really struggling to get to this next next star here. No one's getting it. So here's a minigame. I need to win it, please. Waluigi. Oh, this is gross. You know why? Because if I win this, Waluigi's gonna have more... Uh, he's gonna have more coins to potentially steal from me. So it's gonna be 50-50 split. I'm gonna end up net minus a star. Or you know what? I'm gonna be end up net zero star. Because I'm gonna steal Rosa's, and then Waluigi's gonna steal it from me. Which is pretty bad. So anyway, work with your partner to surround the stamps with your crayons. Out of the way, dude. I'm gonna go this side. Yeah, yeah. Okay, gosh, this is weird. I don't know if I want to win this one. Waluigi's inevitably gonna get more coins and use his bell, so I shouldn't be that intimidated by him. There we go. Easy. Look at that. Cool. Go that way. Don't follow me, fool. Go the opposite way, man. I'm doing all the work. <laughs> You're terrible. I'm going this way. You go that way. Stop following me directly, guy! Okay, I'm gonna go this way. You go that way. Don't follow me! You're... Mm, okay, hi. Cool, you can hear me. I know, while I was... look at him. Look at him following me. Dude, I'm, I'm doing all the... Ty, no one gets coins? Waluigi, you're the worst. Put that rose out of your mouth. You're terrible. Everyone gets coins. I mean, I needed them. We were about to lose. Um, okay, I guess. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, I don't like this because now you get the star, right? Why are you going that way? Where, where's the star at? What are you doing? Oh, you don't have enough coins for the star, so that's why you went that way. Okay, that makes sense. Updated inventory. You are now getting seven coins for a... Swap spaces block. Okay... I don't know what that's gonna do, but give it a shot. All right, Mario, let's go. I am going to view board. I am seven away to the star. You guys wanna pull another seven? Should we pull another seven? I mean, I don't wanna pull another seven. No, I can't. So please don't. Hold on, hold on. What if I use my other smaller? 
hold on, hold on. Here's here's where a big strategy comes in, right? Luigi is um he can go over here and he can actually get the star next. So maybe I do. Maybe I do want to go for it because Luigi has how many coins? He's got 49. Yeah, he can get the star on his next turn. So maybe I do want to get a 7. If I rolled low right now in order to like possibly get 50 coins for the boo stealing star and then 20 coins for the next one on the next turn, it wouldn't work out because Luigi inevitably is three spaces away. And Waluigi can also use his like nothing to get there. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. I need to get past this Bowser beam. So I'm just going. I'm absolutely, I'm out of here. Boom, five. No, I needed the seven. <laughs> oh no, four left. What's four left? Uh, one, two, three, and then I have the option to go anywhere I want, which is bad. It, it's typically bad because you don't know where the star is going to go, but you don't want to re repeat the same places where you've gone before. Um, so I'm going to go back and then maybe I can get another 50 coins in the next like three. So here we go. We're going to pay 50 steel star. Uh, Rosa, I'm taking it. Sorry. This is bad again, because like if Waluigi gets 20 more coins, then he's going to, he, that star, the two that I have are going straight to Walu. So we need to make sure that he just maybe rolls a 10. Luigi rolls a one. He rolls a 10, squeezes over there, spends his 20 coins on his own star. And then never gets 50 coins to do it again. Uh, three to the star. So this is really interesting. Like I can, I can hope and pray Luigi gets a one or a two, right? And then I could potentially get another star after the next turn. It's a good risk, but hear me out. Watch, watch, watch. So this is going to go to number two. I'm probably going to get beamed, right? So Luigi is going to go over here and then it's going to go to one. And then Waluigi is going to destroy and get hit by the beam. You know what? I'm going to risk it. I'm, I don't have anything to lose. I'm going to risk it right now. So Luigi is going to hit it and then Waluigi is going to hit it and get owned. I think that's how things are going to go. Eight. Dang it. Come on, dude. <laughs> he's going for the star. Dang it, guy. Well, well. Oh, he's going to get owned by the beam. He's going to get beamed right now. And what happens when you get... Do you lose your star if you get beamed in the middle? You star. Wow, you got a star. I'm genuinely curious. The next star location is here. Whoa. Yo, Luigi got double right now. And that's right by Rosa. But she doesn't have enough coins, so we're good. She spent her seven coins on the warp spaces block. Which I hope she uses it next turn, because then I'll, I'll gladly warp. Okay, so here we go. We're going to find out. The beam. Star. Please drain your star. Energy charge to 300%. Fire the Bowser coin. Coin beam? No. Coin beam! What? Luigi was there! Okay, that's lame. No sign of life. Reset the counter. I'll remember this. Stupid. I did not like that. Okay, I thought that after you, like, you hit it, and you, you go on it, you're automatically going to trigger and get owned. Boobell on who, man? Okay. That's great. I don't have to worry about that. Yo, that beam was a joke. Dude, beam's, beam's nothing, man. It's a coin beam? Alright, great. Just don't stay in the middle, alright? Be mindful of where you're landing, I guess. Eight to the star. Is he getting it? Yeah, I think he's getting it. Maybe? No, no, he's not. He's not anywhere near there. Alright, I mean, I got a key. I got this, like, low rolling die. I mean... I, I played a risk. I played a risk where Luigi would not roll high. And Waluigi would not roll high. Oh, check this out. Dinger Derby. Ooh, yeah. Look at this. We. Oh my gosh. It's so hard. There's no way you can hit the fastballs. This is impossible. I'm going to lose this. This is really hard. <sighs> I'm good at baseball. I'm good at baseball. Mm. 
Stop! I'm so good! Oh my gosh, how many Rosa? Okay, good. <laughs> so bad that game. That game's hard, man. You honestly, there is... There is no... No way, man. There's no way that you can feasibly hear the sound of it, react to the speed, and then press the A button. There's a lot of luck with that. I'm just saying. You think it's a rhythm thing? No way, man. Nah, 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 man. I thought I was gonna lose against the computers. That's a very hard one to win. One, two, three, four, you lose, and then you're gonna let him go. So I can see this. I can see where you would chase these guys. Because if there's dudes behind you, you wanna chase them all the way away from that one. So that's not too bad. Okay, anyway, um, do I wanna get anything? Do I wanna use my item? I mean, no, I'm 18 to the to the star, so let's just go. Let me go, let me get a 10 next round, and I win. Skeleton key with an eight. Let's take a look at the board. Uh, one, two, three, four, oh, where is it? Oh gosh, I gotta manually count? No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, I could win over here. That's gonna push me backwards. I don't really wanna do that. Um, or I can go one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. I can duel Luigi for 16 coins? Yeah, sure, why the heck not? All right, let's go, we're not gonna unlock. All right. Let me look at this board one more time. Four up? Four up is an item space. The star is right over that way. Everyone's racing to the star. So, honestly, I'm going to duel for the 16 coins. Yeah, I have to. It's my destiny right now. And I'm going to get an item, so this is good. All right, we're going. We're going, Luigi. I can choose how many wager, right? Yeah, we're gonna, 16, yeah, let's go. Come on, Luigi, 1v1 me in Mario Party, 100% skill, ready, go. 32, and begin. What, dodge the floating asteroids, wee! Oh my gosh, it's so fun, wee, wee. And there's like, you're slippery too. So this is, uh, yeah, you have to be very, very subtle in your movements. Not too hard. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Wee! Yes! Wee, I'm swimming in space because I got breathing out of space. Don't question it. Okay, don't get overconfident, Mario. Okay, good. We're already winning. Luigi, you cannot win this one by doing absolutely nothing. Oh my gosh, that's a Goomba. Oh, I gotta squeeze in. Oh, help! Invincibility frames? No invincibility frames! Ouch! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, they're moving, they are moving. That's a turtle shell asteroid. Yo, I gotta thread the needle. Gotta thread the needle here. Let the let the map push you, right? Oof, ouch! Wow, my hat went clearly through that asteroid. Yo! Press Z or R twice! <laughs> Use the boost! Here we go. Yay! See ya, loser! <laughs> it's funny. That was hard. Whoa, Luigi's getting bonked in the back. What a bonker. This was, that was actually a really good one. All right, we have a winner. 32 coins goes to Mario. Yay! Cool. We did it. Yahoo. Okay, the item space. And we get a new item. Please allow me to... Okay. I need like the triple. I don't, oh, okay. Um, mash to raise the hammer and drop it. <gasps> Medium. Yes, that's what I wanted. I want to blast past these fools. That's good. Although warp would have been pretty interesting, but no, that's that's exactly what I wanted. So I'm hoping that Wa oh, Waluigi, like goes really, really low on his rolls. He's got two keys. He can go to Boo and steal a star. He's got a, a lot of money. Uh, I robbed this guy of all his coins, so he's not buying anything. <laughs> he's got nothing. The versus is going to be pretty interesting. Um, I can potentially... This is where everyone, like, pitches in their money. Or everyone can... Yeah, everyone's kind of wagering. Ten coins. That's really good. But we don't get enough because Luigi's broke. I robbed him of all of his money. 
All right, this is good. I can make a lot of money. Book squirm, cool. Yeah, there's the pages. Oh, the pages, look, 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 look. And you can't punch, but you can kind of nudge. You can, you can subtly nudge them. But like, that's what I would do if I had like friends playing right now, but the computers are pretty smart. So I can't really nudge them out. I'm just gonna end up nudging myself out. So just play defensively and you're good. Here we go, book squirm, excited. I'm going over here to this corner later, losers. Don't come to my circle, dude. I don't like you at all. Don't come to my circle. Don't come to my moon. Rosa, chill. Big, Rosa's a big girl. Oh. Rosa, don't. What do you, mm. Oh my gosh, Rosa, you're mean. Don't. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need this. Get on. Yes. <laughs> oh, so scary, man. Like those little sharp edges of the star. Dude, Mario's arm can get clipped and it'll count it. Like, don't. The path of least resistance. Give me all of that. 52. I'm coming straight to that boo, man. If I can make it to that boo, I have a key. I can go there. I just need to use my item. And I I gotta go. I gotta go, man. Just out of my way. Please. There's only two more turns. Don't. Eight is huge. Don't buy anything. Actually, buy every... 25 for what? What? No way. Well, you better lose. Oh, she only has five coins, man. Come on. Yo, 25 for a golden warp pipe? A golden warp pipe takes you directly to the star. So that's way better than using a boo bell. But the thing about that is using a boo bell subtracts a star from your competitors and gives it to you, which I guess is worth the 50 coins. But again, you have to have a lot of money in order to use that strategy. So he had 25. He made it, good job. And he got even more money off of that. So good work. Yeah, Boo Bell, man, that's really rough. Okay, here we go, four player mini game. Castaways or Goomba spotting. You guys can play this one too, all right? Spot them and you gotta count them. Oh my gosh, and give me the right count at the end. See if you can actually win. This is rough. Wow, wow, there's the tower of Goomba. All right, play along with, okay? Do those count? I think I'm off by one. I think I'm off by one, man. It's like 30, 30, 35 or 37. What do you think? Oh yeah, let's go. Yo, I know how to count. <laughs> oh man. Wow, I know how to count apparently. I got a lot of coins, man. You guys got 35, 36? Okay, you guys are right in the same realm. Let's go. Except for you. you, you said 38, man. I don't think so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry, Rosa, I'm gonna blast past you. We're in the home stretch, so we better start wrapping up with that deposit five coins. You know, no one's actually landed on the bank spot. It's it's really underutilized here. And now you're gonna get pushed all the way back. So that's kinda lame. We're gonna fast forward. Ooh. Ooh. Weird. Your turn, Mario. We're gonna use an item. No. I need an item. I'm going to that star, man. Don't even talk to me. That we better get ten. Nine. Oh, I win it. A minute to win it. Oh my, look at all these! I, no, I don't need that much. That's a huge roll, 23, I get two stars. Welcome to the item shop. I would like to buy a golden pipe, thank you very much. Yeah, what's a chomp call? 
calls a chain chomp to move a star. No, I don't need that. Yo, I'm gonna buy the golden pipe. We're gonna destroy these clowns. Should I have bought the golden pipe? In hindsight, probably not. Now that I'm looking at this. Because it's it's the it's the last maybe ten out of ten? No, I'm gonna let him go. I just need like three more coins and then I can use my gold pipe on the next turn, right? Because there's still one more turn, so that wasn't a misplay. But I'm just like worried that I'm gonna have so much room to get to the next star and I just won't have. Okay, that's pretty far and I don't think I can get there. But I'll go there anyway. Fourteen. <laughs> oh my, twenty-one to the star. I can go to the boo. Yeah, yeah. Take a look. Hold on, hold on. Watch. Let, let, let's play this out. Let's play this out. I can go to the boo and get some more coins, right? Get to the boo, uh, and then I can do. So I have what? How many left? Fifteen to the star. Dude, wait. Hold on. Hold on. How many? I have twenty-one to the star, but I got fourteen on my thing. So fourteen. Uh, this is gonna be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. And then I go up here. Six. Wow, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh my gosh! That's lame, though. That's really lame, because I just needed one more turn. And then I could have used this. Whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the boo. We're gonna steal some. And I'm gonna use the item. Doesn't matter. This was cool. Catch you later. All right, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna use the boo. I don't have 50, but I'm gonna steal for free. Uh, who, Luigi has watch? Oh yeah, Walu, let's go Walu. Oh, <laughs> it's great. Oh, it's so good. Walu's gonna get owned right now. We got that boo to get the coins and then uh, we're just gonna keep on going. It's good. How many? 15. This is good. Maybe niner? Oh, I can't go that way. I, I miscounted that. I thought I can go up this way and that, but that's not the case. So niner, uh, view board? Yeah, let's take a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Cool. Whatever. I mean, if they land on the little thing, then whatever. You're good. Okay. So I'm, I'm golden either way. I win this game. I'm not worried about losing in Mario Party on this board at all. Like, we're golden. <laughs> All right, here we go. He doesn't have the five coins. All right. Uh, yep, congratulations. Cool. And I bypassed that. Dude, we win against these clowns. It's so good. He's going to use a dice block. He's got a 10. Oh, he's blasting through here. He's going to let him go. He does have a key. Oh, he's going to steal something. Oh, you, okay. You're going to steal, steal back from me? All right, I'm going for eight, man. Don't even think about it. Oh, come on. Turbo controller engage. And I'm not going to stop until the very end. I don't even care about that meter. I'm just going to keep on going. Eight, six, maybe. How much? Niner? Come on, man. I, I've gotten it to eight before. It's not bad. But you can have it. Whatever. We just stole back and forth. And he's got the lucky space right now. And coin beam could potentially destroy him. But, you know, I'm good. I, I don't... He's got a skill and he has not going to do anything for him. Um, the interesting thing is, he didn't use his golden pipe during that turn. Why? I'm, like, right in front of him. Uh, X-ray payday, please? Chip shot? Oh, wow, chip shot. Okay, aim, power, swing. Uh, okay, uh, practice time, hit the ball towards the flag. The player who hits the ball closest wins. Oh, I don't know how to play this one. I don't want to watch the computers play. I want to practice. Hurry up. So you have to aim left and right. And if you're last, you can actually learn from your opponents. Well, this is a better golfing sim than Mario Party's... What is it? Or sorry, Mario Golf Super Rushed? Oh, this is terrible. 
was a better golfing sim than that game for sure. Look at that roll. Dang. All right, let's see. Watch me get this hole in one here. Watch, 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 watch. Check this out. What's the wind? What's the wind? Oh my. Okay. I mean, I'm all right. I'm all right at the game. Just like, make me be last, please. <laughs> you have an innate advantage if you're last. Because then you can see what those clowns did and, um, and just win. But if you play the sim a lot, then you'll be able to... Oh, last, baby! Let's go! <laughs> so you just watch and learn from them. Okay, so that's six power. With, with Luigi and six power? Okay, so I'm going to need seven power and head on. To get the, the chip shot. I'm going to need 7 power and, and directly head on. There's no wind elements. And there's no curvature or anything like that. Wow, 7 power. I'm going to go right on the flag. Watch me like a champ. Watch me. Yo, you had it. What are you doing, girl? Or maybe there is wind because you can kind of see the wind? I don't know. I'm just going to chip it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Six, seven. Yeah, go. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. Seven? What are you talking about? <laughs> why did you why did you hit it so high up, man? Freaking Luigi. Dude, Luigi did six and it didn't even barely do it. I don't understand. Why did I hit like a lob shot versus a straight on, man? Dude, that golf sim is trash. <laughs> Boo! It doesn't matter. You think I needed those 10 coins? Guess what? I didn't. Guess what? I didn't. Guess, comma, what? Watch this. Are you watching? Are you watching? I'm out of here. I'm going right in that gold pipe. I'm not risking my roll. Even though it's like five spaces away, you do not risk that on the last turn. Now you roll. Give me that fourth star. Fourth. Well, everyone else has zero. Waluigi's gonna get one if he uses his gold thing that he bought. No, we're good. Yeah, what? Please be right in front of me. Four spaces. Oh, it's right behind me. That's great. Waluigi's got it. Four stars, man. Waluigi can actually roll over there. That's kind of funny. Oh, and a boo? Oh, uh, yes? Look at how evil this is. <laughs> I'm going to steal more than eight coins, and he's not going to afford the star on his last turn. I would, if we were playing in a room together, I would absolutely do this to you, and you would hate me. But I would laugh. <laughs> because you needed a star. Uh, and I took it away from you. <laughs> I took it away from you. It's so good, man. I would absolutely do that to you. I'm ruthless when I play Mario Party with friends. Congratulations, you win 17 coins. Cool. Waluigi, you gonna try to get that star? He's not even gonna use the block that he bought. Look at how embarrassing that is. How embarrassing. And now all these guys go all the way to the beginning. Womp womp. That's so funny. These clowns were stuck over there. While I'm free reign with four stars, don't even talk to me. I love this game. This was complete and utter domination. And if I get every single one of the bonus stars at the end, I'm gonna win. All right, we we're gonna block him in. We get him, boys. Block him. All right, let's get him. Oh, it's a little Mario. That's kind of cute. All right, I'm going for Waluigi. I'm going to smush this kid. Right now. Come on. Come near me. Come near me. Yeah, now we got him cornered. Yes! Get him cornered! What are you doing, Rosa? Get him actual cornered. We had him. We have to work like a team. Corner him. Oh, get him. Please, Rosa. You're a fool. He's mine right now. Get him, Luigi! Oh my goodness gracious, I hate you guys. <laughs> I 
I would actually talk like that in real life. I would be yelling at the people in the room saying, yo, corner him, what are you doing? He put himself in that predicament. Why didn't we punish that? All right, now who will win it all? I don't even know, man. First, let's go over the bonuses. The first bonus is mini game. Oh, I wonder who won that one. Dude, if I win all the bonus stars, it's gonna be utter destruction. And the bonus goes to Mario! Oh, go figure. That's right, you always aim for the minigame star. Second bonus is Event. I landed on that a couple times, man. Please, let me have it. Waluigi did also, too. Me. Me. I did at least three times. What? Get out of here. Boom. Alright, final announcement. And the winner is- Oh, just- Why isn't there three bonus stars? Yo, watch out. Oh, he's just gonna run you over. What, do these guys know who won? Wow. Mario versus Luigi. Who's it gonna be? Hope and pray. Because praying is exactly what will make you win. No, man. You had four going into it. Have a, have a fifth one, man. Get out of here. Yo, you computers are done -zo. Yo, the superstar. We did it. We actually did it. Look at this beautiful picture. We. I love this screenshot. Oops. No, I don't want the... Alright, you did it! Uh, I knew you had it in you, Mario. If I had to guess, your winning strategy involved coming out on top in minigames, as it always is. Luigi ends up in seconds, you gave it your all and came really close. You must have been up for a challenge based on all the versus spaces. I like, I like that Toad's like, instead of just like, oh, you win and the rest are losers, he's like, well, you know, here, you did this, and good job. Like, it's very positive. Great work all the way to the end. Uh, you stopped on a lot of event spaces. Did you outrun all those spaceships? And then fourth is a passionate player all around. You found more hidden blocks than anyone else. You rank first in luck. See? That's very positive. Good job, Toad. Good job, Toad. Good job, little guy. He's so good. He's so good. He's a good Toad. He's a very good Toad. Good job, kid. Let's go full screen. Give me that. Yo, the superstar. All right, that was pretty fun. Five stars. That's domination, man. Actually, it would have been utter domination if no one else had stars. But... Going into it was pretty good. All right, so 235 coins won through mini, or co collected in general. That was amazing. Uh, mini game coins, 90 of them. Yeah, hidden blocks, all the stats right over here. Pretty fun, like this is really good. Yo, the superstar. Hey, give me some money. Five stars for 150 each. Winner, times two bonus. Yo, we're making some monies. Look at all these points. Yes! Celestial Compiler, Coin Thief, Coin Master. I'm getting a whole bunch of like titles too, it's really fun. Oh my gosh, that was so fun! I had so much fun with that one. Wow, alright, so let me know. What was your favorite part about that entire minigame series? Was it great? Was it exciting? Man, pretty eventful, right? It was so good. Can't wait to hear about it. Wow! Okay, well, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Was that fun? Oh, man, that was so cool. All right, well, we got three more boards to go. Uh, so if you guys uh, want to do some more, we absolutely can. Talk to me in the chat. What did you guys think? Was that good? Do you guys want to see me lose? <laughs> me losing in Mario Party. Mm, 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 mm. That's funny. Ryan, you like that one, huh? That's really good. I'm glad. Gemma, loving it so far? Yeah, the game's actually really fun. It's, it's pretty entertaining. It's a lot of strategies. All right, here we go. As usual, why don't you go through and uh, let me know which character you guys want to choose uh, to play against over here, and then we're gonna go to the next board, and it's gonna be a great time. Thanks so much for watching us on launch day. It's a very fun time, and uh, again, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Uh, if you didn't already take a look at our main channel page, we've got a lot going on. Um, so a compilation of all the mini games, there's a video over there, I want you guys to take a look at that. And I want you to head on over here and have some fun laughs and share this video called Luigi Wins by Doing Absolutely Nothing. So give those two videos a shot. Uh, and then, yeah, we're going to we're gonna keep on going. So I'm, uh, I'm going to wait until you guys choose your characters. I'm going to go get some coffee. And uh, yeah, we're going to be starting up in just one more moment. So thanks so much for coming. You guys are great. Give me a sec.
some coffee. Totally not spilling it. Coffee? Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Excellent. Okay, cool. I think we're ready. You guys ready for this? Thanks so much for waiting. Did you guys choose a character? All right, so let's see. Uh, Springy wants Donkey Kong. You guys want to do all the boards? Uh, I think we're good on that. Uh, you guys want Donkey Kong. All right, let's go DK. Donkey Kong. Who haven't we seen? Uh, some of you guys want Wario, Daisy? Uh, Wario, Daisy. What else do you guys want? This was fun. I got some pancakes over here too, so I'm like, I'm good. Oh, do Daisy. Daisy looks good. Just saying, she looks way better than she looked in Super Rush Mario Golf. Mmm, let's do. Wario? DK? DK, Daisy, and Wario. That's, um, that's what you guys wanted. Okay, let's go. I was so hungry, man. I woke up and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta wake up at like 6 in the morning. Mm hmm. I'm gonna take a quick breather and eat some food. While chatting with you guys. Um, yeah, we're gonna set normal. We're gonna go over here to Peach's birthday cake. Make your way around a delicious cake and plant strawberries to your advantage. This is gonna be pretty fun. What kind of pancakes? These are like the Kodiak cakes that have like protein in them. So it's like a protein powder mix. They're actually really, really tasty. All right. So tell me your first impressions of Mario Party Super Rush. Let's talk about that. Let's discuss it in the comments. All of you guys right now, what do we think? Just outright by playing it. By what you've seen so far, the graphics look spectacular, right? The gameplay is very solid. It's, it's exactly what you'd expect. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? All right. Yeah, you guys should go get up and make some breakfast. It's breakfast time. Let's play. Alex says game of the year hands hands off. <laughs> Warisha says great so far. Masterful Luigi 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10? Honestly, I think that's where I'm at. I think it would be 7, 8 out of 10. 9 out of 10 if it had more boards and more minigames. Um, Cassie says, I wish they had more maps and I wish you could unlock the minigames. Yeah, Cassie, you and I are on the same wavelength, honestly. Like, you take the words straight out of my mind right now. Five boards is really underwhelming. It's so bad. It's legit so bad. Um, a hundred minigames? I don't think that that's enough. I don't think that's enough. I would have to actually take a look at a list. Online, I'm sure it exists. How many minigames in each Mario Party title? And then we could kind of go from there. But. But, you have to actually think. It's the year 2021. And if you're comparing how many minigames are in Mario Party 1 which was like 20 years ago to what it is right now and we only get 100 mini games that's embarrassing that's embarrassing from a dev standpoint like i'm sure you can formulate the game to i don't know save space or compress or something like that make it a huge game file right and give us like 200 mini games 300 mini games right like 10 boards this is i don't know man See, the concept of DLC, I think it's such a cop-out these days. But that just seems to be the trend. It's like, here, I'm going to release an unfinished game for $60. You're going to buy it. And then that'll just buy us some more time to develop more and give you a free update with more boards. Like, you're just covering the fact that you couldn't push out a full game, right? 
We're spilling the tea now, man. Like, as much as I love Nintendo, I just hate that concept. And they've been doing it a lot recently, and it just really, really racks my brain. I hate it so much. Yeah, I would have liked a lot more minigames. And, like, the whole concept, I don't know if you guys are okay with that. They're like, oh, I'll just play the game, and then, like, maybe they'll do DLC. There has to be DLC. There's no DLC announced. So, what, are you just hoping and praying that there's going to be DLC? What kind of business model is that? Embarrassing. It's really embarrassing. But that's the way it is. You you guys remember Mario Golf Super Rushed, right? That game came out, the game was bare bones. They're like, oh, we're going to promise you free updates. No. Give me a full game at the beginning that I paid for for $60. Don't make me wait for it. Anyway. <laughs> that's just the morning tea, man. Just the morning tea. It's all good. Like, I get that DLC expands the life of different games. I get it. But when a game gets released like this, so bare bones, it's pretty embarrassing. But for what it is right now, I think it's great. I think it's really good. It feels great. The five boards that you do get. But 100 minigames is pretty light. Okay, we got a couple more boards to do. I think we have three more boards, and then we're just going to chill. We're, we've done the full game, and we are going to spend all our coins and see what else there is, so. No, Nintendo doesn't need money for development. Nintendo's a multi-billion dollar corporation. They don't need your sales dollars of any of that stuff. To continue development. No, man. <laughs> they got money. Yeah, yeah. John Hooten says, There were four boards in Super Mario Party, and man, was I disappointed. Now it's five reused boards. I love this series, but I'm not buying this for 60 bucks. <laughs> that is a statement. That's a really hot take. And I, I partially agree with you. For 60 bucks, you can get more than five boards. But you can play online now. Yay. I don't know how online feels, but we're going to play a little bit later on the week. We're going to play online with members like yourselves, uh, where we're going to test it out. How good is the the, the servers? How good is the connection? We'll, we'll find it all. Yeah, it'll be really fun. All right, last pancake. And then tea time's over. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. All right, inhaled the pancakes. We are ready. All right, here it comes. It's Mario Party. Preying on the nostalgia of the, uh, the middle-aged uh, that were kids when they played this game. And then now that they're adults, they want to play it again. It's the perfect timing. <laughs> it's the perfect storm, right? I was a kid when I played this game, and now I'm excited to play it again. That's why I bought it for 60 bucks. Anyway, ready? Let's go. Make your way around a delicious cake and plant strawberries to your advantage. Uh, we're gonna do 10 turns. 30 minutes, dude? 10 turns was an hour. Are you crazy? Okay, here we go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out, too. You guys are great. Thanks for watching me inhale <laughs> 10 pancakes. All right, here we go. Peach's birthday cake. I'm excited for this one. And thank you for watching. You guys are great. All right, welcome back, everyone. It's Abdali here with even more Mario Party superstars. We've got... Peach's Birthday Cake, the third board out of five within the game. Uh, I'm thinking it's going to be pretty fun. There's a lot of, like, piranha plants that we're going to be planting around. And we've got a whole slew of new characters, such as Donkey Kong, Daisy, and Wario. So it's going to be a great time. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are great. All right, so we made it. This is Peach's Birthday Cake. 
Ooh, wow, look, DK's on there. Hey, Bowser's there. Look at this. Oh, look at the, well, look at how they remade that. That's cute. This enormous cake was made for the birthday of a very special princess. Oh, even the candles are huge. Lighting them all was quite the task. Just, I love how they just throw the references, the old screenshots. That's so fun. But what do you, what are we celebrating today, you ask? A natural question. Isn't it obvious a new superstar is going to be born? Today, in fact. Do you understand what that means? We want you to become superstars. They're really pounding in that phrase of superstar in this game. Hmm, is that the title of the game? Hmm, weird. Uh, looks like you're all fired up. Good. Off you march. Now that we're here, I've got some business to take care of. I'll see you later. Toad's in charge from here on out. You got it. Toad's so positive. I guess it's up to me to be your guide. Is this your first time playing on the board? Yeah, give me, give me the rundown. Great, then let me explain. The board looks mighty tasty, but what's up with those pairs of green colored spaces? Ooh, yummy, look at that. This route takes you past the pudding, but watch for Bowser and red spaces. Ooh, the wafers, mmm, look close and you might catch a glimpse of a Goomba near the pudding. Okay, that Goomba decides which path you'll take, so drop by and say hello. First, we'll decide the turn order. Me first. Six, <gasps> last. Yo, those teeth! Those veneers! On <laughs> DK! Oh my gosh, the teeth look terrible! Oh my gosh, that DK model looks so bad! Oh, help me! Oh my gosh, I... I... I am speechless at this DK model, man. He looks slightly different in all the games, it's weird. Now that the turn has decided, here's some coins. <laughs> what? All right, now where's the star? Thanks, Toadette. Here's the star. Wow, be sure to collect coins as you make your way over here. You should be all set, so let's get started. Okay, everyone, give it your best shot out there. Good luck and have fun. Okay, your turn, Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Event space. Ooh, oh, you're planting strawberries already, huh, girl? Now that's a healthy looking strawberry if I've ever seen one. When an opponent lands on this space, a strawberry will steal coins. Oh my gosh. Those teeth are way too white. I don't know, man. I mean, it's been a while since Donkey Kong has played Mario Party, so maybe he got his veneers whitened. Oh my gosh, like my eyes, I have to like wear sunglasses when I look at his, uh, when I look at his teeth, man. I mean, dentistry in the Mushroom Kingdom is actually pretty top notch, so very, very happy about that. Uh, anyway, let's go. I better not land on one of your other spaces, you fools. Great. Wish I could like punch Wario and take a coin. But I did not invest into anything on that, and so I'm at a disadvantage right now. So let's go Parasol Plummet, please. Or Messy Memory. Hey, that's what they call me. Oh my gosh, someone take a screenshot, press the home button to pause the game, and then go. Try to return all the scattered items. No way, I'm so bad at this. But if you're playing against computers, you can press the screenshot button, and then screenshot it, and then like study it for a little bit longer, and then press the home button, and then win. Don't do that. Just play. All right, here we go. Um, the shy guy is a king uh, with three bananas uh, next to Wario and his hammer. And then Yoshi's uh, mushroom, Luigi, Mario, Donkey Kong. Crud! Huh. Yoshi's mushroom, Luigi, Mario, Donkey Kong. You have to make a story. The shy guy is the king. With the bananas. Uh, with the Wario hammer. <laughs> hey, come on, I did it first! I should get, I should get more points. Hey, don't look at my screen! How do I... 
And look at that. Yo, screen cheaters over here. Yo, he put the wall. Dude, he didn't even put all the things on there, man. Donkey Kong doesn't know how to play, man. Get out of here. See? You make a story. You tell yourself a story, right? That is how a pro plays this minigame. Perfect! Oh man, so good. So good. You tell yourself a story. And then you replay the story. Alright, I'm giving you guys the secrets of how to win these games so you can beat your friends at it, alright? So just don't play me. Because now I'm telling you all my secrets. Alright, Daisy, come on, let's go. Wow, going quick. Later. <laughs> don't look at my files, man. Don't look at my screen. I'm out. No, DK. Come on, man. You can't possibly put two of them right next to each other. What? You're telling me that DK owns those? Can I usurp them? Dude, getting last is very disadvantageous in this one. Like, I don't like that at all. Fiverr. Good. Get me out of here. I need to race everyone. I need, like, double dice. Freaking mushroom. I want a double dice. That's okay. We're good. We're absolutely good. Here we go! Yeah, this one's really bad to be last place, because then everyone gets the piranha plants and you lose. Alright, Mushroom Mix-Up. Is this the one where he, like, oh, I love this one! I love this one growing up. This one was my favorite. You just stand right here and you smash these clowns. Huh! Yeah, this one. Oh my goodness. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, this one's going to be really intense. This is honestly one of my favorite mini games uh, when I was younger. I would always try to jump over to uh, Toad. Don't, don't. Get off of me. I'm going to nudge him. Don't even think about it. I'm just going to play defensive, man. I'll play offensive when it counts. You're done. Don't. Okay, you guys stink. Wow, what happened? The bloopers just take them. Where do they go, man? Where does the bloop where does the blooper take them? They're just gone. You never see them again. Except for when they're on the board. They're okay. They just take them back to the cake. That's all it is. Alright, here we go, Daisy. Let's go. Four. One, two, three, four. Do, 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 do. Oh, dude, come on. You're owning all of them. You can't. Give me some. You can choose a small one or a large one. Yo, I'm last to the party. This is not good. What are your time? Three? I gotta blast past these clowns. Like, I just gotta go. I'm gonna use my mushroom. I'm going. I'm dipping out. I need, I need to start investing. This is real gross. Oh my gosh, I'm not investing into anything. Red. Uh, do I want to win with these guys? I mean, I have to. I need the coins. So let's go money belts. Hey, this is our first time that we're going to see a yellow minigame. And with a yellow minigame, you can uh, get as many coins as possible. Oh, you can't jump. Wow, Mario does... Can you believe this? Mario is just physically unable to jump. And you just come over here and you get all the stuff. Oh, but don't get blocked. Or else you lose? Oh no, you, you come back in a box. And then there's bags too. There's money bags. And then Daisy, whenever she comes back, her, uh, her box actually is a collision. So yeah, that's also a thing too. All right, here we go. Here's aiming for more than 10 coins. And that's why it was highlighted in yellow. So I'm going to take this side. I'm going to trust that Wario is going to do his job. That's a bag. You better get it, Wario. I'm not micromanaging you. I'm trusting you. Where did that come from? DK, go! Get to the other side, DK! <laughs> Yo, DK's box destroyed me. I'm getting that. Get the bags. Get the bags, dude. Where's another bag? Get the bag! The bag! <laughs> 
How many? 24 is huge. Each mini game on average gives you 10. We got 20 actual four. Look at DK. At least he's got some pretty good animations. Yeah, that was eyes too, man. All right, 24 is real good. I got 60 coins right now. Is Boo on the map anywhere? I don't know. I, I don't have a single piranha plant to my name. This is very bad. Look at she's investing into the entire board. She owns it all. I wonder what happens when you buy a large piranha plant. Does it steal a star if you land on it? I would like to I would like to buy some of some property, please. Can I can I Oh, here it is, here it is. Five coins? And five coins goes to Daisy. Like that's good. I mean but that's a permanent fixture of yours. It's like playing Monopoly right now. I'm just going and like collecting 200 by crossing go, but I'm not buying any property. Don't you dare. Good. If there was a star in that, I'd be so upset. I hate that. All right, I got to get out of here. Five to the star. Come on, man. Dude, get robbed. DK better roll low, man. Oh my God, I'm so upset with that roll. That's bad. I'm not doing so hot. I don't have a lot of good luck this time around. Pushy Penguins, I love this one. Oh, I love this minigame. Welcome back. Welcome back. I love this one. This is so much fun. Whee! Start. Start. So it's good to be at the front, right? You don't want to stay towards the end. You want to stay towards the front as best as you can. That way you can react about where you need to go. It's a lot of up and downs. You don't necessarily have to go forwards, but... Oh, stay! Help! Help! You can kind of squeeze through, too, which is good. Oh my gosh, I'm done! I'm done! Help! Don't push me! I win! Get out of here! Push her! Push her up! Push her up! <laughs> Imagine if, if there was, like, a block of penguins and Daisy was on the other side of it, and you stood along with the penguins and helped push Daisy off, and then dipped out last second. That'd be so big brain. But... DK, just roll a two, please, and you can roll a one. Oh, you're done. I hate you. Do we all get the star here? Does it stay there? Okay, the star is all yours. Like, the star's not gonna move. Can we all just get a star and get out of here? I don't know about this board, man. Stay. Is it gonna move? What happens here? No, don't! Why? Okay, good. Okay, so the star is staying. I was under the impression- What?! I was under the impression that... It doesn't matter. I was under the impression that Toadette would jump and fly over to the next spot and they would take it from But no, she's stationary. That's kind of cool. I mean, we're all kind of getting stars here. So it's a very luck-based level. Because it's really about your rolls. How many times can you do the laps, right? I don't know if I like this map. Just for my first impressions. First impressions are not good. And this is 20% of the entire game. <laughs> There's only five boards, man. Alright, thank you. I'm going to take that. Thank you very much. Yes! Throw out the sticker. Alright, so we got a star. This is wonderful. And we have like six or seven more spaces to go. And I am going to buy an item. A custom dice block for 12. I will buy that. And why would I want to buy that? Can I view the board? What is there? What is there on here that I would want to spend it on? Right? Like, why is there one space that I got? Or, you know, I could actually just use it as a tent whenever I want to. Like, oh my gosh, like, here's this. Yeah, so you know what? I will. For 12, that's that's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. That If you think about it, that's one minigame. That's a, a, a complete round. It's a complete round of coin earnings that I spent for that one. But it might come in handy, 1 through 10. 
All right, here we go. Bombs away. Bombs away. Ooh, ooh, what is it? Oh, yeah. Try not to fall off the island. And a cannonball can actually land and hit you, like, point blank, if you're not paying attention. Boom. Oh, you're done. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Do not. You can get hit by a cannonball. Uh-huh, just watch the angle, watch the angle. Oh my gosh, help! Stay in the middle, oh, help! Jump when they're about to land, that's the pro, pro strat. Don't get hit, oh, go, 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 yes! Okay, <laughs> and see, sometimes you have to align yourself to allow the teeter-totter to push off the uh, the competition. So I was towards the bottom and I started running towards Daisy so that her stun, her hit stun would push her off. So that's also another strategy to win that one. Just so you know. All right, last five turns. Cool, the standings are great, man. This is looking really good. No, but like I agree with the game. Like you should be doing a 15 to 20 turn round, but that's gonna be like another 30 minutes, an hour and a half to I don't know, two hours if you do a 20 turn map, like, it's weird. All right, so he's got the hidden block card, makes a hidden block up here. There better not be a star in it, that's all I'm saying. Okay, so we honestly haven't seen too much happening in this map. Uh, it's, it's kind of boring with 10 turns, because it's pretty linear, you go one way, right? You're gonna duel for a star. Oh, it's a coin, oh, that's lame. I thought you can like duel for a uh, for an actual star, but I don't think that that's a possibility in this game. So anyway, 34 coins. I think Daisy, I'm gonna put my money on Daisy. Or Donkey Kong wins, cool. And Daisy is robbed. So she does not have any money now. So that, that's all right. Kind of eventful, but DK's got a lot of money now. So it's kind of scary. Fiverr, what are you buying? Oh, that's lame. Dude, I was one turn off. I was one turn off of the expanded shop. That's bad luck. That's pretty bad luck, I would say. With the certain amount of move that I had. This board's lame. One, two, three. Congrats, Wario. You're almost at your first star. Keep it up, man. All right, I need to get the heck out of here. Uh, let's take a look at the board. I can go 18 to the star. 18 to the star? What's Goomba gonna do? Oh. I mean, what can I do? One, a one, two, three, four, five, six. I gotta go past Bowser, man. I don't know what he's gonna do, man. This is 10 spaces away. Spin the roulette wheel for a chance at items or coins. I could do that, but I don't know how Goomba works, right? I legit don't know how to even go that way. Select a seed, then follow which path sprouts. So if I use my 10 right now, and I don't go the Bowser path, then I gotta go all the way around. And in five turns, I don't think that's gonna happen. So I better figure out the Goomba portion right now. Great. I'm taking all your coins, DK. I'm coming for you, man. We're going big. I'm wagering 33 coins. Yeah, where'd your teeth go now, huh? Where are your teeth? How is he hiding the teeth when I could see on the inside of his mouth? Where did his teeth go? Oh, there they are. Oh, yeah, this one's a, a pretty... I would say this is 50-50 luck and skill. For sure. Uh, oh, gosh. This is very luck and skill. Anyway, let's give it a shot. There's a very a lot of assessing ahead. What? Gross. Dang it! Oof! Oh, 
Okay, good. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of luck with that one. Like, you have to be in the lane and know exactly, like, okay, how many more clicks to the left or clicks to the right can I get to dodge? Uh, dodge the stuff. And then if you're just so happen to be in the right lane where a boost panel happens, pretty lucky. Anyway, well, that was good. Speaking of lucky spaces, I mean, the cost of your next star is cut in half, what, to save 10 coins? Nah, son. Give me that! That's seven coins, dang it! Or 10. <laughs> I wanted the double dice, man. Oh. All right, come on, man, let's go. Shy guys, Honeycomb Havoc. Wow. Okay, Honeycomb Havoc. Oh, I don't. This one's actually really hard. You got to do a lot of counting and manipulation over here. So, a lot of statistics, but we're just gonna go for it. There's a lot of strategy involved with this too. So there is a little bit of luck. I would say this is 50/50 luck skill. So right now I'm safe. Uh, or I'm maybe I'm not safe. If they do one, I'm not safe. I could do two? Yeah, I could do two and then win. So I'm good. Yeah, because then, like, now Wario can say, who do I want to lose? DK or... Uh, DK or Daisy, right? So now DK is going to lose, right? So you have a lot of power in this one. So he's going to get the beehive. Uh, get stung. See you later. Uh, we're going to do a twofer. Why not? Just to make it go faster. When it's at the beginning portion over here, honestly, the numbers don't matter too much. But it, once it starts getting to like five or six, then it's really good counting and manipulation. So there's only six right now. Um, yeah, we can do two. I'm going to do one. I can, I'm losing either way. If I do two, yeah, I, I can potentially lose either way right now. This is based off of how it works. So they can both get two and then I could lose. But if you get one, then I win. This is great. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> a lot of manipulation. Wario, you saved me. So I like Wario. So I'm going to go for one. He, he, he legitimately saved me there. So I'm going to allow him to win. This is called paying it back. Now it becomes a really, really fun game. Because once it's down to like the final five, then you're really going to have a hard time. So let's see if we can manipulate and outsmart our opponent here. Yeah, these don't matter. I think it's final five, maybe final three. Okay, now, if I do two, he can do two. Oh, I gotta do one. Oh, this is bad. Maybe I should have done two. I lose! I lose! I actual lose! Unless he's very nice and he doesn't allow me to lose. <laughs> I should have done it differently. Please take one. Please take one. One! Yes! Okay, cool. You're dumb. <laughs> oh man, that was rough stuff, dude. See, Wario... Wario's a very good guy. I paid if I showed him a little bit of generosity. And uh, we're good. <laughs> hey, hey, War, you got three coins out of it, man. We're good. We're good. 117 coins. Like, I think I'm set. Wow, that was so funny. Please take one. What are you getting? What are you buying? Oh, you're broke. Oh, tell me about this. Time to play the flower lottery. Ten coins. What is this? One's a winner, the others aren't. What? Okay, too bad you don't get to see King Bowser. Hope you're not disappointed. I kind of want to do... I want to see King Bowser because that's, that's the faster way all the way back around. All right, right now in the comments, uh, give me one through four. Give me one through four and that's the seed I'm going to pick. Right now. I think it's one through four. Unless the seeds are... Oh, it's going to be one or two. Yeah, it's going to be one or two. 
Because he picked one of the seeds, and it's just going to be... There's only a four selection. He's going to Bowser. All right, one or two. That's the only thing. And then we'll uh, we'll see him. That's beautiful. He had a 10 going into Bowser, and he's got no coins. Why didn't Bowser take his star? What is his chance time? If he takes my star, I'm going to be so upset. Why? Okay, who cares? Oh, three coins. You did such a good thing. Why is three coins even an option, man? What a waste of time. Wario time! There we go, his first star. What a good. Alright, so we're gonna do ones or twos. A lot of you guys saying two. So we're gonna go for two. I'll choose two. You got a star. This, honestly, you need... This is a very fun board the longer you play. Because those little chance time spots... Alright, let's go. Uh, I don't have an item. Not yet. No, I'm not going to use it yet. So let's go. Big 10. Big 10. I swear all of you guys that say 2. I swear. Don't let me down. Oh, it was 1 through 4. Uh, weird, because the Bowser one was chosen, therefore it got it. But a lot of you guys said 2, so I'm going to just generically choose 2. It better be Bowser. Fudge. You think I wanted that? I wanted to see King Bowser. Now it's like a million spaces away, and I get a Bowser space anyway. How trash is that? This board's garbage. Don't talk to me. I better not lose one star. I'll play a Bowser minigame. Go! Are you freaking kidding me?! This game! This game, dude! This board stinks! I will never play this board. Oh my, such heartbreaking. Freaking Mario Party, man. Get owned. Alright, alright, fine. Here, this one's for you, Daisy. Enjoy. Oh, okay. Okay, watch out for Boo. Here we go. Yeah, Wario stuck. Get stuck. Oh, my accuracy is very off. Here we go. Thank you. All right, squeeze him in. Squeeze him in. Thanks. Squeeze him in. Freaking game. Freaking game. I love this, dude. It was like, they wouldn't push me to Bowser, but I land on a Bowser space and I lose my star. When my roulette, I stopped my roulette directly in half when it said Bowser minigame. So, and that just comes to show, with that roulette, it's not exactly where you press it. So, that's kind of Boglethorpe, dude. I don't know how I'm going to win this now. I need the bonus stars. Or you can give me a star. Please. Please. Abdallah versus the board, man. That was terrible. Please, Mario. Dude! 20 coins? What are you doing? Oh, somebody clipped that. Great. I lost a star. You know what? The game's not over. I got two turns. I can go get another star. Where are you going to 10 block from? You know what? It's because that second seed. Who voted two? All of you guys that voted... No, I'm kidding. It doesn't matter. Who voted two on that seed, man? It was that seed's fault. Legit. I'm not even joking. But, I don't know. I don't know how many Bowser seeds there are in that. I don't know how many Bowser- Oh, what are you guys gonna do? Battle for 10 coins? Get out of here. So, that's very upsetting to me. <laughs> well, well, well. This just might be a map where I lose against the CPUs. DK is getting all that big money. What's he gonna do with it? No one's even going around this area. Oh, DK's gonna get a second star. That's right. Okay. 23 to the star. I gotta go. 
I gotta go. I can get a 10 right now and get out of here. What are you gonna give me? 10 coins for pass and go? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You know what? I'm just gonna roll a 10. We're gonna get the lucky space and then maybe I'll get something else. It's garbanzo beans this game. How do you do this? Oh, you just change the number and then you go? That's it? You don't have to do a roulette? Alright. That's easy enough. <laughs> In the previous games, it would be a slow scroll, right? So there was a small margin of error that you can miss your 10 and get a 1. Um, so that being said, like, okay. I mean, I guess that was worth it. Give me something good. Where's my, where's my star? I would like a double dice, please. Triple dice! Okay, I landed exactly on triple dice. See? That's how you play the game. That's how you play the game. That's a skill roll that took exactly my my timing of knowing when the roulette's gonna stop with rhythm and pressing the A button to get the triple dice. Like, 100% skill. Which I thought was the game, but Bowser is like, no, we're gonna go half that and then we're just gonna steal a star because we don't like you. All right, stop the chain chomp. Oh my gosh. That's scary. Look at how close it gets. Oh my gosh. Woo! Oh, welcome. Hi, thanks for coming. Here we go. Oh, we're in the back alley. I just have to do it after Wario. That's it. Oh my gosh, I'm done! I was waiting for Wario to use his flashlight and then I was going to press A as my trigger. But then I'm like, wait a second, what if he actually gets hit and I get hit too? No, man. Whatever. We're good. 137 coins. Look at me. I'm broke. I don't have a star. Where's Boo? I'm so highly dependent on Boo in this game. Ugh. I'm so highly dependent on Boo. I'm not gonna have a chance to go on any of these exclamation squares to pay for a big, a big seed so that I could potentially steal a star. Don't you dare! Good. I haven't, I still haven't seen a star come out of one of those, so I'm, I'm okay. I'm just saying, it's really garbage. I need one. I want one for me, man. I got robbed of a star. Eight, what are you gonna do? He's gonna go over to Bowser. He's gonna get what? Three for what? What do you get? A mushroom. What are you doing? You have so much money, Donkey Kong. Flower Lottery. He's gonna pick one. He's gonna go straight to Bowser. Just do it, man. Just do it. I think there's only one. I think there's only one Bowser seed. And then once you get the Bowser seed, then it resets to all four of the seeds. A versus. What do I need? 200 coins? What am I doing with 200 coins, man? Oh, I'm so salty about losing a star. But that's okay, you know what? Whatever. That's the game. 30 coins? Yeah. 119 coins for this game. Mario's Puzzle Party? Oh, great. This is Dr. Mario. What do I do? Hold on, how do I play this one? Oh, you connect two? And then what? That's easy. Oh, there's there's a, a quick drop is down. Oh, no, you just hold it down. Okay. And then what does the thwomp do? Oh, it smushes them down halfway? What is the point of that? Okay, this is this is gonna get pretty heated. Okay, let's. This is for a lot of coins. This is the most expensive minigame. First one to earn 100 points. So it's not about survival. Okay, green, black. What are you doing? Are you guys getting a lot of points? Are you doing like chains or something like that? How do I win? Oh, look at this. One, two. Boom, baby. Big chains, big chains. All right, all right. I'm actually afraid now. Um. 
How are they doing so well? How are you doing so well? Oh my gosh, help! How are they doing so well? I don't understand. Oh gosh, that was a mistake! No, it wasn't! Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> what? Excuse me? <laughs> Dude, don't even, man. Don't even talk to me about that. You found my kryptonite. You have officially found my kryptonite, and I lost so much money. That was terrible. That was a very bad showing. I got a couple of like, it wasn't dumb luck drops. Like I had pre-planned intentional drops a couple times. Where I'm like, okay, cool. Like if I hit this one, then it's gonna drop and do a little combo. But like, were the other characters just so good? Dude, I don't know, man. I don't know about that mini game. That was pretty rough. Wario, you want to see Bowser, man. He's right there. If you roll a 10 with your with your cool new thing. Oh my gosh, 13. I got to go. I got to go and get my one star. I'm out of here. Give me an 8. I'll take another 8. Uh, and I'm done. See ya. It's beautiful. I'm out of here. We Look at me getting my very first star. I would have had two game though where's my hidden block I think we're all gonna be at one star and then the coins are gonna be the uh, the break and then there's just gonna be bonus stars and we're gonna oh I love this mini game then you just look up <laughs> it's so fun. It's so bo it's this is this is the silliest one. Oh my gosh, why did I look upwards? <laughs> Am I out forever now? Oh, it's 3v1. As long as he gets one of us. You fool! What happened? Wario, man! Yo, he looked down and nailed two of them. <laughs> but he got me on first try, so I can't complain. I can't complain at all. But anyway, that was weird. Okay, cool. What do you got, Lucky Space? What are you gonna do about it? Wow. That was actually really fun. It was a- it was- it's silly. I was just laughing at it. Where are you going with that three? Go ahead, pay for it, please. Please buy the big one. Yeah, buy the large one. That's right, on the last turn, spend your 30 coins. Good job. Good job. No one's near you. You fool. The sight of it positive. Oh, wow, positively. Oh, if he lands on the space, we'll steal a star. See? That's why you want to do like a full-on board. No one's near that. Unless I'm near it, and knowing me, I'll land on it. Okay, an artifact. 15 coins. Cool. I'm gonna lose. Oh, a cursed dice block. That's that's better than nothing, but it's the last turn, so you're not gonna do anything with it. 
No! Oh, whoa, no, you better not Bowser Revolution. I swear if you do. Please lose your star. Please. Receive a thousand coins. You Dude, come on! No! Actual no! 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 I was planning on winning by coins, but now we're all at the same amount of coins. Dude, this game is... I will never play this board. Ever again. And that's 20% of the game out the window, man. Unbelievable. So whoever... Whoever wins this next minigame is going to potentially win the game outside of the... What am I going to do at 10? All right, one through... I don't even know, man. I don't want to... I don't want to spend my 10 coins. I need those. I'm so bad. One through four, pick it right now. One through four. These, And go ahead, pick... You know what? Pick the wrong one. So I can blame it on you. <laughs> you told me to pick the second one and I lost because of it. So that's fine, man. It's fine. You guys are influencing the game. One through four, go. It's terrible, man. Banana Man stands at four. Deal. Let's go. Scarbonzo beans, dude. Honestly, it doesn't matter which one. Or maybe it does, because I didn't look at the board. If it's Bowser, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, flower. Oh, if I land on DK spot? Oh, my gosh. No, no. Are you kidding me? No. No. Dude, I'm done. I'm actually done. I'm so done. I'm done. Are you... Okay, okay, okay. Let's talk about that for a second here. I relied on the comment section for both those game-changing moments. <sighs> you know what? You can... Wario, do all the work, man. I'll put the controller down. What's the point of this? Wario's gonna have the have more coins than me. You do it! <laughs> oh my gosh. Wario, you do all the heavy lifting. I'm done. I'm legit done with this game. This is the worst showing of Mario Party ever. Don't touch the side. What are you doing? Ow! 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 Go! Man. What? You can fall off? And then what? It didn't matter. Because I paid the 10 coins, so I'm, I'm, I'm down for the tiebreaker by 10 coins. If Wario were to get the 10 coins from winning... I'm done! That's it! <laughs> I'm never playing that level! It's such a bad board. Okay, so here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. Yeah, I'm salty. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But playing this board with 10 rounds is not good. It, look at DK. Don't! He's taunting me! This is gross! I'm so upset! The first bonus is what? Go ahead, the Sightseer. Me! Me! I've seen the Sights and I bought two stars! What if I get both bonus stars, huh? Then what? Minigame star. Unlucky bonus? I swear if that's not me, dude. What? I... I'm so unlucky if they don't give this to me. He's not unlucky! I'M UNLUCKY! <laughs> this game sucks! Oh, man! Dude, I love Mario Party. It's great. I love it, dude. The game's just like... 
tightening the screws on you, man. I love this. Yo, eat me! <laughs> Are you kidding me? What did you do to me? You! Yeah, you who typed four and two in the comments? Yeah, you! Dude, miss, man. Yo, miss. Miss. Don't. Don't even. You're gross, DK. Why? Because you spent your 30 coins? And that last clutch? I made fun of you. Wario's not unlucky? Dude, this is so bad, man. See, like, I just don't like it when... I just don't like it when the game just, like, works against you. But it's okay. It's fun. I had fun. It was really fun to see the sheer amount of bad luck that one person can get in an entire game. So even if you have all the skills in the world, if you have all the skills in the world of being really good at strategy and really good with, um, you know, mini games and stuff like that, which, that's me, you can still get messed up with RNG and luck. Oh, which is so bad. And see, we had... See, honestly, if Wario and I... Like, see, that's what I was saying. Like, if Wario and I won that minigame, he would still be 10 coins higher than me because of that Bowser Revolution, right? So that was kind of Garbanzo Beans. Uh, and then now, when it comes down to it, it was like, DK stole my star. So, honestly, if I had one more star, I would have won! If I didn't land on DK's thing... I would have won. I would have had two stars, and then I would have gotten the bonus star for the Traveler. And I would have won! But no, I had to listen to the comment section. No, I'm kidding. I'm just giving you a hard time. You guys are great. No, it was a fun time. I'm going to screenshot that. And I'm going to forever remember to never, ever play this board again. <laughs> oh, so funny. Peach's birthday cake? No way, man. Never. That is a waste of a board. That's 20% of the entire game that you're not going to want to play. No, actually, when you take a look at it this way, in 10 turns, it's not fun, right? But in like maybe like 30 turns, 20 turns, it becomes really exciting because then you can you can deposit all those little chance time spaces where you can get the big seeds and and make those steel starring piranha plants where it's a lot more fun and it's investing. It's like playing Monopoly, right? The longer a Monopoly game gets, the more exciting it is, right? You buy houses, you buy hotels. Playing this board in 10 turns is really not good. So I wouldn't recommend that. And plus, it's a luck board. It's a 100% luck board because you're all on the same route. You're not making too many decisions. And when it comes to the one fork in the road, it's 100% luck as well based on which seed you pick. So... Honestly, as a guy that likes playing Mario Party games with maybe 75% skill, 25% luck balance, that's a trash board. <laughs> Just saying. But it's okay, you know what? I would have said the same thing if I won that one. So it doesn't matter. Anyway, it was fun. It was fun to see me get riled up and lose two stars in a super linear luck board. It's not the best board, but I had fun with the other two. But overall, Mario Party was fun. Getting heated up over this kind of stuff is so good. And like you can see, Mr. Skill, I always win in Mario Party games. You can just see how good luck can mess you up, right? That's the moral of the story is you're playing Mario Party, you have to really weigh your odds, right? If you're good at Mario Party and like skill and strategy, you will never pick that board. <laughs> you won't, dude. Pick with the other two ones and you're good. I will never play that one. Unless we're doing a commitment of like 30 turns. Then it's a little bit more fun. But then even then, like, if if people land on the little exclamation mark spaces and they already own those piranhas, there's no changing that. So you can, you can roll unluckily and then dodge those every time and you never get an investment. So, you know what? Nah, not gonna like that board. You guys let me know in the comments what you thought of that board. Let me know. It was fun, though. Dang, dude. Lost two stars. Freaking DK. What a guy. Unbelievable. Okay. You guys ready? You guys ready to play another board? Yeah. Let's go. Uh, let's play another one. Uh, <laughs> I gotta redeem myself after that one, man. 
Uh, no, you have to wager real money while playing Mario Party. That's the only thing. You have to do that. So if you're playing with friends, you throw a $20 bill. Be like, all right, let's go. And when there's real money on there, you know never to pick Peach's birthday cake. <laughs> That's my pro tip to you, man. Wow. That was some boo sheet. That was some boo sheet, man. That was 100% boo sheet. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, calm down. That never happened. Hey guys, it's Abdallah here with Mario Party. We're gonna show you guys the Peach's birthday cake board. Are you ready? All right, you guys choose my characters. <laughs> you choose my characters. Who do you wanna see, Rosa again? Oh, she's so funny, man. Oh, that's so funny, man. Who we playing? Who we playing? Birdo is kind of... I never like Birdo. Are these all the characters? That's actually kind of lame. Like, who are we missing? Are we missing Chain Chomp? Are we missing Spike? Are we missing insert random character here? Alright, we're going Rosa. Uh, we're going Rosa. We need... Um... Um, um, let's do the ladies. I do like the ladies. Yeah, Ray Whitfield. Absolutely. Let's do all the ladies. Excluding Birdo? Yeah, this is good. Alright, take your pick, Mario. Take your pick. <laughs> Here we go. I'm never going to that again. Okay, wander into the woods and follow signs. Aim for a win and try not to get lost. Ooh, from Mario Party 3. Let's go 10 turns. I recommend 20 turns if you're playing on Woody Woods, dude. 20 turns? No, nah, man. We're here for a quick preview. Uh, so let's go 10 turns. 20 turns. You think I got an hour to play that one? We'll play it with some members for sure, but no, nah, man. All right, you'll see instructions and controls before starting the game. All right, deal. All types of games. Oh my gosh, here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. All right, composure. Composure. <laughs> composure after that one, man. That was so bad. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ready? Are you guys, are you guys ready with me? Okay, here. Good. What's going on, everyone? Hi, it's Abdallah here. Totally didn't lose the previous board at all. No, it didn't happen. We erased that from our memories. So now we're going to go through and play the fourth board. Yeah, the fourth out of fifth board. It's called Woody Woods. Woody Woods, we've made it. Oh, look at the Goombrats. I think that's what they're called. And the uh, Wispy Woods knockoff. Cool. Oh, look, that's what it looked like back in the day. If you don't watch your stuff, the forest will send you around in circles. Great. You see, long ago, these woods were the site of a battle for the title of superstars. <laughs> oh, remember that? <laughs> look at those characters. Peach's head is so small. But it ended without a clear victor. And that brings us to today. It's a once in a lifetime chance. No, once in a millennium. Remember the Millennium Star? What was that? It was weird. Uh, chart a course of the Twisty Forest. Show us what it means to be a superstar. But now that we're here, I've got some business to take care of. I'll see you later. Toad's in charge. From here on out. It was like a silver star with a mustache. The Millennium Star. What Mario Party was that? That's weird. That aged very well, right? I guess it's up to me to be your guide. Uh, it, yeah, it is the first time playing this board in a while since this game came out on Mario Party 3. Great, then let me explain. Oh, Piranha Plant's my favorite. Oh, Goombrats. Oh, he's pretty good. He doesn't even have arms and he's balancing that. That's very talented. Keep your eye on the signpost, but be w beware, they change directions. Why? One of the trees here is friendly, so seek it out. You might get a nice surprise. Whoa, wait a second. That one doesn't look too nice. Is that the nice one? As you venture into the woods, be careful. I don't like the look of that other tree. It's a maze here. I just hope you don't get lost. First, we'll decide the turn order. Dude, the turn order messed me up on that last board. I was last. And therefore, I landed on DK. Anyway, we're not talking about that. DK who? I never played with DK before. Hey, what's up, Rosalina? 
Now that the turn order decided, here's some coins to get you all started. Alright, now, where's the star? Oh, what do you know? It's right here. Okay, there it is. Welcome, Toadette. Be sure to collect coins as you make your way over here. I'll be waiting for you. Great, cool. Uh, where are we? Uh, I gotta go around. That's a long... That's like a good 20... 20, uh... 20 or so spaces. All right, give it your best shot out there. Good luck and have fun. Ha! <laughs> have fun. Easy for you to say. You didn't see that one episode. All right, hey, what's up? Let's go. Give me a big 10. Thank you so much. Okay, great. Cool. Hey, I'm so lucky. Uh, Give me double dice. Oh, custom block. I'm going to take that. One, 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 one. Dude, I I had it, man. That's trash. <laughs> I had it. Game's just like, no, thank you. All right, good job, Daisy. Here we go. I'm da what? What are you What are you buying? Minus ten coins for what? A mushroom? Wow, triple block. That's really good. But, an event space, what are you doing? Oh, you're flipping? Oh, cool! Monty Mole, you love Monty Mole. Why isn't he a playable character in Mario Party Star Superstars? Now you flipped it back, lady, what are you do? Oh, okay. Cool. Wow, a cursed block, okay, okay. The star is over there, so Daisy did really well with changing the direction. Here's hoping we don't change the direction again. Tread carefully. I want bumper balls. Oh, I love this mini game. Thanks for bringing it back. Whee! Yo, shoot you from downtown. Yo, this was my favorite. And you could like sidestep. Oh, I absolutely loved this one. You could do a lob too. Oh my gosh. Watch from downtown. Pew! Nailed her. This one, I would just, me and my friends, we would just play this game non-stop. I'm coming for ya. Don't talk to me. Later, dude. And you gotta be able to screen look, too. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the corner. I gotta go. I gotta go. Later, girlfriend. Oh my gosh, no! Good. Help, help! Go, attack each other! I gotta retreat. See ya! Oh, I can nail her. Right in the head, right in the dome. Right in the dome. Boom! <laughs> Yay! See, you have to know when to retreat, strategically. And then, yeah, you gotta run, and you gotta use cover, too. But no, that 1v1 situation that I was in, I had to get out of there. <laughs> That's fun. That's really fun. What? What do you mean? After every turn it changes? Oh, no. Look at what you did. What is going on? Get me out of here. Eight? That's terrible. 18 plus to the star. I'm going to land on red. May I help you? Look at this nasty looking board. Um, This board's too big, but the star's like right here, man. I mean, I guess I'm going in a loop, dude. That's all I got! I can see why they were going in a loop right now, because, like, you don't want to... I'm not happy about that. Unless it's a star. I'm not happy about finding a five block. It's trash, man. It's charity. I don't need that luck. But I'll take it away from her, which is good. Uh, Daisy. Daisy. What did you do, girlfriend?
Chomp Call would have been really cool. But I'm gonna now go to the store. No, do I go to the store? Yo, it's a party on my space right here. Okay, that's kind of fun. Uh, no, I did not get a chance to go to the store yet. So that's kind of interesting. All right, X-Ray Payday, please. Shy Guy says, is this the flag one? Oh, I do remember this. Raise uh, the white flag and then the red flag. Okay, so I have to I have to be mindful of that. Okay, and then he like does a little fakie sometimes. This one is really fun. Okay. Don't! Rosa. Done! Wow! Ladies! Ladies! Come on, man! What just happened? I mean, okay, I'll take an easy 10 coins. Like, that's kind of sweet, but... Oh, I really like that minigame. It was really fun. It's a good one. I, I like it when actual good players, like, play it, and then it goes, like, really, really quick. So I think that was really phenomenal. All right, so this is good. Now we just have to roll high in order to get the heck out of here. Um, and it kind of stinks because we're all in the same direction, and we need good... Um, I need, like, a good, a good roll. I need, like, a 10 or something, man. That's really great. This is awesome. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. I have 45. I do want to buy something. Uh, I'm gonna buy custom. Yeah, I'm gonna buy custom for 12. Yeah, custom's really powerful. Just having the ability to know that you can roll a 10 whenever you need to, or under a 10 to land on a certain space is really, really OP. So I'll sacrifice uh, one turns of minigames for it. Go for it, dude. Good luck, Peach. You got stuck. Unless she's gonna buy like a, a a chomp call. Mushrooms, double mushrooms, double yeah, triple blocks. Okay, that's really good. That's also good. You have a potential to roll thirty with that. So some people may argue that you know you want to try your luck with the triple blocks versus the ten, right? But you can also run. Uh, you can roll three ones. What does this mean? What does Monty Mole do? What does- what does his Monty do? Hmm. Why? Wait, what are you doing? May I help you? What is your pro- I didn't know that that's how that worked. Wait a second. I didn't know that that's how that worked. You can put it on a, a someone? The times where I had curse blocks, I thought it was for myself. Where does it say that in the flavor text anywhere? What? Dude, come on, man. The flavor text should say, give this block to any player to force them to roll one through three, not roll one through three. Like what? Dude, what a miss. Are you kidding me? Oh, I used to love this one. Wee, wee, okay. I'm very, very upset about that or else I would have used them differently in the previous times that I played this game. So anyway, I digress. It's it's really a miss when it comes to uh, that text. So whatever. what is she doing? Is she even collecting coins? Give me that bag! Don't you take me away from that bag! Yo, I got that bag right here, ladies. I got it. I got it. I got this bag. I got this bag. Yo, we're bagging. Yo, we're Bilbo over here. Bilbo Baggins. Beautiful. Look at you. See twenty six coins right now? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> oh man. Ah, <sighs> yeah, that's that's really a miss on text, right? Because you have to there's there's one person's job in the treehouse uh that types the item descriptions. They probably didn't even know that you could even do that. They're just like, "Oh, it's a curse block. It goes 1 through 3. All right, cool. Just type that over there." Done with it. They probably didn't even play the game. That's sad. Anyway, curse block, one through three, great. Does my... Okay, so here's science. If I use the ten block, does it cancel out the curse block? What's one through three do? Or do I just straight up waste it? 
Oh, the tree's here. Oh no, I'm good. I'll, I'll roll and hit the tree. Let's go. 33% chance. Let's go. Something good might happen. Thanks. Mario, since you've come all the way to see me, take a fruit. I have two kinds of fruit. Dice fruit lets you roll again. There's also coin fruit. Wait, no. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, here, here it comes. Dice. Um, 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 this one. Dice fruit! You received the dice fruit. You can now roll again. Yay! I wonder how much the coin fruit was. Oh! Oh, I mean, yay! The toad's, yeah, the toad's down here. Okay, good. <laughs> Boo, yay! All right, kind of cool. Oh, baby, baby. You ready? Here we go! Boo! Come on! I was so close, man. I could have gotten two of those dice blocks, but hey, you know what? Maybe I'll use a skeleton key. Skeleton key is like long game kind of a thing. Like, I don't even know what the skeleton key does in this level. You are not gonna roll and get ahead of me. Two. Ten. Okay, good. Fifteen question mark to the star. Good. Oh, you're going that way too? What? What happened? What was that? What are you doing rolling tens like this? Oh, you're going all the way back to the back. Uh, you have some coins? Three for a mushroom? A key. Yes. What's the key gonna do for you? Oh, look at Koopa Bank. Hey, that's kind of cool that they added a Koopa Bank in here. Why don't we have the ability to build our own boards in Mario Party? Like Mario Party Builder. Like Mario Maker? Wouldn't that be cool? Excuse me, may I help you? What is your problem? Oh, that's funny to you. <laughs> oh, and you got a 10. Well, good luck. You're going the wrong way, fool. Oh, must be nice. Must be nice, Rosa. Rosa gave me two of those cursed. Uh, anyway, here we go. Paths of Peril. Oh, I like this one. Yes. Okay, okay. Whoa, oh, oh. You're going to take a path. So this is a luck and a skill-based one. It would be 50-50 luck, 50-50 skill based on which path you take uh, and how good you are at controlling your character and turning uh, and all that stuff. So maybe you might get a good easy path or you might get a hard rigid path. And, of course, you got to be able to uh, cut corners, too, like Mario Kart. So here we go. This one's going to be easy. Um, I don't really know what happens if you fall off, so just don't fall off. Oh, yeah, Lagatu brings you up. That must be nice. Doesn't take away three coins, though. I don't know if each of the paths are equidistant or just based off of luck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, cool. Sweet. Later, dudes. Easy. Way to go, Rosa. Yeah, so you gotta be able to cut corners. If this is, like, cutthroat with four good players, it's gonna be really close. Right? Because that is... There's a lot of skill in that one. You know, I don't know if there's luck. I would have to play with, with good people to find out. It seems like maybe a 90% skill. But there's two splits, and is one of the splits faster? I don't know. Okay, all the arrows change direction. I am... I'm rolling one and two again. Here we go. Thank you. I get a lucky square. That's kind of cool. But, like, I need to get the star. Give me a custom. One, 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 one. one. Ten coins. I missed it. Missed it by a hair. I called that I missed it. So like that's 100% accurate like getting it. So that's pretty upsetting. But you know what? It's okay. I mean, I got 10 coins. I can go to the shop next turn and get another custom block. So I'm, I'm fine. This board is good. I mean, we don't really get to see what's happening outside the board because we wasted the entire half of the game chasing after one star. Which is pretty rough.
Let's go! Don't! Look to me like you were chomping at the bit. Oh well, what, is, what does he do? That's what I need to find out. Okay, bonus minigame. Double the coins. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Four player. Come on, ladies. Hammer drop. Please, please. Yes! Double the coins on a level that allows you to get bags and you get ground pound. Oh, man. I'm going to trash these guys. This is great. I'm ready. Or I could just pick up everything. Double the amount of coins. I'm going to make so much money. My bag. My bag. My coins. Don't even talk to me. I'm going to make so much money. Ow! A bag! A bag! Yes! Oh, triple bags! Oh my gosh, I'm making so much money! A bag! You'll call me Bilbo Baggins! No! I could have gotten all the bags! Wow! 60 actual six coins! Holy moly, in one minigame? 132 coins in one minigame! <gasps> you will never see that in your entire tenure of playing Mario Party. You will never see that on a four-player minigame that's not a roulette one or like a special versus one where you gamble all your coins you will never see that amount of coins 132 coins oh who's gonna win wow dude oh dude i made 132 coins in one mini game that was just a regular old mini game it's pretty good all right, that makes up for that Peach's birthday cake. I'm good, thank you. But who will win? Let's hear a prediction from one of our board correspondents. Uh, our predicted this time is someone who knows... Uh, okay, got it. Okay. Who is it? It's the tree! It takes an animal cunning to survive. Okay, so Daisy, got it. So it's typically always the last person, and you get something. A double dice, congratulations. That was good! But the coins don't matter right here, right? Like, I'm not flying through a bunch of different spaces. Right? Like, there's no boo to steal a star. There's nothing else. So, you know what? That's what... That's what I think the Peach board game was missing. It was missing a boo. Anyway, I gotta get out of here. What's up, sassy sisters? Good to see you. Let me look at this board. I really have to leave. So, I'm gonna just... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... I mean, I could go for a nine. Yeah, let's go for nine. Because I'm not going to be here for any more spots, right? So we're going to go item. I'm going to go over dice block. We're going to do a niner. Uh-huh. Dice block here. Let's go for the nine. And we're donezo. Oh, did I misclick that? No, no, no. I think I got it. Yeah, four shop. Yeah. What do I need? I have 200 coins. Um, please, let me have a golden warp. I I've got so much money. I mean, I have 200 coins. Where's the golden pipe? Why are you holding out on me, Yod? It's the last turn's plunder chest. What do these clowns have? A key, a triple dice, a golden dice for 20? So I'm going to steal someone's golden dice. Yeah, right, man. I'm going to chomp call. In case the star is so far away from me, I'm just going to chomp call it up. Whatever. I'm so rich, but I can't do anything with all this money. Except for buy this. That's that's pretty good. Oh, man. Thank you so much. Let's go, Toddette. Ah, feels good. 188 coins. There's no way. The next star location is... Better be in front of me. Yay. I don't like that. Because I'm already taking the split path. Not liking that at all. So give me a custom block. Here we go. Uh, I'm taking I'm taking the custom block. One, 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 one. Got it! 
Oh, come on. What? By, a, by one millisecond? Get out of here. I don't need more coins. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Boo. All right. That's okay. Look at all those. Look at you. Look at you rolling. Honestly, there's only four more turns left. So as long as no one gets a star and I have 200 coins, I'm going to be fine. Here's an item space. That's kind of cool. But the question is, how do you get to the other side? And don't throw that at me. What is your problem? All right, here we go. Hello, don't tell me you're going to get a golden pipe. Uh, do you not have money? She's broke. Let's go. Let's go. All right, good job. You. What do you, oh, custom, where are you going? Where are you going? Going to get a 10? A 1. Look at you trying to take my star. That's a good strategy, actually. Because there's only one person with a star. If you're able to get the star, I'm about to flip out. But it's fine. The star swapping is going to be a really good one. So you have to aim for the first thing. No. Oh my gosh. Oh. Dodge the bullet there. Coin swap? You would have taken 200 of my coins? No way. Wow. Imagine that. That's a really good strategy. She just misrolled on the face. Yeah, I didn't even think to do that as a strategy. Pogo a go-go. All right, let's go, Pogo. She got, oh, what is it? Oh, hi. Spin the stage, uh, or you just move. Whee! Oh, this is really fun. I like this one. Yay, yay. You do 360s and look like a champ, too. I'm actually going to go for some style points here. We're going to style all on her. Watch. Watch me style on her. Once I get my bearing straight. Okay, 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 yep, 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 watch this. Oh gosh, I just knocked Rosalina off. I'm sorry, girlfriend. Huh. Double 360, 1080, huh. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Whoa, hey now, hey now, okay. Big jump, big jump. Yep, yep, yep. Whoa, big jump. Oh my gosh, help. Okay, good. Woo! All right, I did a couple style points on her. I was doing a couple 360s. I knocked off Rosalina, but that's okay. It makes it more exciting. I need to win alone. <laughs> 213 coins, what the heck is this game? But this board is miles better than Peach's birthday cake, okay, that's for dang sure. All right, cool. So now people are able to go get this star, but the only person that's able to do so with four turns left is probably gonna be Peach. I mean, I'm just gonna do it because I don't really, uh, I don't really have the ability to go over there. So I'm just gonna use the chain jump. Oh, it's a whistle. Get her. Whoa, the star went flying off somewhere else. Oh, okay, cool. Please be in front of me. Okay. Hey, that's great. That's exactly where I kind of want it. But Daisy's right behind me and Daisy's gonna outroll me with her like doubles or something like that. So GG's Daisy, you're welcome. Big, big 10. Gross. Come on, turn the Monty Mole over. Dude, remember that when there was like a reverse mushroom? I'm sorry, why would you do that? Why? I need to go on my next turn. Oh, you're so mean. 47 to the next star. Yeah, right, dude. She's... That's rude. I ate three of those mushrooms, man. That's very, very bad. You better roll a one. <laughs> you better roll three ones. It's terrible. Okay, so maybe that was not the best strategy. It was a risk. You want to fight? I'll take all your coins. Let's go. I'm taking them all, man. I'm gonna get 300 coins by the end of this. Wager them all, Daisy. 34. All right. I'm in. Okay, so in hindsight, since I was already winning and no one was near that other star, I should have not used the little roll call, the little chain chomp call. 
in hindsight, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh my gosh, what is this? Navigate through a series? Okay, what is... Okay, so what's the difference between blue and red? Uh-huh. Okay, so red only goes one way. Blue goes always? Yeah, blue goes always, and then red goes one way, and you have to actually pay attention to where they're going. Oh, that's a dead end? Oh my gosh! Wow, so there's a lot of luck. There's a little bit of skill here. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna lose! This is, this is a, there's a little bit of skill because you can assess ahead to see which ways they go. Oh, gross. Come on. And you can't fall off either, which is good. Oh, you're dumb. Which way am I going? Where am I going? Oh, I win. <gasps> I win by one rotation? You're kidding me! You're actually kidding me! <laughs> what the heck? No! No way! Yo, show me the replay! Show me the replay on that! Are you kidding? That's gross! Dude, there's- that's no way, man. I need to see the, the instant replay where my nose, Mario's big nose, crossed the finish line before her little nose. Are you kidding me? I got robbed! I mean, I got a million coins, but still, it's the principle. Are you joking? Ugh. <sighs> 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 Okay, I gotta breathe. That was ridiculous. I need to see that. I need to see that. You need to clip that and show me how I lost that one. And you need to slow it down too. Watch me Crayola this, dude. I'm so done. I'm so done with that, man. We coloring inside the lines, baby! Yo, watch me do this loop right over here like Sonic the Hedgehog. Wow, Fat lipstick. Oh my gosh, this is like if I put lipstick on you, I'd be all over your lips. <laughs> please, please, let's take the lipstick challenge where I put lipstick on you. So good. Ugh. How did I do? 70%? <laughs> 84%, baby. Get off me, Rosalina. Yep. Never. Never. This game, man. Yes! <laughs> yes! Taunting the computers. Good job. Alright, what are we doing now? Oh, come on. Rosa's right in front of that star, which is kind of cool, uh, but I got, I got hindered. Maybe using the, the, the thing to steal someone's, like, uh, block would, would have been better. So there were some mistakes. There were some misplays on my part that I could have done a little bit differently. When I was at the shop, instead of buying the, the, the chain chomp call, I should have bought the steal your item item. Like that little treasure chest thing. So then I could use Rosalina's like die right now and potentially go. But then it the star wouldn't have been there. I don't know. Hindsight's always 2020, but anyway. Good job, Daisy, good job. You rock. You got the star. And you stole my 68 coins, man. I cannot believe that still. She would have had zero coins, and this star would have gone to Rosalina. This is bad. If I lose this game. That's gonna be embarrassing, man. I have so many coins, I don't know what to do with them. I don't have the ability to roll high. 
Uh, right in front of Peach? Excuse me, why? May I ask you? May I ask you why you'd go right in front of Peach one space? How does that make any sense? Let's go. Let's go. You better go. Why wouldn't you use your 10? Oh no, you need 13 to get it. Oh, this is good. Oh, that's really fun. So what you could do is if you had the custom block on these last turns, you could just custom block to duel someone and take away all their coins. That's really amazing. So now their coins are gone. Rosa's gonna, um, I don't know who's gonna win this one. Daisy wins 98 coins. How many coins do you have now? 116? Dude, I thought I was rich. Yo, she is catching up, man. She is, I need to take her 116 coins. This is just what it has to be. I have to rob her. I need justice for that last time. Parasol plummet, please. Cheap, cheap chase. Oh, yay. Okay, what is this? I'm sorry. Um, we're gonna press the A button. Mash A, what? Oh, B, okay, here we go. We're gonna mash A, I'm gonna press down to dive. Yay, this is fun, wee -hee! Wee -hee! Wee, -hee! I say wee, oof. Okay, this is actually really fun, I like this one. All right, ready, go. It's a mashing one, I love them. Oh, that's a big cheap cheap, look at those lips. Look at those lips, look at those lips. I'm a swimmer. Hoo! Okay, so we can't out mash someone, because it looks like, at Although I'm going, like, hyper mode, I'm a little bit ahead? No, I don't think I'm any ahead. As long as I don't eat a bomb, I'm good. And it's gonna be a tie, so you don't have to mash, like, insane. Because there is a max swim speed that it appears. I'm out of here. But we all win. How lame is that, dude? I should get more coins. Okay, so good. That, that's exactly it. Mario wins. And then, like, those two get some coins, like, maybe two or three coins. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's fair. I'll take that. Ugh, Daisy, man. Yo, Daisy, let me get those 68 coins back. Thanks. All the times I got robbed in Mario Party. Alright, Mario time. What do I got? I don't have any good items, so we're gonna go. I'm 15 to the star. 10. 8's good. You give me 8 twice and I'm, I'm there, man. You could take my deposit of 5 coins. Dude, I'll give you 100 coins. Let me get the- Oh, come on! By one? Ah, that's lame. I could've- mm. Oh, look at you at 61. Yeah, you you better- you better roll it. 10? 10? Oh my gosh! Use the key, please! Go, go, go! No! There's something good on the other side of the gate! 10, 10? Do you get, like, a coin bonus if you get triple 10s? You should just automatically win the game. The game should just stop right there. Hey, congratulations, you win. Knowing my luck. Okay, so now I'm sharing first place. We're all in the same area, which is kind of weird. Except for Peach. And she's got 21 right now, and I think the arrows are pointing that way, so she's gone. Yeah, she's... No, no, no. Yeah, 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 she's, she's out of here. There's no way you can go over there. Oh, you're gonna go in a little... Oh my gosh, you had the key?! Which allows you to bypass that and go straight to the actual star in one turn? That was unbelievable. Yo. Uh-huh. That means it's time for a duel. You get to choose. What are you gonna wager? 16 coins? One coin. Are you joking? What a waste of time. <laughs> Dude, she got two stars in one go, man. See, that's how powerful those mushroom dyes are, right? Like, whenever you get a chance, you have to buy the mushroom dyes. That's just what it is. Movement in this game is so imperative. You don't need coins. 
I have 200. It's not doing me any good. Let's go. She's got a custom die. She's not even using it. I got a key. Well, here's minigame time. Silent. Animagus. I think I pronounced that right. Hey, what's up, Silent? Welcome. Good to see you. Piranha's Pursuit. Oh, it's a skateboard one? Hold on, hold on. I'm skating board? Yeah! Wee! Do an ollie! Yeah! Dude, you know how hard it is to do an ollie in real life? And Mario just automatically knows how to do it right now? Oh, that's a rock! Cool. So, what stops me? Is it honestly just running? And that's PD- that's actually PD Piranha. That's so funny. Wow. Alright, here we go. Time to skateboard. This one's for you, Silent. I'm gonna win it. That's so funny that PD Piranha's there. Was he originally in there? You want clean jumps. Yeah, because every time you jump and land on it, it's not clean and you'll slow down a little bit. You want clean ollies. Not on the rocks. Not on that. Oh my gosh. Weak! Oh my gosh, cool! I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you can grab the, the vine. That's cool. See ya! Wee! Yo, you guys stink! Wee! Yeah! <laughs> How does the skateboard, like, stay on your feet when you're grabbing the vine, though? Dude, that was awesome. Yeah, that one's so easy. There is no way you can lose that one if you're 1v3. Alright, Peach, you better slow down. I need to get a star. <sighs> Peach got two in one turn, man. The heck? The final turn! I am how many away from it? <sighs> can't do anything. And it's the final turn. I can't... I can't do anything. Like, even if I went to the shop. What's this gonna do for me? Seven. Gross. Well, I mean, I guess I can go in front of these ladies so that maybe if they land on like a three or something like that, I'll be able to duel them, right? Silent, thank you. Hey, I'm glad. Thank you so much that you enjoy my content. Appreciate the super chat. Absolutely. Glad to have you. Whew. Here we go. Close. Daisy almost landed on me and I was about to take her 100 coins. Notice how they're not giving you any more items, because it's the last turn. Dude, if I lose the Peach, where are you going? Come over to me! Let's go, 11 coins! 9? What are you gonna do in 9? 9? Okay. Let's talk about that, Rosalina. You had the ability to land on a dual square between Daisy and yourself. Quicksand cash, let's go! Oh, wow, yay! I get to move, and, like, you're in a Bowser suit. I remember this one. Yeah, this one is cute. This is very cute. And there's bags, too. I get to be Bilbo again. Yay! Why are you in a Bowser suit? Oh, Bowser Jr. is just gone, though. All right, here we go. My coin. Uh, my coin. My coin. I'm doing all the heavy lifting over here, ladies. Oh, you got a bag? Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Ah! Okay, fine. I'm gonna go over here. Okay, give me that bag! Bag! You fools! I'm yeah, that's my bag! No, get it! Get the bag, boy! Oh, fell in. Sorry, I couldn't get a singular bag. Where am I? I'm just gone? Where's my respawn? Dude. You don't know in this game. You don't know if you're gonna get a respawn or not. It's pretty inconsistent across all the mini games, right? Remember the bobsled game? We fell off, didn't get a respawn. But there was a like a maze game where you were on a cliff and you fell off and you respawned instantaneously. So what is it? Anyway, here we go. Uh, predictions in the chat. Who's going to win? Um, I thought I did pretty good, but I think what did me in wrong was that call. That call that I made to change the to change the location of the star. And that opened it up to a lot of people. I was a little greedy on that one. But instead of playing it safe, I went the risk. And I tried for it. Let's go over the bonuses. The first bonus is Minigame Star. Shopping? Dude, I didn't buy anything. Don't tell me Peach bought it. If Peach... Dude, it's over. 
Oh, gross. I mean, I guess. I mean, if everyone gets one, no one gets one, so that's fine. But I need a minigame star. I, I won like 500 coins in minigames. Come on. Come on, minigame. Slow poke. Oh, dude, I was so slow. I was the slowest poke you've ever seen in your life. Me. Yes. Oh, gosh, yes. Oh, that feels so good, dude. Get the camera. Get the camera. Yo, clutch. Thanks, Rosalina, for giving me all those cursed mushrooms, you fool. And you too, Peach. How do you like that? Yes! Wait, and Rosa? Wait a second. Is that tie game now? No. Uh-oh, I lost count. Did I win? Oh, did I win? <laughs> Ready? Who's gonna win? Yo, the evil tree. We didn't even see what it did in this game. Oh, big fruits. Two big fruits. And peach. Eat. Eat the peach. Yes! Yes! I'm the winner! A winner is me! Get off of me! Way to go, Mario! The cursed dice has backfired. But you never knew that going into the game. You never know. Look it! I'm grabbing a coin apple! And Rosalina, there's nothing really happening to her in fourth place. She's just having a conversation with Monty Mole. All right, your winning strategy involved coming out on top on mini games. What else is new? Thanks, Toddy. Uh, yeah, good job, Peach. Uh, use so many items that I could hardly keep track of them all. Third place goes to Daisy. Can you believe that effort? You landed on a lot of event spaces. And Rosa, you stuck it through to the very end. You stopped on more chance time spaces. That's some risky business. All right, that was really good. Without further ado, let's check the final results. I wanna take a look at my full screen. I'm gonna screenshot that because it looks beautiful. I love it. Um, yeah, what else we got? Final results. Ooh, look at this. Look at how many coins I made uh, in one game. 319, that's so great. 248 of them from mini games. Remember when I won 130 coins in a singular mini game? It was great, dude. Call me Bilbo. I was getting all those bags. So fun. Uh, number of items bought was really clutch. Seriously, if I didn't buy one item, I would have lost the game. So like you have to, these are the pro strategies when you're playing the game. Always buy an item, right? Always use your items that you have. And then honestly, it's a, it's a tie up between how far you travel and how le least you travel, right? So the bonus stars are just kind of like, Sometimes you don't even play with the bonus stars, right? Because that's pretty RNG. Like if you wanted a 100% skill game, then you would not play with bonus stars at all, right? So anyway, like I was aiming, I was aiming for the minigame star, right? I always do, but the minigame star didn't even show up. So like, what's the point of that? Wow, wow, there we go. So we're doing, we got some new stickers. We got some new stuff. I got some new titles, and that is the end of the board. That is a really good board, okay, right? It's annoying, the switching of the paths, but you can use keys to bypass that a little bit. And the shops are plentiful. We didn't even get to see what was in the top corner of the board with the evil tree or anything like that. So anyway, it was a good one. Honestly, miles better than Peach's birthday cake. Just throwing it out there. And not just because I won, because there's a lot that you can do in the game rather than a linear path that's based 100% on luck. So I like that one. I would rate it seven out of 10. You let me know what you guys thought about that board in the comments and we'll go from there. Let's play some more, yeah? Let's play some more, yeah? All right, we got one more uh, one more board and then the whole game is done, right? Is that right? That we're gonna do the haunty, spooky, haunted spooky one? The Haunted Spooky one. Yeah, you're getting excited. Oh, do you know how to play? Oh, we know how to play. Let's jump into the next one. But before we do so, I do want to say thanks to all of you guys that uh, have been hanging out with me today. You guys are awesome. We had a couple brand new members. We had a couple super chats. Thank you so much for all of that. Um, every single one of you guys, uh, Pokemon Dragon, Tristan, Star-Lord, uh, Lainey's here in the comments. The mods are doing an awesome job with taking care of everything. So shout outs to them. Uh, hello to everyone here. What's happening, Springy? Stefan Silent with the super chat. Thank you, B. Well, good to see you, Gemma. Uh, yeah, who else is here? Fast Lex. Hello, people. Hi, what's going on? Gamer Mom's in the in the house. Emily Care Bear. What's up? What's up, Steph? Steph's here too. Hello. 
Hi, you guys want to see Waluigi? I'll ask you guys what characters you want. I'm going to go take a, a quick water break. I need some water, man. Those pancakes were good, though. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, it's so great. What's up? Hey, I want you guys to tell me where you're all from. See, Naturia, uh, Tina Jero says, hey, from Long Beach, California. What's going on? Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Hey, Snivy Gohan. Freckles is in the house. Good to see you. Uh, Colleen's here. Sarah, Katie, hello. Dale, uh, Martin, what's up? Hi, guys. It's good to chill out here. We've already been playing for about four hours. We're going to go through and do one more board, and then that'll be pretty much the full game. And then we'll explore some other things, too. Uh, maybe doing a, a next live stream of playing every single mini game and talking about the strategies uh, along with it. I think that'll be a really, really fun um, a fun live stream just to play the mini games and learn all the secrets. So I think we'll do that after this board. But uh, yeah, it's been a great time. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thanks for hanging out. All of you guys, Alex, Pepper, uh, Ryan, uh, Amin, we got Hannah. Hello. What's going on, Michelle? Good to see you. Hey, Karen, what's up? All right, 84 outside today in Southern California. That sounds amazing. All right, why don't you guys let me know what uh, character you guys want to see over here, and then we'll, uh, we'll easily jump in and choose that character for the last board. It's going to be the spooky board. And uh, we'll, we'll show you guys exactly what's going on with it. So it should be really fun. All right, see you guys in like two seconds. I'm going to go take a quick minute break. Okay, hey, welcome back. Thank you. Oh, cool. Wow. Uh, we got some people with super chats. Thank you so much for your generosity, every single one of you guys. Okay, Kenneth says that Peach double star turn was crazy. Good thing uh, that things played out the way that it did. Yeah, Kenneth, we were close to losing that one. Uh, we had a lot of luck on our side with the uh, the slow star helping out. So yeah, we would have lost that way. Wario Land Gold Pyramid with the super chat. Very fun gameplay. Thank you for the entertainment. Try setting bonus stars to classic for more strategic fun. I'll take a look and see what that says. Uh, I didn't know that was a thing, so thank you for the super chat. All right, let's go. Uh, you guys want, uh, which characters? Which characters are we talking about? Uh, some of you guys said Yoshi, uh, so we'll definitely go Yoshi, but I always choose Mario. Mario is like my guy. I've always played as that character. Um, so some of you guys want some Yoshi. Waluigi's pretty cool. Um, I kind of want to do Rosa again, because Rosa's really fun. Hey, Tristan, thanks for the super chat. Absolutely, man. Uh, you, oh, you guys want the spooky characters? DK, because his teeth are scary, perfect for the board. Donkey Kong, I'm still salty about Donkey Kong stealing my star. So will we get justice from that? All right, deal. All right. This is a good, a lot of you guys wanted Yoshi, Waluigi, and all that stuff. So here we go, set the difficulty, normal's fine. Okay, uh, last one is going to be Horrorland from Mario Party 2. Be careful, this eerie place guarded by ghosts is different between night and day. Uh, bonus stars, here we go. You recommend 20 turns, but we're gonna go 10. Uh, bonus stars can really... Classic, nostalgic set, rich... Features rich, minigame, and eventful bonus stars. Bonus stars can really turn the tide of a game. I wonder which ones you'll get. Oh, I didn't realize that. Thank you for telling me. Uh, nostalgic rule set features rich minigame. Rich minigame and eventful stars. So I will always win. So if this is it, typically I get rich by the end of the game. I will have a lot of coins. 
and minigame star, I will always win. So putting it on classic is kind of making it even more easy mode, at least I feel. But whereas if we put it on regular, you don't know what you're going to get for the bonus stars. So I guess if you want to win, I would say put it on classic. But if you want a little bit of randomness, I would say leave bonus stars uh, regular on on. That, that sounds really good. I think it's going to be a lot easier. Trust me, like, I can win. I can win Mario Party. I've proven it. One time I had terrible luck, but that made it for more entertainment. So anyway, let's jump in. Here we go, all types is gonna be great. Uh, 10 turns, let's go, jump in. DK is going down, man. He's got a target on his back. This game is funny. Woo! Okay. Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah with even more Mario Party Superstars on Nintendo Switch. Today's board is all about Horror Land. Ooh, spooky. Look. That tree has a face on it. Whoa, Horror Land. In case you couldn't read, there's a little subtitle over there that says Horror Land. Um, <laughs> what? A sinister magician once made a home of these spooky woods. Whoa, I remember that boo. That's a good shape of a boo. Whoa, but when the superstar drove them away, the forest returned to normal. Interesting. Everyone was dressed up. Why aren't we dressed up? Since then, some spooky spirits arrived and made everything, well, spooky again. If only a new superstar would rise and save the forest from its frightening fate. Now, where oh where what, might we find a new superstar? Well, you're looking right at him. I'm gonna be four out of five superstars. All right, do I have to spell it out for you? Become the superstar and save our forest. But now that we're here, I've got some business to take care of. I'll see you later. Toes in charge from here on out. You got it. I guess it's up to me to be your guide. Hmm, yeah, that's my very first time playing on the board. Great, then let me explain. Look at this board. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, ooh. On this board, spooky magic turns day to night and back again every two turns. Wow. Wants will move from your path during the day, but they sleep deeply at night. There are also stones with strange marks on them. They probably hide a secret. Just talking about this place gives me the creeps, so let's get on with the game. First, we'll decide the turn order. Gross. I don't like being anything but first. So being third is kind of lame. But it's not as, like, disadvantageous as it is in the Peach Birthday Cake one, so we'll see. Or maybe it is. Who knows? Who knows? Alright, where's the first star? Toadette land right in front of me, because I got some coins for you. All right, here we go. Be sure to collect coins as you make your way over. Okay, great, excellent. You guys ready? Anthony, you ready? Let's do it. Let's fight. You should all be set, so let's get started. Okay, everyone, give it your best shot. Good luck, fun. DK, you're going down, man. You are, I'm gonna destroy him. He is mine. Dang it, DK. Right out the gate, huh? What is this eyeball? Oh, hold on, I gotta read, man. Well, that's too bad. What? Dude, DK! Slow your roll, man! I gotta know what the eyeball does. Double dice is good. Congrats. Lucky! Okay, so something happens with the eyeball and maybe like going across? Wow, look at you with the custom right off the bat. Dang, you got the power in your hands. I don't know where I'm going, so let's just roll and get out of here. Wow, that's really good. 918. I could potentially get the star. Uh, 12 to the star? Let me look at this map. Yeah, why why, why did you guys all go that way? That just doesn't make sense to me. Unless you guys are knowing something that I'm not. Um, one. Yeah, I mean, I'm going this way. And then I'm gonna turn this way for the star, so yeah. Welcome to the item shop. Would I like to buy something? Ugh, double dice is good. But skeleton key? What does the skeleton key do for me? Where do I know? Oh, skeleton key's blocking up top to go to a boo. 
if I wanted to. I mean, it's good to have a skeleton key, but dude, movement is so powerful in this game. How much money do I have? I'm gonna be doing this a lot. I've got 10 right now. If I do five, I could potentially miss out on the star. You know, I can't. I can't go shopping right now. I need my coins for the star, so I'm gonna have to leave. I might get a, oh, I might get coins here. Dang it. Ah! Uh, one, oh, I, I guess I should have looked at that. Move dice block, here we go, custom, custom dice block. One, one, oh, hold on, one, 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 one. Missed it. Oh, come on, man! <laughs> I was nowhere near it! All right, all right, I'm getting mixed signals on the timing of that thing. I pressed it a little late and it came a little early on that, so. Yup. Custom dice block. Look at that. Everyone got the custom dice block and I just got a stinking key. All right. Time to lose, you guys. Pokey Pummel. Oh, mash A to swing hammer. Oh, this is 100% skill, man. Get your turbo controller out. You ready? Watch. I'll show you guys what it looks like when I do it. Later, dudes! Don't even breathe! Don't even breathe! Yeah. Woo! 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 <laughs> See, that is a skill. That is a 100% skill right there. And see, that's what I needed. I needed to win that one because now I have enough for the star if I get another nine. So good thing I didn't go shopping for that item because now if I get a niner, I win. Receive an item bag? I'm sorry, what is that? Fill up on items till you can't hold anymore? What? Are you crazy? He got a double star card? No way. I didn't even know that thing existed in this game. They brought that back? Do something with the eyeball. Six to warp. So you can warp from the eyeballs? Oh my gosh. Huh. Freaking guy. Do I have any items? I have to like look every time I just have my key. I need a niner, please. Niner! Seven! Ooh. Uh, yeah, that's a lucky item. I'll, I'll go for it. And the star is right there, so, like, there's nothing that's gonna stop me. Nothing stopping me from getting the star. Uh, where's mine? I want... I want a custom dice. Watch. One, 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 one. One! Give it to me! Dude, come on, by one? Ah! Boo! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna show my teeth on that one. Dude. I guess there's a little bit of... A little bit of luck on that one. What are you buying? Don't do it! Okay, good, because I'm right in front of it. And luckily I'm in front of you, because you can't call it away from me. I need it. Unless I roll a one next turn, which is gonna be very, very bad. Waluigi, you fool! Mecha Marathon, dude. All right, what is this? Oh, oh, we're gonna play another button mashing game. Okay, great. <laughs> Wee! All right, this one's good. Oh man, mine's gonna go flying like your boy, like your middle name. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Don't talk to me, he says. <sighs> See ya. <sighs> Another reason why you don't play skill mini games with me in Mario Party. Because I'm just going to keep on going, man. 
We all right. We're gonna go for a new record. 57, man. He just he was just gonna fly away home, dude. Like your favorite movie featuring those geese. All right, cool. 37. I'm in. Uh, this is great. Uh, Waluigi does have the ability to ruin me if I roll a one. But here's nighttime. What happens at night? The spooky stuff. 10? What is your problem, DK Donkey Kong? Where are you gonna warp to? He's not doing- he's just going in a circle. What is his problem? Please show me more of the board. Six. What are you guys doing? Oh, Spoopas! Spoopies? What are the name? Oh gosh, what is this event? Don't. Don't. Oh, it just changed from night to day. Oh wow, cool, good job. Alright, I gotta go. I just need not a one. Please not a one, please not a one! Yay! Win! Yes! Yes! I have what it takes to be the superstar. Yo, the superstar! See you later, Toddit! In a Corvette? Oh, we're going this way. Alright. Waluigi, please use your whistle to move her again. It'd be much appreciated. Thanks, kid. Alright, I got an item spot, though. And I got a lot of money. I got a lot of money to go buy some items. So let's go see what we can get. What am I buying? Oh, come on, man. I'm going double dice because movement is so overpowered in this game. Yo, the superstar! <laughs> Remember that? From Odyssey? Oh, and a lucky space. What do I got? What do I got? Give me an item. Bag! Alright, here we go. Custom dice block. I'm gonna get it. One, 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 one. Always by one, but that's okay. I can give it to someone now that I've learned to ignore the flavor text that the writers don't even know how to play this game. And you can give it to someone. You can give it to Waluigi because he's a fool. <laughs> don't item bag. Oh my gosh, item bag? Item bag. Yo, Bilbo Baggins over here. Item bag is so powerful. Get out of here. Alright, get ready, get ready, shy guy. Mush pits? Cool, let's do some mush pit. Ooh, ooh, what do I like this? I'm gonna punch these clowns and jump kick them, right? No, you can't. Oh, yeah! Let's go, Big Mario! Roar! Boom, nailed them. Is this one versus three? Oh my goodness gracious. See ya, clowns! Get owned! Three? Don't even! Don't even! Get owned, son! I like that one. That one's really nice. You only get three dashes per super mega mushroom. That's kinda cool. Waluigi, don't look at me like that. Moving up. He's not really moving up. He's tied for last, but cool. All right, what's Waluigi going to do? Is he going to use his whistle? I could slow him down. And this guy's really just going in a circle the only time. Is this a glitch with the computers? Oh, you better throw away something. Throw away your card. Throw away your card. You don't need it. You're not going to get a star. If he gets a star, we're we're done, man. That is an item. Why? Oh, okay, now you're breaking out. Okay, I mean, Yoshi has 20 coins. You can get the star. It is a possibility. Uh, I need to look at this map. You can use the item you just got. I would like to use the cursed item. Uh, probably on Walu. Uh, just looking at this. The star is all the way over there. Oh, Yoshi, I have to use that on. 11 to the star. I'm going to use it on him. Just because that's all I got. And I don't know if Waluigi is going to use the, uh, the, cur the, what is that? What does he have? Ooh, Cursed Ice Block. Either hinder Yoshi. Yeah, I'm going to hinder Yoshi. I can hinder Yoshi or boost myself. And I think next turn I'm going to boost myself. 
That should be really good. I should be able to, to get to that. In 20, I think I can. Go! Yes, baby! Oh my gosh! <laughs> you fools. All right, so I am going to go this way. One, two, three, two, 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 two. I'm going to go right over here. And then next turn, I will just need like another 10 and I'll use my double and I can win this. How much money do I have though? I have 19 coiners? I can't be spending money like this, man. The double block, 19. Am I going to land on blue? I can't. Hold on. I got to calculate this. How many, how many rolls left do I have? Where does it say my amount of rolls left? Am I missing it? Am I missing it somewhere on the board where it says how many rolls I have left? Why doesn't it do that? Or maybe I could say 10 from the previous one. I got to recount. Oh, this is gross. I think I'm landing on blue. I don't like this. This was like when the, um, unless I'm missing it on the screen somewhere, it should say how many you have left and kind of like highlight the different spots where you're going to land on. This is a missed opportunity in, in the development phase because I need to calculate if I'm going to land over here, I'm going to get a three, which will give me 19 plus three, which is enough for the star. I'm going to make another 10 from the mini game that I'm inevitably going to win. I will have to pay another three toll past that. So I'm just going to not buy anything. What's up, Reversal? Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Yeah, yeah, Mario uh, Mario Party's good. It's uh, it's fun. It's it's really short, but it's it's fun. So far, we're liking it. Um, dude, this is really rough. I want to buy a mushroom. I honestly do. I'm going to play it safe. We're not going to. I'm not going to do anything like that. I got my three coins. I'm going to have to pay, like, the three coins into the bank. And I need the ten. So I need all of my money. I can't be shopping at this point. Uh, yeah, the game's good. The game's good. We're on the last uh, board right now. It's kind of uh, unfortunate that there's only five boards in the game. Which game that came out in 2021. You'd expect there to be at least ten boards. And more than 100 minigames. But that's my only gripe so far. Uh, and the people that translated this game from Nintendo Japan. Treehouse team, they missed a couple things. It's kind of lame, but whatever. Lose, and I'll take your coins. Oh, come on. Bowser minigame. Okay, this is it. Dodge Bowser's Rolling Spike Spheres. I like how they I like how they call it spheres and not ball, right? His spike balls. Look at this. It's So what happens with it? Oh, he throws in two and then they bounce off of each other. Okay, I can win this. I just can't lose. I, I yeah, I cannot lose. Okay, here we go. I gotta like push Waluigi into it. I would be that guy to do that. But knowing me, I'll slip up and own myself. Whoa, 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 I'm not ready! I'm not ready! Yes! Wait, I have to survive? Okay, good. <laughs> I said I wasn't ready for the top half. I was chilling on bottom half over here. I was not ready for that. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. That's so funny. Oh my gosh, that's really hilarious. I'm not ready! Tube it or lose it. Oh, cool. Look at this. We're going to... I'm going to steer. We're going to break a little bit. Urgh, sorry, dude. Yo, that's great. Me, me. Oh, I, this is so much fun. Urgh. <laughs> see ya. Oh, see ya. Oh, I'm out of here. Later. Oh, it's so fun. This one is... This one's actually very... Mario Party 5 on GameCube. Is this the one with the microphone? Banana, orange. All right. Should we taunt this guy? Oh, he's coming right for me. See ya. Oh, gosh. Help me. Yo, our acceleration is huge. Oh. <laughs> no, DK, save us. No. 
I got stuck in a corner. Do not put baby in the corner. DK, come on, man. You got this. Don't stand there, DK! Go. Oh, whew. Thanks, D. Wow, man. I was like, I was stuck in that corner. I could not accelerate out of there. So don't ever do that. Don't be like that. That's a strategy is don't do that. Do not put baby. Don't put baby in the corner. DK's just going in a circle. I really don't know what's going on with this guy. He's not warping either. He's just literally going in this entire circle for five turns. It makes me think that the CPUs aren't programmed. Or maybe that's just a bug in the programming. He's not going. You can't. You can't. I gave you the cursed one. Yes. Yes. Now we have the science. Wait, wait, what? What? No, no. That, okay, that, that's fine. I guess that's the science. So if you have a custom block and someone curses you, the custom block takes priority over it. It doesn't cancel each other out. It cancels out the curse block. All right, so that's pretty cool. We learned something new. Do I have any items? I gotta go. 10 to the star. I gotta run, man. That's cool. We learned the science. The finer science, the finer intricacies of this game. Give me a 10, please. Big Tenzo. Hey, I win. Yay. Steal it right out from under your nose. Ooh, how many coins do I have? 32. Good, 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 good. Love it. Love it. Here we go. Thanks for your... What? No, I'm not going to. Why would I? Oh, because that way you can go to Boo. But I don't need to go to Boo because I'm going up. No, I'm not unlocking the gate. I'm going up, baby. And I'm out of here. We're going to go buy something. How much How much money do I have? Item shop. I got 29. I could spend 9 coins. I'm going double, man. Mm hmm That's smart. Movement is so valuable in this game. So now I'm at 24. I can buy the star with 20. And now we're strategically winning against our opponents. Good work, Mario. <laughs> You're awesome. You're the superstar. Yes, you are. You got a star. Here we go. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Fly away home. Oh, is that along the way? Should I have saved my money? But I got movement, man. That is right along the way. Maybe I should have saved my five, but I wouldn't have known. Ooh, gross. Well, that's the only way I can go. So let's uh, let's lose a couple of coins and uh, hope and pray for the best. Luigi. I hope I get. I gotta get roll like a one. Dude, I remember in the other Mario Party games, the older ones, you could get like a reverse mushroom, which would, which could allow you to move backwards in case you overpass the star or something like that. Like that was fun. Uh, oh, double the coins. I need this. I need this in my life. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. I need this. Give me money belts, please. Or a skewer scurry. I have to win. What is this? I'm sorry. Oh, oh okay. Uh, so I go just left and right. Wait, hold on, hold on. What is, what's the deal? So I choose this. And then I choose, can I like fake them out? Yeah, I guess I can. Oh, I can go left and right. Oh, that's really messed up. Yeah, that's really messed up. So I think this is a lot easier to win if you're the, if you're the skewer dude, because you can just fake them out and then push. Wow. Dead. Dead. Wow, I needed that so bad. That's another star in my pocket, baby. You just kind of, you kind of bait them to hide in one spot, and then you just come around the other side and destroy them. Wow. By one coin. Do you see that? Do you see that right now? All right. The person in last is going to get a pity item. Congratulations, Waluigi. <gasps> Oh, good. Waluigi uh, does not have the ability to call the Chain Chomp, which is good. Kamek, what do you think? Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait, you... The third player? What is he going to get? A bonus Boo Bell? You don't have any coins to use that. Get out. Oh my gosh, if he steals my coins. 
You can't. You can't do this to me, Donkey Kong. I, I have just the right amount of coins. Don't do it. DK! He's the one that stole my star that one time! Dude, no! Don't you dare! Okay, good. Ooh, man, good thing he's not thinking for himself. He's thinking of that big monkey brain. Oh my gosh, you loser. You could have saved that star by using the Boo Bell against me. You didn't, though, son. You did not do such a thing. Uh, just to make sure, I have 21 coins and I do have an item. Uh, we are going to use the uh, double dice. We're getting the heck right out of here. See you later. I'm out of here. Six to the star. Give me a seven, baby. That's guaranteed. I'm done. That's a ten. Thanks. I'm not going to do anything with this thing. I don't want to do anything. No. Will you give me some coins to warp you? No thanks. Uh, glassy Sphere. Well, that's too bad. Too bad. Yeah, that is too bad. See you later. What is this? Oh, gosh. Help me. Welcome. I don't have enough coins to do that, although the Darkness Lamp looks really cool, and I don't know what it does. I want to find out, but a star is right in front of me, and I'm kind of broke. So, yo, the superstar! Yes! How many stars do I have? It's a mystery! You guys can't even see behind me, unless you're paying attention at home. Yo, you're the superstar, man. DK! Look at you cheering on for DK! Right in front of me, please. Actually, I'm broke, so I can't do that. Yeah, this is a big trek around me. Oh, yeah. This one, that's a long way. I don't know it within four turns if I can get that. Looks like I don't have that money. Oh, you're just taking all of my coins? My one coin. Wow. Yo, welcome, Supernova. Hey, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks so much. Thanks for becoming a member. Waluigi is going custom. Where's he going? Six? Why six? Please tell me why you did six and not like ten. I don't know. Wow. DK, man. This guy. Quicksand Cash. Spotlight Swim. Oh, 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 what is this? Now what? That's it? Stay out of the spotlight? Shine all three searchlights on the solo player together. How is that hard? I'm sorry. Because of diving? Uh, yeah, please elaborate why that's hard, because he's gone in two seconds. Oh my gosh, where did he go? He's over here. Follow the bubbles, fools! Done, son! Yeah, you can follow the bubbles. That's so easy. Yo, that's so simple to win. Ring! Waluigi! Waluigi. Okay, four turns left. Here we go. Yeah, the skeleton key does have a little bow on it. Yeah, it's, it's cute. He's got two of them. What are you gonna do? What are you going to do? I have zero coins, man. Well, who are you going to take? Good. Nine coins from Yoshi. Yoshi was slamming that A button. Like a drill. Mm, jackhammer. Here we go. Seven to, t seven to the star. Okay, that was actually really, really smart of him. He now has enough to buy the star. But he just bought 12. With a custom block. Which now he doesn't have enough for the star. No way. No way he knew that that was going to happen. Nope. I'm not buying it, DK. You fool. Alright, here's... Wow. That is pretty rough. DK, I gotta do something against him. Although I, I can't really. What are you buying? Triple dice? That's great. You're spending all your money, and let me guess, you're going to get money from here? There's no way you can know that. Item bag? Dude, that's insane, these lucky squares. Back in my day, there was no such thing as lucky squares. Dude, every square has something on it. Do I have any items? No, just the key. All right, let's go. Back in my... Oh, shoot. Cool. I have a key! 
I have a key and I can do something with that. Please, just... What a smart, what a smart play. Good job. He whistles with his, with his, his teeth open like this. I don't know if you saw that. It looks pretty good. He did not close his mouth around the whistle. He just did his big Waluigi smile. So an animation, to the polish, right? That's called polish in, in the game dev world. He just did his same animation. No puckered lips animation at all. Uh, good job, Waluigi. I mean, maybe that's how you whistle at home. If you had a whistle. With full-on teeth? Great. Custom. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's got zero dollars. He's more broke than what he started out with. He's got no coins besides those six. Alright, anyway, let's play a game. Waluigi. Let's go, extra payday! Hey, cool, we get to see this one. And we can make more than ten on this one. Oh, is that a bag? Well, hold on, opens a box. Oh, dude, we're gonna... Yeah, we're going for... We're going for bag, man. Give me that bag! Oh, and what's what's this one? Like a punch to the face? Let me see. <laughs> That's actually hilarious! Uh, so I can do coin, and then I could do bag, and then I wasn't really paying attention. This is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't necessarily have to hold out for... Um, I want to see what the... Oh, yeah, the bomb stuns you for at least two boxes. Okay, so you can do coin, coin, bag, bag, coin, all that stuff. It's a lot of skills here. I'm taking I'm taking these three. One, two, three, four, five. Skipping. Grabbing. Yes, I'm skipping. Skip. Skip. Bag. Coin. Skip. Skip. Coin, coin, skip, coin. Yeah, that's it. That was a perfect run. I don't think I missed a single coin. 20, baby. Let's go. That's enough for a star right now. But it's not enough to steal a star. It's kind of lame because I'm right over at the boo. But no one has any stars. Like I'm, I'm out here looking pretty right now. So, um, I think I may have won. I don't think a, a sheer amount of bad luck is going to allow me to lose any stars. Uh, where's he going? Oh, dude, he is going to get a star now. 8, 2, 10, 19. Yo, he's going around the board with how many coins? Two. Oh, yeah, good, good, good. So now we... <gasps> he's going to get two stars because he has the card. No, DK, he's my biggest threat. Please, buy something for 20 coins. Oh, no. Movement. Oh, my gosh, DK. Please, take the warp. Dang it. DK. Ooh, ha. Please, make one. Wicked laughter emanating from within what? Item space? Where? What's gonna happen? He's got too many items. Warp block. Okay. Um, what are you gonna throw away? Custom block? He's gonna throw away the warp. It's just gone. He's he's got like item management issues. He had so many items. Alright, ten, five, four, that's really good. You guys are rolling real high. Nineteen, he's like, yo, dude, I'm gonna get this star. I would much rather Yoshi have it, because if DK gets a star, he's gonna get two for with that card of his. You knock, but the sound is drowned out by wicked laughter emanated from it. Okay, cool. Take it, take it. Yes! Good job, good job. Five coins. Yoshi made it back. Thanks, Yoshi. Get a star, please. You're the superstar. Ugh. DK! I think... I don't know what the, the star card does. I thought it's like a two-for-one card. Oh, we'll have to find out. Is the is the star card a two for one card, or do you have the opportunity to buy two of them at the spot for forty coins? I don't remember, and I don't have one to check. So there's that, and that's kind of right in front of me, isn't it? Can I go there, please? It's a Mario time. Twenty three to the star. You're crazy. Twenty three. I can go over here, steal some coins. I can steal from DK. I can go the boo route. I don't have 50, though. 
I'm so, I needed like eight more coins, man. Then I could have stolen a star. That would have been so good. So I can go over here all the way down and around. That's, that's like a good 20-ish away. Yeah, that's like 22 away. So I can do it within two turns if I'm lucky. Yoshi could also do it if he wins the next minigame. I just, I don't think DK's got it. DK is going to try to go get it. So I've got a couple things that I could do here. I can steal from DK. No, I'm just going to go myself. Oh, I thought I had, I thought I had a double block. Did I not buy one? Okay, whatever. Sure, I don't have that. Okay, fine. Let's just go. Give me 10, baby. Seven though. Oof, seven. Let me see where I land. 27 to the square. 7 is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Boo. 6, 7. And then no, I don't want to do that at all. That's not worth it. The chance time space, I'm probably going to swap my star with someone and get really mad. So no. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Land on that and I'll get 23 coins. That's good. All right. We're not going to unlock, but I'm going to win the jackpot. We're going to land on free parking. We're going to collect everything in the middle of the board and we're going to win. So thank you. Cool. Congratulations. Spend them wisely. Wow, yay! Exciting. Hey, yo, aim that right at my head. Thanks. Waluigi! Sorry, dude, you're done, man. Okay, welcome to the Koopa Bank. Dude, I landed on that. That was kind of cool. But remember, DK can pass us. Um, or with DK, he can blow the whistle and maybe bring it closer to him. If I was him, I would definitely blow the whistle. That would be the best strategy for this, for DK. Just I don't think that he's going to do it. I don't think he's going to... Look at this guy and his keys, man. Alright, minigame time. Two versus two minigame. Puddle paddle! Nope. Speed hockey! Hey! Oh, look at this one! That's so fun! We Look at this! We I'm so excited about this minigame. And it gets faster, so I get to play goalie. Alright, here we go. Come on, Yoshi, let's go! Oh, Yoshi! Come on, man! Out of the way! Yes! Right off his back. Okay, that was close, man. Good job, Yoshi. Oh, so easy! Good job! One more, Yoshi! One more! Offense. Yoshi's good. Oh, help. Oh my gosh, help. Yes. Oh my gosh. So hard. That's like, there's a lot of, uh, it's like, mm, I guess there's a lot of skill with that one. <laughs> Yo, I'm like yelling at Yoshi. Why am I yelling at Yoshi? I am in no harm of losing right now. Unless DK gets his twofer and somehow beats me with the bonus stars, I'm good. Oh, scary man. That was too close for comfort. He's not even using the thing. Oh, great. Not Bowser Revolution. Just lose a star. We need karma for that last time, you fool. Ah, uh, Bowser, come on, man. Give 20 coins to Bowser? Oh, look at that. That's a lot of his coins. He's not going to be able to purchase a, a star anywhere. I would be really upset if I was him. Because he's like, dude, I got this card that's going to give me double stars. Like, I gotta just go buy one. But he's physically unable to. Serves him right. Serves them right. Item shop. What you buying? Mushroom? Dice? Triple dice for 10 bucks. That's really good. But he doesn't have enough for the star, so even if he did, like, what? I gotta make sure that he doesn't win the next minigame. How do I get an item? I just have a key, man. Go! One! Oh my gosh! Help me! Help! Oh, man, I don't even want to. No, just don't, man. I'm not going to lose a star. Ugh, give half your coins, Bowser Revolution. Can I just press A stop? What happens if I land on A stop? Just stop this? I don't want to press anything. You can have my money. 
Here we go. Go! Take my star! Take it! Take my star! Take my star! Go ahead! Go ahead and take my star! Please! Please! Enjoy it! Enjoy it! Can we talk about that for a second here? Can we actually talk about that for a second here? What is happening to my life? I knew it too! I knew it! Ugh. This game loves me. You know what, that's okay. I worked my cheek squeak off in order to get those stars. So I have such a big lead. So you know what, whatever. That's not gonna slow me down. We have to win. We cannot, I cannot afford Yoshi to, oh no, Yoshi can get coins in this one, uh oh. Wee! <laughs> look at this one! Wee! In the clouds, Wee! Yahoo! Wee! that's so fun. Alright, here we go. Dude, Bowser, man? I cannot believe my life. Start, ready, go! DK, get them all! One, two, three, four, oh, on the way down. That's right, rotate. Okay, cool, I got him. I got four on the way up. One, two. Oh gosh, here we go. And on the way down. Oh, sorry, buddy. Are we gonna get them all? One, you can't get that. Oh, but you're gonna get that. So, okay, so I'm gonna go extreme to the side. Oh, missed it. Got that one though. Good. Nope, sorry. Sorry, DK. Yoshi got 12. That's bad. Yoshi has enough for the star now. And that's two stars on Yoshi. So Yoshi is a threat. DK? DK, use the whistle, man. DK, wake up. Wake up. Use the whistle. Are you serious? Oh, that was such bad luck. I lost the star and we landed on a multiple coin mini game where we all win coins. So now Yoshi has enough for it, and he's got the triple dice. Unbelievable! One, seven, that's it. Okay, is that enough? Oh, good. Yeah! Yeah! That's right. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got a little lucky there that Yoshi didn't get that last star, because then it would have been real rough. Like, no joke, real rough. I can't buy any items. The store is closed right now. I only have this key. So we're going dice blockage. Here we go. Big six. Great. <laughs> Insult to injury, why don't you? All right, use one of your dice blocks and what are you going to do with it? You have so many of these. You're going to rock a nine versus a 10. Talk to me why. Tell me, oh, you're, oh, can't you 29. Okay, you're going to steal some coins. That's fine. You can steal my coins. You can have some charity. You're not gonna do it. He opened, he, what is, what it? Okay. He could have gone to the boo, use his key. Dude, forget this game, man. Hide and sneak, solo side, find your rivals. Oh, 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 you can kind of peek and see where they're hiding. Oh, 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 we're gonna, oh, that's, that's, that's good. All right, so we're gonna go over here and push this switch. I think they're hiding behind the mushroom. This one's hard to win. Legit, because like there's still a little bit of movement after the curtains call, uh, curtain calls. So this one's hard. Start. All right, you tell me, you vote. Uh, I think I'm gonna go stump. You're kidding! No way! How many? I got. Okay, well, you guys better all hide in one. 33% chance over here. Let's go Mushroom House, man. You guys better all be in the Mushroom House. Are you kidding me? <laughs> There's no way. There's legit no way you can tell where they're going. Because after Curtain Call, you can switch it up however the heck you want to. And as long as they split up right now, they win. So I'm going to go for Rock, dude. Unless they're all hiding behind Rock. Stupid. This game is, that's bogus. So this one is definitely in the favor of the people in the back. But I can see that if you're not able to communicate, like use sign language, like yo, going like mushroom, stump. 
<laughs> That's okay, right? It honestly doesn't matter. I think we may have this in the bag. I don't know. First, let's go over the bonuses. The first bonus is minigame star. Okay, I did not do a lot of shopping. So, please not Yoshi. How about that? If it's Yoshi, that's gonna be bad. Don't be Yoshi. DK? Oh, okay. So, if everyone gets them, no one gets them. That's fine. That's more stars for my bank, man. Okay, so now, uh, I think I win. Even if Yoshi got one, I still have one star up on him. And I gave a star to Charity Bowser, so I think we're good. Eventful. Whoa, event spaces. Watch out. DK got nothing. Yoshi. So, and Waluigi. That's cool. Waluigi can have a star. Yoshi can have one. But I still have more coins than all of them. At least I think. And I think I have a star on Yoshi if I was paying attention. Honestly, I was pretty blind being in this, like, corner over here, so you couldn't really see what I had going on. So, that makes it a little bit more interesting. Did I win? DK, look at him. Look at this guy. Look at this guy, hoping and praying. Uh, look at Waluigi. Oh, please. Please, he says. Yo, the eyeball is gonna do what? It rolls over. Waluigi, not me. Not me. Definitely. Are you kidding? Don't look at me. That's right. Woo. Wow. I'm the superstar. I'm the superstar. Yay. I did it. Wow. Two stars. It's my pleasure to announce that Mario has taken first place. If I had to guess, your winning strategy involved coming out on top in minigames. Yes. That's what I always do! Second place, amazing effort, Yoshi! You stopped on more blue spaces than anyone. Those coins are handy, huh? Waluigi comes in third, great work, all the way to the end. You couldn't stay off the lucky spaces. Seems you were the luckiest of all. Donkey Kong comes in fourth, solid effort all around. The total of your dice rolls is higher than anyone else's. Hope you're not too tuckered out from all that walking. What an amazing competition. Without further ado, let's check the final results. Yay! I like that. That was actually really fun. That Toad, um, I like that he says all those things. I'm gonna take a full screen capture of that. Really fun. I love that. So, I was really close to losing. I was very, very close to losing. You see that over here. Yoshi had the exact same amount of stars. Since he got that bonus one at the very end over me, and I lost one star to Bowser the second time. Unbelievable. That's some you believable stuff right there. Uh, but yeah, I had 47 coins on top of him, so that was really good. Um, overall, 173 coins earned, 118 from minigames. Really impressive, I like that. Uh, shopping was interesting that everyone had two. So if I didn't buy two, I would have lost the game. Yeah, that, that's clutch. That's really clutch. If I didn't buy two items and I only bought one, I would have lost the game. It's too close for comfort, man. Some of these are way too close for comfort. Wow. Kind of cool, though. All right, final results, number of stars. We all done here. Yes, we are. And we got ourselves a whole bunch of coins. We got three stars. Winner bonus times two. Look at all these awesome coins. Uh, finished first place after ten turns. Okay, I like it. The encyclopedia board page for Horrorland, along with music and a card design, were added to Toad's Shop. And you got... A toad has been added to character selection in the encyclopedia. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 what? Toad has been... Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Koopa Troopa? Wait. We're not unlocking playable characters. We need to go mess around. That's one of the things. We just gotta go mess around with the game first. Okay. Well, that was really good. See that board? You know, that's a good board. And it's not just because I won. No. It's, it's actually a good board because there's a lot of paths that you can take and there's a lot of strategy. Boo is around, which adds for more strategy. I just think that every board in this game, there's only five of them. Every board is good, minus the Peach one. Are we in agreement here? Are we in agreement here? And what is this Windows 95 cursor of the hand? What is that? Anyway. Remember when the other part, Mario Party minigames had the actual hand of like Mario and Princess Peach's glove and Yoshi's little pointer? Like, anyway, that was really fun. I love that board. Uh, DK, I got some vengeance on him. Uh, Bowser did hit me one more time. I did lose a star and it was, it was very close to losing. But overall, I thought that board was amazing.
It's a really good one. The five-star difficulty of it, we didn't really get to see what Kamek and the, the glowing candle diffusion thing does. The eyeball warps you maybe across the ways. So we're still going to have to play that board and find out a lot more about it. So anyway, it was a good one and I enjoyed it. It was super cool. Yeah, absolutely was. All right. Wow. Thanks so much for coming, everyone. You guys are amazing. Thanks for hanging out today. Who's all here still? What are you guys all up to today? We just beat the entire game. There's really no story mode, which is kind of lame. Wasn't there a story mode in the previous Mario Party? You, like, had to go through, and you, like, beat the things, and then, like, it unlocked more characters and stuff. This is just, like... I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know. Like, I like this game. It's, it's pretty cool, but... Yeah, the volcano is not clickable. That's not a thing. Uh, but let's go to Data House. Let's actually mess around and see what there is, right? Okay, welcome to the data house. Okay, it looks like something new is added. Why don't you check your achievements? Whoa, look at our achievements. I just want to keep on playing. This makes me want to play more. I love the achievement system. This is really, really good. This is called Polish. And the game did a really good job of Polish. Uh, especially for this stuff right here. So Coin Finder, uh, find coins in a hidden block. Star Thief, steal a... Uh, get 200 more coins during an adventure. Coin Enthusiast. Wow, 100. Uh, get 5 or more stars during an adventure. Get 3 or more stars. Get 30 coins. This is what? Steal 3 stars? at w In one game? Wow! You have to be playing a really long game in order to get these. Uh, find a star in a hidden block. So it is confirmed that if you find a hidden block, you can get a star in it. Wow, that's lame. Uh, this one is... What is this? Steal 50 coins from rivals. So we were close to finishing this all out. Sports and puzzles get 600 points in Mario's Puzzle Party. Ew. Gross. I hated that that mini game. Ew. Win and collect 100 or more co coins during a playthrough of what? Coin battle. Reach level 50 in stick and spin. Uh, reach level 99 in block star. I don't know what this is. Block star, I don't know what any of these things. Tag match, win without letting your opponents get a win. Trio challenge. Okay, so this is maybe like the mini game section of the game. Uh, over here is, I did collect a total of 1,000 coins, win a total of 100 mini games. Uh, this is seven or more stars during an adventure. That's really, that seven stars is good. But we, remember, we've been only playing 10 rounds. And the most I've gotten was like, what, four? Maybe five? Um, so yeah, in one game, win all mini games. So you're going to have to do like a 10 round and just win them all. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'll get it. General play party mode 50 times. That's gross. All right. I'm just going to jump in, jump out. I'm going to grind that. <laughs> what is this? Board games, land on event space, uh, land on a versus space. So this is just overall playing over here. Uh, switch to day to night uh, at the mystery mansion. Uh, switch to and Bowser's places during adventure. Uh, take three or more fruit. So these are specific ones that you're really going to have to try for when you play these games. Get chased by a runaway spaceship three times. Uh, plant a strawberry and have it steal a star. Yeah, these are specific ones. Deposit coins 50 uh, into the bank 50 times. Okay, treasure hunter. Uh, receive all the, bon all the bonus stars during an adventure. That's good. I did do that. Win a Bowser minigame. Yes, I did. Uh, miss getting a star due to lack of coins. Did I do that? I don't remember, but sure. Uh, win a duel. Uh, in one game, win half of all mini games. Okay, that's decent. Keep a skeleton key until the adventure ends. I did do that just now. That was fun. Uh, what am I missing? Get two stars in one turn. Oh my gosh, imagine that. That's really, really uh, crazy. Um, why is earned online? Oh, okay. So you can play some online stuff. Get three stars in a single pack. Okay, so there is some stuff that you can win for online. Yeah, okay, didn't even realize. Uh, be nominated to win during the home stretch. I mean, if you're losing. I uh, use an item eight times during an adventure. You need some really long battles. Roll doubles when using a double dice. Wow. Okay, those are some achievements. And you're going to have to play this game a lot in order to get them. So here's your Mario Party card. I'm level 19. What's my favorite board now? Well... Uh, let's change my... Oh, look at these. Look, look, look. So, 
we got Coin Collector, Coin Tycoon. These are all the different uh, titles that you can get. That's great. So even more achievements. 150 more coins. Uh, get three or more stars. That's really good. Uh, chance Time, Bank, Coin Thief, Star Thief, Treasure Hunter. This is really fun. And they tell you exactly what they are. I'm kind of having flashbacks to new Pokemon Snap, where they were just, they didn't really show you how to do it. So you just had to like, guess, or maybe just play the game and it'll randomly unlock, which is a trash way of developing it. So this is good. It's just more things. You're like, oh, okay, next time I go to Spaceship, I want to make sure that I get chased by the runaway uh, little Spaceship three times or multiple times. I think that's going to be so fun. Uh, switch Toad at and Bowser's places during an adventure. That's really fun. Yeah, yeah, reach level 99. I gotta find out what that stuff is, man. Okay, so favorite board? Uh, okay, so I'm not gonna be Rookie anymore. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be Star Thief, dude. Because that's how I play. Favorite game, Mario Party 1, sure. Favorite board? Uh, that was interesting. Okay, you guys tell me in the comments right now, all of you guys that are watching. Uh, watching from the beginning. We've been streaming for about five hours, and we showed gameplay of all of these boards. Yoshi's Tropical Island, super cute. Figure 8 circuit. So simple. I love it. It's simple. It's beautiful. Spaceland, a lot more going on over here with the keys and shortcuts. Peach's birthday cake, utter trash. It's linear and it's very dependent on roll luck, which is garbage. You can't mitigate that anyway. Woody Woods, we honestly didn't get to see too much. We just stayed in like the bottom corner, in the, the like the green half. We didn't really go over to the other half. Uh, and Horrorland was, was okay. I mean, we didn't get to see what the Haunted Mansion did. I don't know. I still think that Yoshi's Tropical Island is just so, it's so easy that I think that that's my favorite. Favorite mini games. Um, yeah, I mean, I like a lot of them. I do like Mushroom Mix Up. I don't, I didn't even play the Snowball one. Did I have a lot of fun with these? Leaf Leap, uh, no. Which one did I like? I liked some of them. I like the mashing ones. Like, I like this one. Mecha Marathon, that's a really good one. Um, Coney Island, I didn't even get a chance to play, but I absolutely adore that one. I remember that was on a bonus disc, uh, for Mario Party 5, 6, whatever it was. It was a bonus disc with Mario Kart Double Dash in it, like a little demo. Back when they did demo discs for GameCube. Yeah, that was really fun. So yeah, these are really good ones. Oh my gosh, wait, the snowboarding ones here? Hold on. Snow World? Oh my, do you know? I don't think you guys even know about that. That minigame was my absolute favorite. I'm so glad they brought that back. Oh, Snow, I just want to do Snow World right now, but we'll do a live stream where we play all the minigames and it should be really fun. We'll do that a little bit later on. Okay, uh, so that's your Mario Party card. Why does it still show the um, little alert? Okay, whatever, cool. Encyclopedia, talk to me about this. Uh, Toad, a hardworking energetic resident of the Mushroom Kingdom. Okay, Toadette. Oh, okay. So these are the games that she was in. self Center Ruthless King. Okay. What's, what's the point of that? Oh, I mean, we just unlock their, like, their little entry. So I guess we do have to buy more stuff to, like, fill out 100% the encyclopedia. Okay, minigame win percentages. Oh, that's kind of cool. 100% win rates. Yeah, baby. What you know about it? Um, anyway, new records. New records. So you can actually try your new records and then, like, Compare them with your friends. Mount Minigame, we didn't even mess around with that. We can try. We can try later on. Uh, and then these are our photos. Oh, that's so cute. We can see. We can see some photos. Yay. I don't know what... DK, don't show me this photo. Don't. That's cute. I love this. I love those photos. You can see they're all of them. May I wonder how many the, the game keeps. That's really fun. And uh, then music over here, uh, Village Square Boards, all that music soundtrack. Okay, that looks great. I'm really, really uh, happy about this. I'm just more curious as to why there's still like a little pip over here that shows... Oh, maybe because I didn't... Uh... Okay, we're gonna leave. The achievement se system in the game is very fun. I think they did an amazing job. And I don't say that lightly, right? Usually Mario games more recently in the later generations, they cut corners, they don't include extra stuff like this. So I'm very flattered and I'm very impressed that they took the extra time to polish the game. Uh, just background music, I mean, this is cool. So you can now see all these different things right over here. So you go modern and classic of all of these different levels now that you played them. So you just unlock new music. 
So that's cool. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, but the amount of polish in this overworld is pretty good. Yeah, the polish team did a really good job with that. Alright, Toad's Shop. Time to spend some money. What's worth it? There are lots of things here. Feel free to take a look around. There's new products in stock. Ooh, whoa, new stickers. We got a boah ha That's kind of cool. Uh, stickers look really fun. TikTok, but why? <laughs> but why? That's fun. You wouldn't. A uh, close one. Can't wait. Bad luck. Ooh, I need that sticker for sure. Uh, cut it out. You got this. All right, so that's fun. Card designs. Honestly, don't care about card designs. That's kind of cool. You want to share that site? Yeah, getting the encyclopedia pages, that's going to be real fun. So what is this? Oh, because I've already earned these, so I don't have to buy them? So I guess the question is, what do I have to do in order to get these pages? Right? What were the unlock requirements for it? Why would I spend 100 coins on Bowser Jr.'s page when I can unlock it? So how did I get these? No idea. Literally no idea. But the encyclopedia pages are really fun. Like, I think... I think this would be really cool. Tasty shortcut, traffic safety in space, mysteries of the void, beware the beam. I mean, these are fun. It's like, do they give you like hints or something about the game? A start, superstar topper, Monty Mole signpost? Leave it to Mr. I? Fright Night. Keep the mini games coming. Honestly, this is cool. I would probably buy all those. Music, and then you get some other music uh, selections over here. So what do you think we should buy? Stickers look pretty cool, but that's it. You, you don't really have anything else to buy in the game. Friend house, Mario party. We can, we can do, we're not going to end the game yet. Like I'll go to Mount Minigame. I think that's going to be pretty fun, but I want to buy some stuff. Uh, what do you think? Encyclopedia pages? That's kind of what I'm aiming for. Yeah, nah. Add tips. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. I'll buy them all. I wish I could buy more than one though. Like actually just, that's why there's a check mark box. Right, so you can choose more than one. Okay, so remind me a little bit later. We'll go over here and take a look at all the tips. Yeah, this is this is really cool. You can like just spend a lot of your coins to 100% the game and like get pretty much all the pages, all the stickers, all the characters, all those things, so. Keep the mini games coming. Fright Night. This is kind of cool. I wish you can choose more than one, but whatever. Of course, Polish team didn't think about that. Imagine if you went to a store and they're like, all right, we'll check you out with all of your items, but we have to do it one at a time. Thanks for understanding. All right, that'll be $5. Okay, please put in your credit card. All right, credit card processing. All right, cool. Would you like your receipt? Oh, you don't want your receipt? Okay, cool. What's your next item? Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, one item at a time. Thank you very much. All right. You guys ready to play some games? Peach's birthday cake page? I don't ever want to. I'm going to rip out that page. I should not have bought that page. <laughs> Yoshi's Tropical Island page. I want to see what these things are. Like, what's a Mario Party 10 and 9? Like, dude, no one liked Mario Party 9 and 10. That was the one where you were stuck on the same cart and you walked around the board, wasn't it? As if Mario Party 9 wasn't well received, where everyone was grouped up in the same cart and you moved the same board and all that stuff. As if that wasn't well received, they did it again. Like how out of touch did you have to be back then? All right, I'm not gonna buy those things. I'm gonna save my stuff. All right, cool, cool. Uh, let's take a look really quick at what those encyclopedia things are. And then we're gonna go over to Mount Mini, mini game or whatever it is. And it should be fun. This game looks really cool. I like it so far. What is this? What are you doing? New title screen? Random? Dude, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? I just press B once and I go back to title? Okay, that's cool. Alright, here we go. I want to see what these things are. All the little tips things that I bought. Koopa Paratroopa. Yeah, okay. I mean, it just shows their little face or whatnot. Games. Oh, uh, wow. Okay, so it shows you literally you just paid for cover art, two thumbnails, and one sentence. No, like, vignette of, like, what the minigames are. No listing of all the minigames. No, no raw statistics of sales. Um, 
development time, nothing. You literally just get cover art and two thumbnails in a sentence. Okay. Uh, yeah, Mario Party 9. They didn't talk about how everyone's on a car. Wow, okay, cool. Got the games at least. All right, um, so you're gonna get hints over here, right? For Yoshi's Tropical Island, you watermelon island on the fruit on the left while the cantaloupe island is on the right. Thanks, Captain. I couldn't see that with my own eyes. What? Spaceland. Designed with Pat's radiating out from the center. Keep an eye on the timer and the Bowser controlled cannon. I mean, didn't Koopa Troopa tell us that in the beginning? Give me a real hint. Double layer cake topped with succulent strawberries. Be careful though, you might find Bowser hanging out by the pudding. If you opened your eyes, you would see Bowser. Give me some other tips about the level. What? All right, I'm not liking this. I'm not liking the flavor text at all. A forest that causes anyone who enters to become lost. Signs point you every which way and you may encounter a dubious tree within. No, that's what Koopa Troopa tells you at the beginning. Tell me, if you land on happy tree, you get, you know, like the, the choice of a dice or a coin fruit. If you land on evil tree, you get this. Or like, what are the things in the level that we didn't get to see? The land where day changes to night and back again before you know it. Things get spooky after dark when the ghosts come out to play. The most generic thing ever. Dude, I thought these were tips. We know that it changes day and night. What is in the mansion, right? What does the eyeball do, right? Like, polish team, man. That sucked. Sorry. Um, keep on playing. Okay, so what is this? Keep on playing, adding star. So these are like actual tips, it looks like more than one sentence uh, roundabout stars you can raise the thwomp's toll see this is cool like i like that melon islands see this, these are the things that i was kind of looking for but i guess it was just here's the boards okay i guess if you're categorizing it categorizing it by here are the five boards and that's it then you know what that's all you need is just a quick sentence and three thumbnails now this is a little bit better melon islands oh they're shaped like yoshis Cool, that's cute. Beware the Bowser beam. Yeah. If you get hit by it, you'll lose all your coins. See, this is this is what I was expecting. So, okay, cool. Our mysteries of the void. Somewhere, there's a UFO that crash landed. Where are the aliens? Uh-ha. Uh, what does that have to do with anything? All right, anyway. We'll take a look at that later. Let's play some games, man. Let's play some games. Um, it's a little... I kind of have buyer's remorse on that. <laughs> Big time. Dude, I accidentally pressed the B button like twice and now I'm got to do this title screen thing. Can you give me a menu that says, would you like to go back to title screen? Yes or no. And then I'd have to press S, <laughs> press yes or no versus going through all that. Anyway, let's play a game. I love like picking apart the finer details of what can make the game even better, right? This is the Mario Party of your generation. It better be good. I like it so far. I like it so far. All right, here we go. Let's go to Mount Mini Games. Uh, I'm gonna go Mario, and you guys tell me who you want to see. We got a lot of characters over here. Do we want to see DK? No, we don't. I'm kind of done seeing his face. I'll take a look at the uh, I'll take a look at the tips page a little bit closer towards the end of the stream. I just want to play some more mini games. I'm at half. Why did it do that? I'm at half. Anyway, who do you guys want to see? Talk to me. All right, you want to see Peach? All right, you're going to see Peach, Bill. Uh, Smash Brothers King wants Birdo for some reason. And Miss Modern Mayhem wants Luigi. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. You got it. Off we go to Mount Minigames. Here we go. What is Mount Minigames and what do I have to do here? Offline play. All right. Wow. Look at this. This is an entire brand new mode. No story mode. Welcome to Mount Minigames. Select which course you want to play. Free play. Tag match. Uh-huh. Trio challenge. Sports and puzzles. Have fun playing sports or test your metal with puzzles and score attack. Wait, the volleyball game's here? Wait, 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 wait. No, they did not bring the one of my favorite sports mini games from a Mario Party title, which was Beach Volleyball. 
It was one of the best volleyball simulators I've ever played. Are you kidding me? And I would play that game for hours with friends. It was like, dude, you want to play Mario Party? Yeah, we're going to go play volleyball in Mario Party. We're not going to play the stupid boards or mini games. No, man, we're playing volleyball. That was what we did. I don't know if it's the same thing, but it better be. This is cool. CPU, let's put them on normal. Uh, beach volleyball. Return the ball within three volleys and reach it. If this is the same game that it was that I played back in the day when I was younger, I'm going to be so happy. Oh my gosh, it absolutely is. This is great. This is so good. Okay, hit ball jump. You'll get stuffed. I love this. Okay, so A is going to be hitting the ball. Don't even think about it. Oh, sorry, Peach. That was me. All right, let's 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 get the controls back. I am very, very happy that this is here. Because you can just, uh, you can go A... And you could do a top spin, and you could stuff them. I'm sorry, that's my bad. <laughs> I'm like, what? What control is that? Uh huh. Oh yeah, baby, let's go. Yo, you want some of this? Come here. Oh, get owned. Yes, this is absolutely the sim. This is the simulation that I I absolutely have, have come to love. Because if you stuff them, it feels real good. Like this. Oh gosh. I don't want to do that. Stop him! I don't want. I want to. I want to pass it over. What's the deal? Yeah, get stuffed. I love it. I love it. This is so fun. All right, get ready. Get ready. Can you play this game online? Cause I was. I would destroy you. Why? Why am I passing it over and not going bumps at Spike? Get on, son. All right, check this out. No, thank you. Oh, gosh. Peach. All right. Here we go. Give it back. Give it back. Give it back. Get on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you wish. You think I was going to set it over? No, I jump spike that. Punk, come here. In case you didn't know, I played uh, varsity volleyball in high school. So that's why I love this volleyball simulator. It's so fun. Get on, see ya! Oh my gosh, get out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come here, come here, come here. Yo, you got this? You got this big jump? No thanks. See ya, you're done, son. <laughs> Don't you dare set that over to me. I love this. Don't talk to me! Oh my gosh. Yay! See ya. You're done. Best game. Pass. Good serve. No thanks. All right. Nobody home in that corner, man. Don't even. Match point. Watch. Watch me stuff this right, right in the line. Get owned. Out. Dang it. That was a little out. Okay. Okay. You can. You can have that. Let's do a quick. Here's a quick hit. Go. Yes. Quick. Oh my gosh. That was so quick. Yes. See, you don't see the fun thing is that you don't have to do bumps at spike. You can just do bump and then straight into a spike, which kind of mix up the timing a little bit. And we just called a quick, and we pulled out the the quick. And oh, I don't want to play, play again. No, that was really fun though. That was really good. This was really good. Uh, what does it say? Mario Party? No, man. I'm playing Mario Party. No, we're playing sports. This is real cool. Uh, ice hockey. Wow. Shell soccer. Uh, Mario's Puzzle Party. Gross. I will never play that. A uh, Block Star. Stick and Spin? And then you can do Score Attack Mode. That's kind of cool. You guys want to see any of these? You want to see Ice Hockey or Shell Soccer or anything like that? Talk to me. You guys want to see anything? Beach Volley Folly. We can try Ice Hockey. I mean, I'm here to give you a preview of what this is all about. So, you guys want to try Ice Hockey? Let's go. We're gonna go Mario and Luigi uh, with, I don't know, like a three minute time limit. I don't know how to play this one. Don't forget to use your normal shot, it's useful. Okay, um, pass, power shot, normal shot. Okay, so B is a power shot. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Pass, 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 pass. Okay, cool, we're gonna go like this and slide right in there. Okay, interesting. So yeah, this is like ice hockey in like the NES game. 
Okay, it's it seems really... If the Shy Guy is your goalie, that's an automatic goalie. So how are you going to score on an automatic goalie? Hello? Are you kidding me? Hello? What, do I have to play defense, Luigi? What are you doing? Pass! Okay, that did not work. How do you check? Okay, here we go. Yeah, get me that. This is kind of fun. I'm downtown. Oh, gosh. You got to check with A. No, you're leaving it wide open. Come on, right over to me. Right over to me. Don't even think about it. The passing is actually really powerful. Dude, right into it? Come here, let me try again. Big hit! Okay, okay, maybe not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Passing all the way across is pretty overpowered. Give it to me. Thank you. Me. Me. Luigi, go! Go, hit it in! Yo, oh, come on, what? It went through me? That's not a thing. Oh, gosh. Where's the polish? What is that? Thank you, and in! Go! Why did you steal it from me, Luigi? <gasps> Why would you pass it to Birdo? Pass it to me, thank you. In, yes! Yo, the the brother is alley-oop. <laughs> we only got like a couple more moments left, so come on. Pass it over here, boy. Oops. Go, Luigi, go, 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 go. Yes, you have it, you're open, go! Score, one for the me. Let's go, baby. I mean, okay, so the Shy Guy CPUs at the net are pretty dumb. They're not really that skilled. It's not like they're automatic homing towards the puck every single time. They're kind of slow. Like this, watch. Oof! Okay, okay, okay. Yep, like this. Ugh. You gotta find their opening. And they always have an opening. So you gotta aim it really well. Give me that. I'm gonna check Birdo, man. Thank you! Oh! Alright, we're going, we're going around the back and in. Around the back and in. Oh, no! See ya! Oh, come on! That was not good. That was not good. Come here, come here, come here. Nope, nope. I'm playing defense now. Okay, we're going all the way around. We'll play. Luigi, go! Oh, gosh. Luigi! Score! Give it to me! Give it to me! I'm open! Oh, gosh. Help me. Oh, look at that guy! All right, 20 seconds. We need a buzzer beater. Let's go, Luigi. You got it. Pass it to me. Thank you, or not. Buzzer beater, go, oof, nope. No, no. Okay, good, we just gotta stall him out. Stall the time, stall the time. <laughs> it's like hockey in real life. All right, so that's hockey, it's kinda cool. You can play that with four players. I'm excited for it. So now you guys have seen it, awesome. Let's take a look at what some other things are. That was, yeah, the, the goalies were kinda garbage. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Goalies are trash, but that's fine. If the goalies were great, then it'd be hard to score. Shell soccer, let's go. I love football. All right, here we go. Splitting the teams, get kicking, aim the shells of the opposing team, uh, team's Goombas to take them out. What? What did the Goombas do to, what did the Goombas do to you to deserve that? Uh-huh, okay, so, oh, here we go. So you can uh, pass and tackle, you can tackle, hold A to aim, what, what did you just do? Hold on. Yeah, here we go, big hit. Wait, oh, I have to press B to shoot, okay. So you were kicking the Goombas. That's kind of funny. All right, here we go. Pass and shoot. Get the shells, baby. All right, Peach. You and me, baby. Let's go. This is kind of fun. Dude! Go, Peach. Go. Pass, pass, pass. Or kick one. I wonder if you can hit more than one Goomba. I just got to go steal that real quick. There we go. See, that's what you have to do. You gotta slide in, take it, and just take a shot. You cannot wait. Like this. Don't! Oof! Wow, 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 wow. Okay, 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 okay. You got it, you got it. This is fair. Oh, two for, dude! You can hit two Goombas. That's great! Oh, man, what an accuracy hit. Alright, go. Let's go. What do you got? What do you got? I don't think so. Nice, nice. I'm gonna play defense. Go. I'm playing defense. Do it. You got nothing. 
See? Because I put... Where are you going? Two more. Good job. Look at you. All right. I'm playing defense. Go, girl. I got this. I got this. Go ahead. Try. Nice try. See you later, loser. And Goomba point blank. See ya. And that's shell soccer. You know, honestly, I'm not a big fan of soccer slash football, but that was really fun. And the fact that you get hit more than one Goomba, super fun. Okay. I'm down. I like the sports games. The volleyball sim is the absolute best volleyball sim you've ever played. Outside of like dead or alive beach volleyball. Just saying. All right, let's take a look. That was fun. Okay, you guys want to see some stuff, huh? You wanted to see score attack, right? Uh, I, I guess. I mean, let's see what block star is. I showed you what the other one is. Connect five more blocks to remove them. So this is Tetris. Eliminate stars to clear level. I don't, I don't know this. I remember when my friend, uh, me and my friend were growing up and we, we played all the Mario Party games. He would be really good at this. He would practice all these miscellaneous mini games and I would just be like, no, dude, I don't, I hate puzzle games. Send a block up. Oh, what is this? Sending a block up? Oh, that's kind of fun. So you're sending blocks upwards. This is not Tetris, but it's something else. Let's give it a shot. If we get a high score, cool. If not, and I get bored, then we'll do something else. Start. Five in a row, huh? So that was kind of cool. Wow, good job. Um, I guess we're doing this. Yeah. Cool. Uh-huh. Yeah, and? I can't put the pinks up. Oh, this is, this is like, it almost feels like completely random to me. Because you're just grabbing stuff. You're like, yay, look at me, I'm so good. I could probably play this game blindfold. Do you want to see it? Watch. Did I win? No, okay. Okay, so you just have to be, just have some dumb luck and just, just do this the entire time. Like you can, you can literally win this just by spamming the A button and not even caring about any of your moves. So like, cool, I guess. I don't know, man. It, it's a lame game to me. I, I don't really care for this, so I'm gonna like legit quit. Like, that will not keep my attention at all. Like, it's not, not fun. And neither is Mario's Puzzle Party. For me, for me, you guys may love this game. You guys may love, like, spinning around in your chair and not even looking and, like, absolutely winning. Go for it. Cool. Or maybe it's just a long slog because there's some achievements behind these mini games. Anyway, I don't know what stick and spin is, so let's see what this is. Connect five more balls to remove them. Remove enough to clear level. If ten balls uh, stick out past the edge, that's game over. Okay. <laughs> stick and spin. Um, interesting. Let's see. Stick and spin. Connect five more balls. Rotate the field. Oh, what is this? What am I doing? Oh, okay. So it's just like, yo, connect four. Connect five. And the balls just kind of do their own thing. We Look at that. So you press the A button and like, just connect them. Who cares? Okay, whatever. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna throw some uh, blues over there. We're gonna throw some yellows over here. We got some greens over here. And then we're gonna do this. Cool. I guess. What's gonna happen? Oh, okay. So you can just rotate and then just like throw the balls down. Uh-huh. So then what? Cool. Uh-huh. Kind of cool. I, I guess? If there's only three colors, is this supposed to be challenging? Like, I like this way more than the other one because, like, there is a little bit of skill involved. But I'm not seeing where there is, like, the real depth of this game. Like, are there where you can just, like, make, like, combos that you can drop uh, different colors on top of things?
honestly, like, what what is gonna make this game hard, right? Like, what's hard about this? And then you could honestly just keep it real tight over here, if you really wanted to. And if you're good, you can just... Oh, so you can... Oh, here comes green now. Watch out, it's green. They added in another color. I do like this. It's a lot more... It's it's like a sorting game. You're like playing a sorting mini game. Like, here you go, sort the balls. Good job, you sorted them. Where's the depth, right? And it could just... Whoa, hello? Um, I was not ready for that, but sure. Yes. So now here's the hard part, right? Because now it's just like, oh, hey, we already pre-filled it with a bunch of junk. And so now you can um, pretty much take care of all the junk. And the junks are, like, really falling fast. So it is getting a little more, I would say, a little bit more challenging. Yeah, like, I did a lot of them right there. Does that matter? Okay, so level 8, cool. So do I just have to clear them? Is that what we're doing here? Okay, so I mean, we're, we're doing some work. How far does this go? Mm-hmm, yep, yep, fun. Is this, uh, rate this out of 10? Is this exciting for you guys? Is this exciting to watch? Is this just a, a weird watch of dollar rotate stuff and color coordinate matching? I don't know. It seems a little calm. It's way more calmer than I would say uh, the other games in the pack. It's kind of like how your mom plays Candy Crush. Where I can kind of see that this is like, oh, let's connect five, match the colors. Like, okay, thanks, mom. <laughs> Whoa. All right, so that kind of switch. A little baby? What is this? Why is that a little? Oh, it's a big boy. What the heck? Okay. A little baby. A little baby. Here we go. Big boys. This is now it's a lot more strategic, right? Because you got little baby's ice cream over here, you've got uh, some clearing. Got some clearing to do. Whoa, this is really risky. I don't know if I should do that. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. Oop. A little baby right in between them. Whee. Yay. That was fun. Okay, cool. All right. Things are getting a little more interesting. Just a little bit. Not a lot, but kind of. Uh-huh. Green. Wow. So now I can't just like throw all my stuff all willy-nilly. Okay, so that one didn't count. That I don't think is gonna happen. No, that is not gonna happen. Okay, okay, so yeah, this is getting a little different. A little challenging, just a smidge. Little baby. Here we go, here's another little baby. And uh, let's put this big boy right in between right there. Oh, come on, move over. There we go, beautiful. So I use the, uh, the rotation in order to make it happen. Kind of fun. I can see myself playing this. I mean, it's, it's more my speed. You don't have to really think your your moves ahead. You can just kind of play more reactive versus proactive, like in the other uh, low games. So this is fun. Red. Uh, let's go blue. Red over here. Cool. Green zo. I think I'm I'm gonna like stop in a little bit because this seems to be like a little boring. Because it seems to be endless, right? It's just one of those things. I just have to clear it, right? Kind of cool. Level 13 cleared. All right. Whoa. Okay. So we're going to stop now. What's the, what's the achievement though? Is it like level 99 you have to get to? Because that's a huge, huge amount of time. If you're going to be playing through this. Okay. So now I've officially emptied out the entire thing, right? We done? Level 14 cleared. All right. So you're going to keep on going. Right? Um... Okay. Finish. There we go. I mean, I could I could keep on playing that for hours. 
it, it's super simple. New record, 2000. Got to level 15, kind of fun. Um, I would really have to see what um, what the what the achievement is in the game. Was it like a level 99, level 50, or something like that? And then like actually play the game. So that's kind of cool. I like that. And we got 100 coins for playing those minigames. Very fun. Yay. Okay, so uh, let's actually show you some more modes in the game, right? Did you guys have any other requests as to see what is available? Okay, so sports and puzzles we've kind of already seen, right? Uh, survival. Connect to the internet and play with players around the world. I guess, sure. Cool. Do I have internet on this account? I think I do. Okay, survival. How many wins can you rack up? Okay. Uh, global ranking 455? What? What does that mean? If there's only 455 people playing? Alright, let's see what survival is. You play against opponents online. Survival starts now. I don't have enough practice. I'm not ready to go online. Oh, bumper balls. Dang it. Who's here? Although playing online would be real fun, right? But this, dude, who's got the game right now? No one. Yo, play me online. Who's here, DK? Let's go. You want to fight? You want to fight, Bumper Ball Boy? Dude, it's just not going to happen. The game is not globally released, so I don't think that that's going to be a thing. But I can show you that that's going to be a... How do you, when you're at a stalemate like this, how do you win? Just keep bouncing at him and then hoping that he just messes up? Dude, I don't think it's going to happen. As much as I want to play online, I just don't think um, anyone's available. How do I quit? Dude, how do I quit? 7, 6, 5? Okay, so if anyone shows up, cool. Okay, we're going to quit. So we'll play we'll play online together. I promise you this. It should be really fun. So that's what survival is. Uh, so those of you guys who are um, doing that. Okay. So here's a daily challenge. Uh, I don't know what a daily challenge is, but let's see. Uh, first place winners earn stars, and you can pick up three from each pack. Mini games change every day, so come back and earn some more stars. Okay. Why don't you give get first place a try? All right. Let's see what this is. A reason for you to come in and play. It's time for daily challenge, do that. And this pack clears uh, games as many possible. Okay, cool, really fun. Hey, Lauren, thank you. Thank you so much for becoming a member today. Oh, so this is also gonna be like another online thing. I, I don't have the ability to play with people online because no one has the game yet. So, that being said, daily challenge is going to be something that you're gonna go online and you can earn some stars. And then the stars equate to more currency that you can use in order to purchase your encyclopedia, your emotes, all of your other little stuff. So, kind of fun, but it's kind of sad that you can't just press the B button and back out. That's kind of lame. Kind of lame. How much more time do I have? 21 seconds to chill out and hang out with you guys. So, I, I mean, we're giving you the whole, the whole tour of what this game is all about. So I'm glad that you guys can see it all. You know, there's a lot more packed into this game than I initially gave Mario Party Superstars credit for. This whole mini mount mini game, whatever it's called, there's actually a lot of stuff in here and that's kind of fun, but I just, I can't really show you because they're not really here. Coin battle. Uh, play with three other players and see who can rack up the most coins. Coin mini games, bonus mini games, and other events can happen too. One versus three. All right, after dust is settled, the most coins win. So you can play. Is this going to be something that you can play with computers or is it online only? We will find out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. If you win, you get a whole coins. Coin battle is online only. Interesting. Even though I went through at the beginning of the title screen and I said offline play. Even though I clicked on offline play, it's really just forcing me to go online. So if you really wanted to grind out coins, Maybe. Maybe playing this? Maybe? I don't know. 
We're already level 19. We collected a lot of coins from playing the, the actual storyboards. The storyboards were fun. Honestly, they were. I had a great time with them. Even if I did have bad luck. Like, I'm cool with that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't... We'll mess around with online play this weekend, this upcoming weekend. And, uh, of course, be like Lauren. Become a member. Uh, I'll be throwing in, like, my friend code into the community tab post that you guys can add. So we can actually play together. But it should be really fun to see how the online is. Uh, just please do me a favor. Make sure that you have, like, a, an Ethernet adapter that connects straight to your router on your Nintendo Switch. Or don't play online. That's just one of those things. But I doubt... I doubt they have dedicated service servers for this game. And here's free play. There's 100 mini games in total. You're free to choose which one to play. If you're having trouble finding your next mini game, try selecting a genre. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look at this. I played 60 out of 100 mini games. That's great. Does something happen when I play them all? The next live stream that we do is is playing through every single mini game. It should be really fun. Welcome to free play. Whoa. Where's the snowboarding one? I want to do the snowboarding one once. All minigames free for all. I think it was free for all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Let me see if I can do it. Snow World. Outspin everyone. Wow, dude. Okay, here we go. Give me a degree, like 360, 180, 1080. Give me a degree that you think I'm gonna hit. What's the what's the thing? Wow, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. She did really good. I need to redo it. Can I re- Can I start over? Thanks. Okay, let me try. Wow, I used to be so good at that. I used to be so good. I used to do like 5,000. Oh, let me try again. That was actually really fun. Press it in order. Can I just spam? Is it possible to spam? I don't know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's kind of fun. All right, so I did like three thousand, but I think I can do. I think I can do five thousand. Ten eighty. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I used to be good. I used to be good. Thirty sixty. Hold on, the game kind of stopped me. All right, that's kind of fun. What's the fastest way of doing this? In a circle? And then your fingers get trashed? Like, what's the deal? With the GameCube controller, I could do this really awesome with two hands. That's why I like this one a lot. But, like, since these, these like, buttons are so close together, I have a hard time doing it with two hands. Uh, but, yeah, I... Ooh, man. This was my absolute favorite minigame. And whenever my friends came over, I would, like... Like, in a circle. Like a machine gun. Like, it would be so fun. So 3060 is pretty good. Anyway, so you can go and play all the minigames, right? Done. Snow World. Set as favorite. Ding. Cool, right? All right, let's go back to select a chorus. And thank you for the 10 coins. Oh man, okay, that was really good. One of my absolute favorite minigames. Um, yeah, okay, so there's free play. There's tag match. This is where you play 2v2 minigames. If you bring a friend, you can play online. So you can bring a friend. Uh, trio challenge. You can, play, if you bring a friend, you can play online. Okay, some more things. Uh, sports and puzzles. The volleyball sim. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for it. Um, I really, really like that. So, okay. Uh, was there anything else? Was there anything else that uh, you guys wanted to see in this game? Please, ask away. Otherwise, we're going to call it and I'm going to go get some lunch. Welcome to Toad's Shop. Uh, stickers, encyclopedia, I mean, buy all these things, like, honestly, I'll, I'll take a look at these. Oh, you wanted to see some of these, uh, encyclopedia entries we can show you? I don't really need to buy music. Bowser, Kamek, everyone's page. Card designs, don't care. Stickers, eh, whatever. Talk to me. What else is there in the game that you want to see? Alright, Shy Guys page, sure, bye. I mean, I, I'm going to eventually buy everything, right? 
Okay, uh, Birdo's page, sure. A 30 turn game, yeah, I'll see you in five hours, yeah, right. We'll maybe do that with some members, sure. If you guys want to, uh, become that VIP member or super fan member, we'll do it. And you guys have the game? Absolutely. Can you play Mario Party boards with people around the world? That's a good question. You cannot. No, it's going to be friends. Let's actually take a look at it. That's a good question. Oh, hey, I've been waiting for you. Uh, you can meet up with faraway friends here. Okay, so create room. Open to... You know what? Now, the answer is yes. I'm sorry. I misspoke because I didn't realize. I thought it was just friends only, but no. You can do open to all with no code, or you can set a code. Watch. So if I set a code of 1111, I'm going to play with my controller. And then you can now... Anyone can play. Oh, that's actually really good. Yeah, it's not just adding people on friends list. So... In the future, I would go into our members only tab and I would say, okay, we're going to be playing Mario Party. Uh, the room ID is so-and-so, the password is so-and-so. And then you guys as members would have access to it. You guys can join in over here if you have the game and you're ready to play for the day. Uh, and then jump in. So room, M yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, I think that's really fun. Okay, so likewise, in the other, other way, if you do join room, you need a room ID. That's so good. So you'd enter the, the six digit room ID uh, and then it would search for it. And then if it's password protected, then done. So you can absolutely play with people around the world and you don't have to add them on your Nintendo Switch friend code. But with this one, you can see that if you do have a friend online, uh, you can find a friend's room if you're added. So that's really good. I, I like that. This is how Mario Party should have been ages ago. So good job, Toadette. I'm very happy about that. Because it's not so convoluted with you have to add a friend code, this or that. They made room codes and password protected room codes just like Smash Bros. So very, very impressed with that. What do you guys think? That's Mario Party, man. That's Mario Party. Oh, sorry, I pressed the B button. All right, let's see. Let's actually go over the... I'm going to go over the encyclopedia, and then I think we're going to call it. Okay, so I got some character ones. Yeah, yeah, I got some of them. It's kind of fun. Yoshi, a carefree ally of Mario's, and... Yeah. Cool. Okay, let's take a look at these tips. Mysteries of the Void. Traffic safety. If the Sniffin' Patrol never... Uh-huh, chase on any speeders. If you see a runway spaceship, you might notice a thwomp or Womp piloting it. Who cares? Savor the strawberries. Decorate the cape with strawberries to get coins or stars. Small ones are five. The larger ones are those. If you land on where you planted the strawberry, you get coins and it won't disappear. Small strawberries are hardy little plants. Uh, there's a chance they won't disappear after stealing. Okay. Wow. There's always one winning seed in Goomba's lottery. So there we go. So this is actually teaching us the tips of the game, which I was expecting in the other board section. So that's fine. If the three seeds are chosen with no one wins, the fourth is it. You'll find Bowser perched over there. How does he maintain his royal dignity and not dig in? Collect stars on top of the cake. You can't eat it until we know who the superstar is. There's a chocolatey crown. Who cares about, like, that's not a tip. <laughs> that's not a tip. That's just, like, open your eyes and look at the decoration. So that's kind of lame. But what other tips are you going to expect in that one, right? Game's kind of self-explanatory. Monty Mole changes the directions. We've seen that. The signposts seem to always change. Uh, if you're not careful, you just might end up traveling along the wrong route. Forest is lush, plenty of animals. The board uh, wends its way through the depths of the forest. They say people want to become lost. I mean, like, who cares? Give me a tip. Here we go, this is a tip. The large trees have fruit that you could take. Being a fruit has consequences though. Okay, it'll choose two different ones. Choose which one, but it doesn't tell you which one it is. Like, that's lame. It's so generic. Don't be generic when you're trying to give tips to the game. As you travel deeper, there is a, an ominous tree there. Tell me about the ominous tree. What does the ominous tree do? I haven't experienced it. I bought the tip with my coin so I can learn about it. Please, please game, tell me a tip. Not, here's a tip, open your eyes and look at the scenery. Like, that's not a tip. Ghosts gather around these parts all night. Who cares? Spend the day moving around, they might appear. Okay, sleeping womps won't move at night. That's a, that's a tip that Koopa Troopa told me at the beginning. 
Ghosts mostly come out at night, but there's one spot where Boo appears during the day. Can you figure out where? No, I don't want to figure out where. I want you to tell me. Because that's why I bought this encyclopedia entry. Ugh. Why? <laughs> Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I wrong to expect tips, not, oh, like, watch out, do this, and maybe something will happen? Come on, man. It's the worst tip. It's like if you went to a psychic reading and they're like, yo, hey, you're gonna have a great day today. You're like, yeah, I know, but I paid you to tell me more specifics about that. Like, ugh. <laughs> Why? Why? Leave it to Mr. I, dude. Treehouse did us dirty over here, man. Mr. I's warp costs less at night than it does during the day. That's a good tip. Thank you for telling me that. Cost less? How much? Why don't you give me the exact numbers? <laughs> if you're standing on Mr. I's warp path, uh, you might be able to catch a free ride. Okay. Why don't you show me a diagram of where you can move instead of just one quick thumbnail? Dude, I just have to, you know, I got my work cut out on, on here. I'm going to actually have to make videos about tips that are more than just quick open your eyes and look, there's a ghost over here, right? All right, I'm gonna have to make some videos on it. Uh, what's that racket coming from the mystery mansion every night? Sounds like a party. Yeah. Yeah, what is that racket? I'm genuinely curious, that's why I bought this. I wanna know. <laughs> there's a swing that sits motionless during the day, but it starts moving at night. The only thing is there's, n there's no one on it, very spooky. Who cares? <laughs> Oh, yeah? You thought the tips section had tips in it. Wow, good job. You can freely play 100 mini games. Cool, great. Practice as much as you like. Why? That's not a tip. That's 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 the mode that you bought. Or that's the mode that's there. Take the heat, intense sports, grab your controller, play some matches. Guys? I was happy about the tips. I thought I was going to learn something, man. I'm not learning squat. Work together, stick together, and win together. Oh, that's what you have to do on two versus two minigames. Oh, okay, okay. Working together as a team. You know, I never thought of doing that. <laughs> One loss and it's all over. Watch out. Like, what? Am I wrong here? Did I want more? Did I want more of this? I'm, I, I, I absolutely love Mario Party. Don't break your concentration. I mean, sure, I guess. Stay in and play longer. Be the last one standing to win. That's a tip. In case you didn't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love this game, man. I love this game. But I'm just like, I'm so... It's questionable, right? Because like, yeah, the, the team over at Nintendo Japan, or Nintendo, they they make this. This is what they put over here. They're like, alright, what else are we going to add? Oh, we're going to add some encyclopedia entries that kind of show some stuff. And then of course, the team over at Treehouse, they, they translate it. They, they translate the text. They make some things happen. They can make some changes if they want to. But like, what is the point of this other than just like nonsense collection? Something to spend your coins on, I guess. So that's a bummer. That's a bummer to me. I thought it would be like really deep dive into the level. Like, hey, try doing this or, you know, um, you know, something a little bit more. But that's not it at all. And that's kind of sad. This is kind of sad to me, but whatever, dude, whatever, you're good. Okay, coin battle, uh, sports and puzzles. 600 points in puzzle party. 300 points in puzzle party. Oh, block star, level 99. Reach level 50 in stick and spin. Remember we were doing that one? I was curious and I got to like level 20. So that's cool. Uh, S rank trio challenge. You know, we reached level 99 in stick and spin. Stick and spin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game, why do they call it Stick and Spin, man? That is not, that is not a good name. So you get 50 achievements there. Achievement stars are going to be real fun for this game. I think it's going to be really good. Okay, so final thoughts on Mario Party before we leave. Do you guys have any other questions? Any other questions about this game? Please, have at it. I only have 61 coins. Wow. Do you guys have any more questions? I'm here to answer all of them. This is a first look at Mario Party. Yeah, here's a tip. Don't lose in Mario Party, right? Online play. Global game. Let me see what this does.
Okay. What's the difference now? Let me see something really quick. So I, I typed in online play globally. What happens when I just do a board right now? I'm just going to be matched up with random people on the board? I want to see. Like, for sure, for sure. Find game? Oh, I don't want to quit out of a game. No, no, no. Oh, I don't want to do that. That's really cool. But you can do that right now. There's no exiting, though. That's kind of lame. So once you commit, you're in. So uh, that's really fun. That's really fun. So if you just want to play with random people, you can go online, click on online mode, and then choose a board. And then you can find a game with random people. That's actually cool. You don't need to invite friends over. You don't need to host a stream. You don't have to get people on Discord to play. You can just like, hey, you know what? Want to play online? Who's available? Random people. But my question is, and it's too early to tell because no one has this game yet. Uh, my question is, what happens when they disconnect? When they rage quit? When I steal all their stars and make them feel like... When I make them feel worthless? What happens when they rage quit and like, go to the home menu and like, quit out? Right? What's stopping them? Right? What's going to happen? Is their character going to be taken over by a CPU? Is the game just going to stop? Like, he grabbed the cartridge out of the Nintendo 64. And then you just like, you spent the last hour playing this map, right? So what happens when you disconnect online? Are there any things in place that prevent people from going online more often? Kind of, I'm thinking of Pokemon Unite. If you guys have ever played Pokemon Unite, they do a really good job of policing that stuff, right? So if you disconnect or you're not being sportsmanlike and you're like rage quitting all the time, um, then your profile will get penalized for it. So I'm more curious of what that's like. I don't have that answer for you. I wish I did, but only time will tell. Only time will tell. But overall, you know what? This game, I would say, I would say it's worth 60 bucks. I would, because it has online functionality. And that's kind of fun. That's actually kind of fun for me. Um, when I first started playing this game, what? Five, six hours ago? When I first started playing this game six hours ago, I was like, dude, five boards, a hundred mini games. This is lame, right? This is not as good as what I wanted. It's 2021. I want a Mario Party game where I can click on Mario Party 1 and boot that thing right up and play Mario Party 1 with redone graphics. I want to be able to choose Mario Party 9. Yeah, click on that in the menu, like a Mario Party Legacy. That's what I want, right? And since my expectations for that, for Nintendo, is really high, which would be amazing and everyone would buy it, it'd be so good. Right? It would be like a Smash Bros. Ultimate, right? Everyone is here. All the Mario parties are here. Um, but that's not the case. We're getting this discounted, small selection of things, uh, five boards, one of them's utter garbage, and um, a whole bunch of like mini games, a hundred of them, which the count is not, not as good as what you would expect from a Nintendo Switch game in 2021, right? You would expect a hundred mini games in like, I don't know, the year 2000 when Mario Party 3 came out, right? So with that being said, I don't think there's a lot of a lot of content with the game. But the thing is, for the content that's here and what we did get for 60 bucks, I think they did it pretty well, right? I think they did it pretty well. Certain areas are more polished than others. You get to actually uh, do a whole bunch of achievements. You get to keep a coin count, a star count. You get a, a like a little personalized profile card. You get to go over here online whenever you want to. You can play some certain mini games online. You can play the sports mini games. You can do these mini games, those mini games. There's, there's so much there um, with everything that is available. The breadth of mini games, probably not as good. I'd probably rate the breadth of mini games like five out of 10. There should be a lot more. Boards, I would rate the boards two out of 10. There should be at least 10 boards, right? Um, but what they did with the content in the game right now is is 10 out of 10. They did a really good job with that. So that's my final um, that's my final thoughts on the game. Are you guys gonna get it? Let me know. Uh, let me know. I'm not trying to rag on it. Like I just I just expected more. But with whatever we're given right now, and we're able to play it, playing it online seems pretty cool. Miss, they missed the mark on a lot of things, but they did get some things right. Um, and again, I haven't played online, so I don't know how the connection is. 
Is it as bad as Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack, Nintendo 64 playing Mario Kart 64? Is it as bad as that connection? Where you got some random person who doesn't have a, a, a USB Ethernet connector to the back of their Nintendo Switch, and they're not directly line in, right? Is it going to be that bad? I don't know. I can't say. But for one player, I had a great time. In these six hours that we played this game, I had a blast. It was so much fun. Um, I, I love raging. I love destroying all the CPUs. I think it was just a great time. But anyway, if you guys have it uh, pre-ordered, uh, go for it. Go for it. There's also a link in the description. You guys can click on that. Get it on Amazon. Uh, Amazon Prime will ship out very, very quick for you guys. But what we're going to do next is, uh, yeah, we're going to just upload some more Mario Party content this weekend and tomorrow. Uh, we'll be absolutely going through all of the mini games. Uh, we'll be playing some more interactive stuff where you guys can absolutely join. And maybe we'll do dedicated live streams where we play like a 20 turn round, right? Or maybe two of them. Uh, with some select viewers that are also over here. So yeah, uh, yeah, definitely take a look at that. I think it's going to be really fun. But overall, let me know what you thought of Mario Party Superstars in the comments below. Um, I think we did a good job. Give me, uh, give me a rating out of 10. What did you think? Uh, did we show you everything in Mario Party Superstars, right? Because that's pretty much it outside of the online mode. And no one else has this game online yet. So let me know. Let me know. It should be good. Um, before we go, I know some of you guys are asking, what about DLC? What about paid DLC? I kind of gave you guys my thoughts on that before. Um, I don't like the concept of, um, DLC right off the bat, right? Like day one DLC is pretty bad, right? That's saying like, oh, well we charge you 60 bucks for like a half baked game. And you know what? Can we have $20 more to give you the rest of the stuff that we should have put in there? So I don't like day, day one DLC. I don't mind DLC in the future right? Like you look at a game like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, you know how old that game is? And we still haven't had any DLC for that? Like now's the time to do it. I would pay $20 for that easily a year later, two years later. But this game, I mean, I'll pay for DLC to get like five more boards, but like, honestly, that should have been included. And we can't as a, we can't as a, as a fan base and a consumer base, we can't just like hold our breath and say, oh, oh, maybe they're going to do DLC, right? Like we can't, that's not acceptable. <laughs> that game should be filled to the brim. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, dude. That game has so much content. All the characters in history, all the levels, all the music for 60 bucks. And you compare that concept, the people that worked on that, Sakurai, his entire team. And then you, you look at this game where it's a hundred mini games. But over the entire series, there's over 10 Mario parties. Like, how are you going to give 100 when there's, like, historically, like, over probably, like, 2,000 minigames? Maybe 1,000. Um, but, like, I don't know. If you think about that, like, that when you're comparing games and how much content is in there, you can't help but feel a little ripped off with this game. But like I said earlier, for what they did give us, they did a good job with it. And that's my final thought. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go get some lunch and uh, just relax. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode. It's going to be really fun. Uh, we'll see you guys a little bit later for more. Uh, be sure to pre-order the game, become a member so that you guys uh, can join us for a members only game night. And we'll just mess around with more Mario Party. It should be really fun. All right. Have a great rest of your day. We will see you later. And uh, yeah, let me know what your favorite part of the entire live stream was. Uh, and we'll go from there. It should be a really fun time. So take care and have a good day. See ya.